This game certainly is something else. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope we're having ourselves a good Tuesday in it. Uh, we are here for yeah. more of our Shinies only playthrough. Joe is here too. Jert YT. Joe, say hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, let me just check my audio and make sure I sound good now. Um, just... Oh, I was going to ask you. I didn't yeah, know if you'd be mad if I did this, but because I got to catch up on my reset count. Uh huh. I was probably I was probably just gonna like AFK when I had time off and just grind it, grind out extra encounters. How many did you do? I'm saying, should I? Oh, if you want, man. I was thinking about doing it. If you want. Because I'm like, you're like what 750 ahead of me. I'm at 1,111. I mean, I'm at like probably like 90, maybe. So maybe I'm like a thousand more than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little more. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah, dude, go for it. I don't mind. You right. do you. If you get the shiny, though, I'm going to be pissed because I've done 900 more encounters than you. I think it'll be funny, too, to do a little, like, just have the most scuffed post, like, put in post reaction, just... <laughs> it would be pretty good. It would be... Like, fake it. See, I was picturing, like, you get it off screen and then just don't touch your Switch for a few days, and the next time we go live, you, like, say that oh, you yeah. get it immediately. Well, that's a good idea. That, I think, would be funny. I'm all for that. Yo, what's up, Mew? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Welcome. Hello to you as Wait, well. Did this game actually come out two years ago? It says 2021. Did it? In the title screen. I don't know. It says 2021. That's, that's crazy. That's actually wild. I know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not going to lie to you, buddy. Yeah. So I'm just moving my chat around so that I can actually read it. All right, good. We chilling. Yeah, I think, honestly, your Switch is higher charge than mine for once. Like, mine's on 11% <laughs> right now. <laughs> Yeah, we're rocking like a uh, twenty-eight percent. Want to say? Oh, we just don't. Yeah, Might it's literally eleven percent right now. So I'm cutting it close. I can't tell my f head's in the way. Oh well. We had a uh, we had game club, so got to got to make sure the switch is fully charged for game club, and then usually in the drive home it like runs out on empty. So I live like forty-five minutes from my school. So. It adds up, my dude. It adds up. I believe it. I believe you. Okay, I believe you. Yep. Did you? Were you saying something? You cut out. No. <laughs> oh, you sound like you're at the start of story, and I was like, oh. Yep. Okay, go on. Chirp, chirp, nah, no. chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Dorothy? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? What's up? Not much. Just looking for a shiny penguin. How are you doing? What's up with you? I will say the funniest thing about this potentially is just that we get desynced to the starters and the other person has like just off to the races and can actually play the game. <laughs> I feel like we would probably wait for the other. Maybe not like wait just like ah. sitting here, but like wait around before we like actively did everything. I'd like chain fish, Loki. <laughs> yeah, I mean like might as well if you got the time. Or EV something. train, like EV a level 30 grotto. <laughs> EV train's probably a good shout. <laughs> I swear the final fight is actually kind of hard, from sure, what I remember. Sure, man, sure it will be. No, I'm just kidding, it probably will be pretty I tough. swear she has, like, items and perfect EVs, IVs. I know. I'm sure I don't know it's why not going to be that. as easy as I'm making it out to be. Probably because, like, they didn't even think people were going to play the game. So, oh. you see what I mean? Yeah. I just did something crazy to Aaron. What did you do to Aaron? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they probably were just like, screw it. Screw it. Just make her as hard as possible. People already think this mm. is the hardest champion battle in the franchise. Let's make it even harder. Yeah. Do you think this is the hardest champion battle? Mm, probably. I think right? I'm inclined to agree. It's kind of just because... Uh... Well, I think if you play it, like, let's say in any of the Gen 4 variations, yeah. just because Spear Tomb is just kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. No weaknesses. Yeah, and Garchomp is, like, pretty good. 
Just a little. Just a yeah, little bit. Good. Her entire team is pretty solid. Like, Rogue's Raid's good. Togekiss yeah, is good. good. Especially, like, this game, Togekiss. Yeah. Like, getting the fairy typing is so huge for it. She has, what, like, Lucario, too? It's pretty good. So. Does she have one more, or is that it? Um, Milotic. She has, yeah. And I think she has Gastrodon instead of, like, what, Togekiss or something, something like that in Vanilla Diamond Pearl. I think so. It's also, like, pretty good Pokemon. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's been so long since I played Vanilla Diamond and Pearl because I think those games are bad. So. Yeah. I will say in this game, I think her Milotic has a Marvel scale and uh, Does she have flame a orb Flame Warp. Yeah. All right. So yeah. that's, that's kind of wild. I was like, okay. She's kind of <laughs> popping a little bit. Yeah. She kind of popping a wee bit. I looked for an antique since two years ago for myself, found one, but had to trade my other one so to him so he could surprise trade. Had a since he left over yesterday, looked for another antique, had a since he left over Oh, my bad. Traded him a phony, traded him a remaining phony and his antique. He noticed the antique one added to his decks and he said, wait a sec, this <laughs> So you surprised him with an antique Sinistee? That's solid. Imagine if you got a shiny one too, that'd be ridiculous. That is like one hunt I will never do. Like, I am <laughs> never hunting for an antique. Well, not yet. Not yet. Maybe maybe at, like, 1 million subscribers, I'll do it. Yeah. But right now, no. There's this is already no kind of painful enough. Yeah, I mean, like, not even just, like, the shiny challenge, man, but just, like, playing BDSP is the hard part. Yeah, we're going to have so many hours in this game. <laughs> Dude, I honestly would not be surprised if I had more hours in this game than I do Scarlet and Violet. Like, I'm actually curious now. I'm going to look. In this nah, game... I, no, actually not. There's no way. I have 35 hours on this game, but I, in my own playthrough, I have only gotten to Crash or Wake. Mm. I have beaten this amazing game two times. Can I've never this? beaten it. I've never even gotten halfway to beating it. You got him so good. I'm sure he was shocked. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I've... I, I know I say this every other stream, but I barely could get through to Crash Your Wake. That was it. <laughs> Crash Your Wake was the farthest I could get before I was like, alright, I'm done. I'm good. This but is it's fun. a good game! It's just... It's a good game! No, it's it's just Gen 5, or Gen 4. It's just... <laughs> it's it's ju just Gen 5. It's just Gen 4. Like, base Gen 4, not even Platinum. Yeah, the only good addition was the Grand Underground, in my opinion. Yeah, and it but even then, it's fast. like it doesn't save the game. You know, like it, I'd oh, still rather not. play Platinum. You know, at least the music remixes in BDSP are solid. Yeah, but like even then, that should be a given because like Pokemon the original music, music always slaps. So True, the original music is still very good. Like it, yeah. it definitely lives up. Yeah, I think the music in all the games is, like, always A or S tier, for sure. Yeah, that's the one thing, like, I can definitely give Game Freak in the Pokemon Company in general is, like, the music's always banging. Like, no matter what, yeah. like, regardless of how I feel about the games themselves, like, I can't, I, I don't like Gen 8. We, we barely, we, we know that. We know this already. Marnie's yeah. theme, Beads theme, the Battle Tower yeah. theme, the Gym theme, Balan Lee's theme, um... What else is there? Leon's theme. There's so many good songs. Some it's of the so good. some of the DLC music's pretty good too. But thank yes, yes, yes. Peony's battle theme. Peony's yeah. battle theme is so fire. Peony's battle theme is so fire. It's and that's so as far good. as the the Gen 8 praise will go, guys. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, as far like, as we'll take it. There's some there's some Gen 8 oh, Pokemon cool I designs. like, yeah. but that's about it. Corviknight. Corviknight, yeah. I like Hatterene, I like Grimmsnarl. I agree with both of those statements. It's true, there's uh, other Pokemon. I like Obstagoon. Dra Dragapult? Dragapult? Dragapult, definitely. Dragapult. Probably my favorite pseudo. It's up there. It's definitely it's so top fast. two, if not number one. Yeah, it's so fast. I kind of wish I would have drafted Dragapult, but I didn't. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe next time. I just time. wish it got, I wish it got like one or two cooler physical moves for coverage. But other than that, it's like a really great pokemon like mm -hmm. all around like design something like maybe like a uh, like a psychic fangs or something 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. That could actually be pretty good. Because the special move pool gets is pretty good from what I remember. It gets like Thunderbolt Flamethrower for coverage, and you're yeah, like, good, okay. Yep. Hex, and then the physical Draco. side, you're like, you can run Dragon Darts. And then you're only and good. Force? It's like, oh no. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, say, that's your only good physical ghost move is Phantom Force. Yeah. So you were waiting for a Sinnoh remake of BDSP. So here's OG Sinnoh on Switch, basically. Yeah, game music in I mean, general is awesome usually. True. It's it's like a lot of the times I find myself listening to like game music or like game music and uh, covers and stuff. Like I'm just bored. Like I'll just flip on some like game. Like the other um, the other day I was, uh, what was I listening to? Shoot, sorry, do I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, I don't care. What was I listening to the other day? Oh my God, I cannot think of what, what music I was listening to. It was some video game. Oh, Final Fantasy IX, I was listening to Memories of Life. Because I just, I, I just wanted the vibe. And that song is don't know so it. good. I, you, yeah, I, you haven't played much Final <laughs> Fantasy. I have the whole uh, I have the whole Dragon Quest IX soundtrack on my phone, though, so I get it. There's a lot of flute, a lot of piano, a lot of harp. It's like super, super cool. Definitely. It's definitely like very chill. Definitely, definitely. Have you played um? Have you played Nino Kuni before, Joe? Uh, I've played the second one. I've not played the first one. Did you like the but second, the second one? one? Uh, so I really liked the first. I want to say I put like 50 hours into it. Mm -hmm. I like the first third or half or however far that was. Mm -hmm. But the problem I had was, and I, this might not be true. I just might be incompetent. You get to a certain point where in order to progress the main story, you have to do a million side quests and play these stupid mini games, and it just really pissed me off. <laughs> so I stopped playing it. Maybe you shouldn't play Final Fantasy IX then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not. Because you would probably say the exact same thing about Final Fantasy IX. Because there in order to progress the story, there's like three mini games you have to do. There's like the hunting festival, there's like Why? a Tetra Master card game tournament. I hate, um, I yeah. hate when games do that. And other than that, they're not mandatory, but then, like, they all of a sudden are just like, here you go. I might be wrong, but I swear that, like, I genuinely could not progress. Because it's like, oh, you need to be this level in the minigame. You need to be, like, level 33. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what level am I? Four. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I need to finish that game. I never finished it, but I, I echo kind of the similar sentiments. Like, I enjoyed what I played. But I also did not get very far. But I, I think that is like a criticism yeah. with it is like you have to do a lot of the side stuff to like be able to do the end game stuff. Yeah, and I was thinking because the if the first one's ever on sale because it's on Switch I think too or yeah, PC it, or it, it is. I, I might just grab it one day and try it out, and then maybe that'll make me want to go back to the second one. I, I heard it's pretty universal that everyone thinks the first one's better. It I want to say it is. The second one, what I played, I really genuinely liked what I played, I, though. Well, the reason I brought it up is because I was going to say I love Nino Kuni music. The music in Nino Kuni is so good. Yeah, I remember the music in the second one being pretty good, too. There's a lot of really cool uh, environments, too. Mm -hmm. Like it's, It definitely looks like Miyazaki-esque, I want to yeah. say. Well, yeah, because... Um, I, I thought all, the, I thought all the, loca yeah, the locations were top-notch. They were all really memorable. Mm -hmm. I got huge... Have you seen Hell's Moving Castle? Uh, and not in like you know, fifteen years. Okay, honestly, I being really good. Honestly, same. But I was just thinking, I got big Howl's Moving Castle vibes from the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Dorothy says the gym theme and the Galarian Bar Bird theme slap as well. Definitely, Galar music was great. It was Galar. That is one thing I will give it. Yeah, but then again, up, I, is it even like? Is it even like top three music though in a Pokemon game? Probably no, not. No. But it's still really good. I, I think some of those songs are probably like top yeah, three, yeah. top ten, top twenty. But I don't think it mm -hmm. as a whole is. I think some yeah. of the best battle battle themes in the series. Between like Marnie's theme, Beats theme, Peony's theme. Yeah. It could probably make a case for itself on those. Yeah. That's like the only thing I think I would give it. I think other games do more other aspects of it better. Yeah. I remember there being a lot of really good music in uh, Vanilla Black and White, too. Yes. Very, very much so. I don't, I'm also just a sucker for, like, when the game adds something to, like, the environmental mm -hmm. theme. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, like, they Black and White did that, like, with, like, you being able to, like, talk to, like, the instrument players and everything. And that, I ate that up, dude. I ate it up. Yeah. I love it. I think it. my... My favorite pieces of music, just 
in the franchise that I could think of, obviously, are <laughs> all from Emerald. I really do like the <laughs> Twin Leaf Town theme. I love the, I think it's the Verdant Turf. Verdant Turf. Which one's Verdant Turf theme? I can I can hear Twin Leaf Town in my head. It's like. I'll send it. It's, I'll send it to you. It's it's pretty great. Okay. Hey, Kai, did you see my DM earlier? I did not. KK Slager covers true. Good good shout on the Animal Crossing music. I can agree with that. I'm you never played the newest one, right? Um, Animal Crossing? Yeah. No, I've played it, but I don't own it anymore. Oh. All right, I'm pausing stream to send him the, this video. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when... Um, I remember when Animal Crossing first came out, like New Horizons, like that was like pandemic and everything. And I moved into a house with, cause I, I was living my own, my own apartment, like three hours away from where I live now. And, um, my girlfriend and I were looking for apartments at the time and uh -huh. I was like, okay, well I'm going to move in with my mom and dad for like a month while you and I find a place. Um, while I did that, like, no joke, I got there, a week later, everybody in the house got COVID except for me. So I couldn't go to work, I was working, I had just gotten a job, and I was like, hey, I hate to do this, I, I caught, I, I don't have it, but, like, my entire family that I live with has it and everything, so I couldn't work for a week. So, no joke, all I did, Joe, was I door dashed food, and I played <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizons. I did not do a goddamn thing at all, besides those two things. I, I went into the basement played new horizons all day door dashed food that is all i did because i had i had to lock down yeah so i remember i played it a lot i played it a lot too I, I put in like a week span i probably put well near 100 hours into new horizons did you cheat and date skip like everyone else no i did not really i did not i did a lot and i kind of killed my enjoyment of the game actually <laughs> mm -hmm. i think it's one of the reasons why i like never finished it quote unquote that's kind of why i didn't want to is because like i i had a feeling like i would just get like frustrated being like well, the oh, problem is every thing. everyone in my friend group was doing it and i'm like oh i kind of want to do it i want to mm -hmm. progress and do it but then it's just it becomes so much you have to manage yeah and then it didn't become fun and i'm like oh i gotta go back and do this and i don't know exactly i need to i need to give it a proper normal playthrough as they intended yeah. i want to get it again just to like do that because like the level of customization in new horizons is just phenomenal yeah it's so sick i'm gonna catch sweeping and violet hey best of luck make sure to check your gms after stream all righty it's funny i'm always really into mario level themes and world themes but not as much the boss themes but in pokemon I'm the complete opposite yeah i kind of agree i kind of agree like i could probably hum more level themes in mario than i could boss themes outside of like maybe like final bowser battles but oh but um Oops. yeah it's like the exact opposite of pokemon like i know i have like a i have like a decent recognition of the town themes where like if you played a town theme i'd be like oh that's probably this from this game but like battle themes i'm like oh that's the deoxys battle theme oh that's uh charon's battle theme like all that so i get it bowser fights do have such good music themes i do like bowser jr from super mario galaxy true AI professor theme solos. The AI professor theme is pretty dang good. I can't, I cannot disagree with that. I do not disagree. I'm gonna play the Verdant Turf theme real quick. <laughs> oh yeah! Dun 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 dun. That's probably my favorite piece of music in Pokemon off the top of my head. Um, I really like it. I don't know, man. The lake theme is right there. Lake theme's definitely up there. It's definitely it, probably it's the top favorite five. for Gen Four. It's for top me. five for me for sure. Yeah, probably up up there. Do you know genre mean? themes for KK don't always sound like what it's supposed to be? I mean, some of them don't, but like some of the other ones, I'm like, oh, okay, like the bubblegum KK one. That's like the one everybody knows, like the boo doo 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 doo. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Like that one. Like that's the one that I feel like probably makes the most sense. Can this dog get in the ball? I'm sorry, you're struggling. Battle themes Pokemon just can't be beat. The Octus theme is incredible. Very, very much so. New Bark theme, New Bark Town theme will forever live in my heart. It's so good. How does the New Bark Town 
team go? I could not tell you. <laughs> I can I can hum Twin Leaf Town like off rip right now. Yeah, but we've we've been living through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the new bark? I mean, I'm literally playing Gen 4 right now. Like, I, can, I know the route theme more than I do the new Barktown theme, I guess. Best Mythic for me? Deoxys is super sick. I love the... Yes, Route 209 theme is very good. That, that, that deserves a shout. The Route 209 theme is one of... It's probably my top 10, for sure. Yo, what's up, Mike? How you doing, my man? Welcome to the stream. Animal Crossing, I named my town's theme Funky Town. Won't you take me to Bow Wow Wow Funky Town? Won't you take me to Funky Town? I guess I need a new bark theme to show you. Yeah, sure, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I'm trying to think what, like, my favorite... Um, I guess this is more of a story theme, but emotion from black and white. Like, ends theme. Yeah. When it's like the bum, 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 like that one. Yeah, I should, uh, I should sit down and just listen to all the music one day, and then just, then I, be like, alright, this is the top ten. <laughs> and I, I, then, <laughs> I'll know. I guess we need to do a, uh, a, a music tier list. Oh, uh, that'll be so long. <laughs> I, I mean, it would, but, like, it'd be cool. You, you probably have to do it by game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would do it how we did the Pokemon tier list. You could probably rip through those real quick, because, like, I'm sure a lot of the Gen 1 music, it's like, this stinks. <laughs> F, 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 C. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I will say the bike theme. The bike theme is A tier. Uh, I remember the champion bum, theme bum, pretty good. Bum, Ba -da -da -dum. That music actually slaps. Um, champion theme is very good. That's top. That's probably S tier for sure. Like I would completely agree with that. I had a friend make his the Pokemon Center theme. Pokemon Center theme is, it's I, I'm not a big it's fan, mid. but it's. <laughs> I'm not a big fan, but it's iconic. I'll say that. Yeah. It's iconic, but I'm not a big fan. Yo, what's up, Riddy? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Love sending town tunes to existing songs. True. Sent it? All right, I'll check it out in a sec. Motion theme is so good. It reappeared in Callus 2 and Relic Song. Relic Song is good. Relic Song is good. Yo, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Shadow? How you doing? Or should I say, Doreal Zassi? And how's it go? Welcome to the stream. I like the new remixes of Wild, of Wild Pokemon Kanto too. I don't think I've heard a ton of those. And the gym leader theme. The gym leader theme is pretty good in Kanto. The that one. I will. I will say. Uh, I didn't love a lot of the music in some of the remakes. I'm like, it's fine. You know what I mean? Like I, for Oras, I remember I'm just like, this is not the same. Yeah, I think I'm inclined to agree. Like I will say, the new songs they added to Oras. New Oris, music was good. Yeah. Zinnia's yeah, yeah. theme, like, Wally's yeah, theme. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. The new stuff was good, but the remixes or the remasters, whatever, left me a bit. I will agree. I, I nah. thought they were I thought they were fine. Yeah, they're fine, but But the, the, the trumpets don't be hidden as well without that I that know. GBA bit crush bit crushed uh exactly. sound effect. Sound chip. Like they just no, hit. Sure. Alright, hang on, I'm gonna play new Barktown real quick so I can actually remember what it is. If you had, if you had a, if you had a knife to my back and were like, name the <laughs> song that this is from, I don't even know if I would have said Pokemon. <laughs> name the game this is from, I don't even know if I would have said Pokemon. I, I love Gen 2 and I, I have, I don't remember that hmm. song. I don't remember that song. I mean, it's good. It's fine. Like, I, I. <laughs> never would have remembered it though. Like straight up never. Guess I got a random shiny picky pack. Hey, let's go. Didn't even realize it was shiny first because it barely changed, but then my Pokemon didn't attack and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, the change is pretty uh pretty minute. It's just like the feathers on its head. You missed nine hypnosis in a row. That is a bit of a feels bad. I'd argue that's your fault for using hypnosis though. 
<laughs> <laughs> Use a Pokemon with Spore. Trust me, it'll be way easier. Yeah. It'll be make get your life so much easier. Yeah, get a Breloom with Spore. I think I think it's still that BS right where you have to get Shroomish above the level it would evolve to Breloom Probably. for it to get Spore, and then you evolve it. At that point, just get a Fungus. Yeah. Nah, but Breloom's so much cooler. I mean, it is, but Fungus is bulkier. He's so much cooler. Oh, yeah, I don't doubt that. I, I completely agree. But Fungus is bul fungus and Fungus are bulkier, so that makes it a little bit easier. The Rayquaza battle theme and the Primal Reversion theme are amazing. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I, I'd argue to be fair, though, if you're catching Pokemon and you have a level 100 anything, it's bulky enough. <laughs> Probably true. Are we talking about Pokemon music? We are indeed. Talk about some Apparently. of our favorite Pokemon music. Yo, what's up, Marf? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Yo to you, too. Won't be here very long, but I hope you have a great stream. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. Having the Moogus from the Shiny event, I might use the Suicune Struggles. There you go. <laughs> Mike with the with the God comments out here. Fungus Amoongus. That's all he put. That's literally his entire comment. It's just he did love that really. meme. I did, too. I can't blame him. Dude, there's a, uh, in one of the Draft League Discord servers I'm in, there's a, a it's a, a Mamoswine as, like, an Among Us character as an emote. Dude, anytime somebody puts it, I swear, like, it cracks me up for no reason. Like, it's the dumbest thing in the world, but, like, every time I see it, it just cracks me up. It's so freaking funny. If I can grab a screen cap of it later, I'll send it to you, but it just kills me. Kai is a god tier streamer because he looks at chat unlike some wiggly guys. Oh, I, I I look at the chat. I just am not reading what you put in the chat. Yeah, that might be for the best. I'm not even looking at your chat right now, but I, I have a, a feeling. I got a feeling. I, his messages weren't even that bad. I just deleted them because I knew it would piss him <laughs> off. Oh, they are an old married couple. Donker Dank Amoongus has two S's at the end. Does it? Does it? Does it actually? Hold on. That's what you need to do, the Pokemon spelling bee. <laughs> oh, wait, why is it actually so good? First of all, yes, Viridian is right. It does have two S at the end. Why is it actually such a good idea? Yeah. I, th I Joe, I, so write that down. Write that down. We're doing that. I'm, I'm messaging you right now. <laughs> We're doing that. All right. I will lose. So will I, but it, it'll be funny. But it will yeah. be funny. If it's anything past like Gen, if it's anything before like like Gen Five or before, I'm I'm good. Anything after that, I I probably am okay. But like all the new stuff, man, I have no idea how to spell some Pokemon's names. It's not. Even funny. I know it'd be funny if we did it. It's just like, all right, Joe, your Pokemon is Wurmple. Spell Wurmple. <laughs> and it's like, all right, Kai, I'm generating a random one for you. It's like yours is. I don't even know. Like something just insane. <laughs> yours is Kangaskhan. Yeah. It would be pretty funny. I, I actually really like this idea. I think it's so good. I think it's actually so good. My favorites are mostly legendary themes. Gen 5 and Swords of Justice. Gen 5, Gen 7, Swords of Justice are my faves. Swords of Justice is a good shot. I didn't even think of that though. Bum, 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 bum. With like the little intro of them like slicing the screen like a it's so good man it's so good only the swords of justice weren't like the lamest pokemon ever <laughs> they are so lame but dang they, their bad music kind of bangs and their intro screen is so good yeah i just really like all of the um like the battle themes in black and white like i know guess his, his theme is just like a bunch of drums like it's just like some really loud like bass drums but it slaps it's so good Sussius Among Us. What? I don't even know where you're getting at with that one. I don't love joining big streamers speak streams because they never get to my comment. Yeah, I try to like read everybody's comments when when people are in my chat. Even if it's just like, it, whether there's like three people or whether there's like twenty people, I still try to make sure I read everybody's. Love a sort of just I ignore too. everyone's yes. comments because it's funny. <laughs> that is some that is some king levels right there. So we're just theme two, Dialga Palkius, the Ancient Trio, Reshiram, Zekrom, Sirius and Veltal, the Light Trio. There's just, like all the legendary themes kind of bang. Like I'm not like I'm with Joe for the most part. I'm not a huge legendary Pokemon guy, 
but like the music bangs it really does play swords of justice theme right now well <laughs> you heard them i'll play i'll play like the first like 10 seconds swords of justice theme no not iron leaves who cares Dun, 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 dun. It's they were up so all night good. That, man. Iron leaves, genius. The Sword of Justice thing hits so hard, man. It's so good. Yeah, right. Like iron leaves, <laughs> guys. It's a grass type. What should we name it? Yeah. Oh, oh, iron clippings. You know the the guys would have come up with all the Scarlet Paradox names were so annoyed when they, right? someone was just like. Hey, for the future, can we just do iron something? They're like, oh, no, it's good. It's so dumb. Like, why? Like, all of the... Make, like, none of them steel types. <laughs> all of the scarlet ones are so good. Eh. In the anime, I prefer if they had... What were you going to say? Uh -huh. I prefer if they had, like, more Pokemon-esque names. Oh, I like know? it, because it gives me, like, mythical creature vibes. Like, Loch Ness Monster, or, like, Bigfoot. Yeah. Like, that kind of thing. Like, I get those vibes. In the anime, my favorite episode was the Kangaskhan one. That is a classic one, Mike. Yo, what's up, Toadad? Welcome to the stream. Oh, How you my. doing? He just likes it because the the one character the... falls out of the plane, like the kid. The kid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we watched that scene. It was pretty funny. It's a, that That's episode's just funny in general. It's so good. Karida Marida, Legendary Beast and Ho Two True. The treat guy had, gave me one water treat, sweet and two ice ones, riderless glass tree, and Kiram. Just fainted, got to restart the sweet and canagram. Best of luck. I don't love Eternatus theme, though. I'll be honest, I don't remember the Eternatus theme at all. Do you? No. Nope. Literally don't. Zombie scene, Zamazenta is all right. Barely remember that one. Galarian Bird theme is good. Yes, I agree. Reggie theme is great. Yes, I agree. Calyrex is pretty good. Eh, I actually don't really like the Calyrex theme that much. Um, or Shifu evolution fight things are pretty okay too, given the situation. Uh, I don't even remember those. I don't even remember those. I don't either. Probably because I didn't play the DLC. <laughs> any of, any of the music I've heard is in passing. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> my first snacks word snack was Kyogre. I won so hard. Best legendary in my exclusive pool IMO. True. Kyogre is goaded. Good doing my shiny only run in violet. Hey, let's go. Talking about the tower themes for the Yushifu evolution. Oh, like the like one was like the darkness tower and one was the water tower. Like those themes? I don't even know what those sound like. I, I don't think I've ever listened to them. People hate the Janae's horses theme, but I love it. Eh, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for you. I I I don't. I I think it's kind of meh. I think it's pretty mad, unfortunately. I don't know. You don't mean that. It's pretty mad, dude. Like it's it's, yeah, it's fine. I agree. Like I, I don't, don't that, I don't hate <laughs> it, but I'm just like, uh, it's okay. Like I'm not. It's not like a Pokemon theme where I'm gonna be like, oh, I got I gotta listen to this on repeat now. Yeah. Dude, you remember that? That one meme of the, like, the dancing toothless. <laughs> yeah, I hated that meme. So did I. My girlfriend loved it. And she she didn't realize that the song from it was Riffail City. And I was like, you know that song's... Yeah, she was like, yeah, I really like the song that's in this. And I was like, sweetie, you know that's from Pokemon, right? She's like, no, it's not. Whoever, the artist made it, right? I'm like, babe, that's literally the Riffail City song. Drifail City song. She was like, "No, it's not. Prove it." Uh, she would have not been my girlfriend. After I was that like, comment. "Siri, right, play gamers? the Drifail City theme." Am I right? When, in her defense, we were already dating for four <laughs> yeah. years by that point. If if yeah. if the meme had come out when we first started dating, she might not be. Nah, I'm just kidding. She's great. <laughs> True. I was kidding. That's like I said. The one chick didn't like Wormpole. True. She's like, it's she just a worm. One. And I'm like, he's Bro. cute. <laughs> yeah. I will say I, I I've grown. It's like one of the best design worms. I I've grown fond for for Wormpole because of like you, you mainly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, name all the worm Pokemon. He's legit like the best one. Actually, um, aesthetically, it looks very cool and very cute at the same time. Um, 
Like it's way like I think he's a way cooler, more interesting design than Caterpie or Weedle. Does Sawaddle count as a worm? Sawaddle's up there. He's kind of wormish. If Sawaddle count. counts as a worm, Sawaddle's the best one. Yeah, that's fair. I wouldn't dispute that. I I, I like uh, Wormpole more than um, Caterpie and Weedle, though. I'll give you that one. Yeah. He oh. gets tackle and poison sting too, where Caterpie <laughs> and Weedle. It's one, yeah, or, the one other. or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Superior worm. True, true. That Gen 3 moveset coming in clutch. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> I like the direction of the horse seems. It kind of sounds dangerous and scary. Not my favorite legend thing, but it's good enough for the encounter. Yeah, it's it's definitely good enough. I was just like, I'm not I'm not bopping, I'm not vibing. Glamber is without a doubt my favorite legendary encounter in Galar. It is very good. I can agree with that. It's definitely better than the horse theme, that's for sure. Mike, get out. <laughs> he said, it's a good song from a bad game, Drift Fail. Buddy. buddy. I, think if he I think if he played it again, he'd probably like it a bit more. Uh, did he even... I can't remember from his video. Did he finish Black and White and Black and White 2? I think so. I thought he did. I'm pretty sure he did. I don't know about 2, but I think the first one he did. 2 is literally the better one. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Black and white is OG. Black and white are still really good, but black and white two are like top three Pokemon games. Yeah, I mean, hey, I think I think OG black and white are they're not in my top five, but they're like right there. They they're they definitely, definitely get better. Yeah, they definitely get better after every new Pokemon game comes out. I will say, <laughs> definitely slowly just, they, creeping up my gear list. They just get higher and higher. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, they hit. They're so good. Yo, what's up, Aaron? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hello to you as well. They hit, my dude. They hit. I find myself going back to those more than I do, like, Gen 6 or Gen 7. Oh, yeah. No, I think for me, off the top of my head, it's, like, Emerald. Yeah. Then, uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Yep. Then it honestly might be, like, Ultra Sun, which is kind of crazy. I would... And then... Sorry, keep going. And actually, no, it's probably Black 2, White 2. I'd say black two, white two, then ultra sun, ultra moon, and then fifth. I, I guess it's it might be platinum. I don't even know, man. Platinum's fifth good. It's a little contentious. It could be vanilla black and white. It could be vanilla sun and moon. I it's think... a contentious uh, fifth spot. I will say the top four, like I really, really like, mm -hmm. are some of my favorite games. Fifth game is definitely. I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> it might even be like vanilla gold silver, just because they're. I think pretty good for like if you want to if you want to take into account like oh like for when they came out oh yeah definitely know. for the time Not yeah just, like, objectively which is the better slash more fun game yeah I mean like obviously like looking but, at Heart Gold Soul Silver they blow them out of the water but like for like yeah. what ninety nine is when Gold and Silver came out yeah like that's with how much crap they put in that game that's so impressive yeah and nowadays we can't even get a post game <laughs> we had a, we had two regions. We had two regions. You got a post game. You just have to pay extra for it. True, true. We have to pay thirty dollars for a post game. That takes less time than the free one. Yeah. Though I am the biggest proponent of just in video games in general, more more content doesn't mean it's a, a better game. No, I agree. Know? I agree. Cause like there's definitely been like DLCs I played where I'm like, all right, well this was pointless. Not only yeah. did I pay for it, but it was also pointless. Because it's always my rebuttal when, like, you know, you're comparing, like, Fire Emblems, for example, and I'm like, oh, I really like FEA, and it's the shortest one by far, you could argue, mm -hmm. like, in terms of just, like, the mainline like, game. Good gameplay, though. And then people, are, and then people are like, better. um, but this one, yeah, I was gonna say, this one's better because there's more stuff in it, and I'm That's like, definitely yeah, not but true. are the maps actually good? Are they fun? You know, just gotta start asking the real questions. Yep. Mario Odyssey and Mario Wonder are both pretty short games playing them casually, and they're some of my favorite Mario games in the franchise. Like, I think they blow Sunshine out of the water, and Sunshine's way longer. Uh, as far as Mario games, I've only played, uh, I played the like, Super Mario Bros. on the DS. <laughs> That's New a game. Super Mario Bros. on the 3DS. Yeah. And then I played Odyssey. I've legit, those are like the only Mario games I've played. You gotta play Galaxy, man. I think you would like it. It's really expensive, no? Yeah, it is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really finning. The, the controls look like they <laughs> annoy me a bit, I will say. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like... I don't know, man. Wii games feel kind of jank. The only reason I True. like 
Fe Fe Ten is because you just play with the GameCube controller. Is Fe Ten uh, Radiant Dawn? Radiant Dawn, yeah. Okay. I like that game. The more I play it, I need to play it. I want to so bad. You hype it up so much. Nine and time. yeah, nine and ten are so. Eight, nine, ten are all amazing. Those mm -hmm. are my. Just, they all go so hard. Is there another Fire Emblem? That might, on that might game? be. That might be my top three. Is there another Fire Emblem game on GameCube besides? Um, no, it's just the Path first Night one. That's no, the only one. The only one. Because the GameCube was had a good what like four or five years, and that's it. Yeah, and probably like a wasn't good total like, of like four or five RPGs on it. Wasn't it? It was well. it was legit like what o two to o six. Something like that. Honestly. Yeah, I think we was o yeah, seven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. It has some really good games. Mm-hmm. I'd argue like low key it might have its top five might be better than the top five on the Wii. You could argue. Um. The Wii just had so much shovelware garbage, though, because it was just I, such a popular console. Def I will say definitely, definitely it was really easy to get games on the Wii. I will say definitely like, for first party, but I think we had like a better mix of games. Um, but like first party, like Nintendo games. Oh my god, dude! Galaxy Blow. Uh, the only one I think that is a win is for the Wii is Galaxy. Galaxy, I think, blows Sunshine out of the water. But like mm -hmm. you have XD and Coliseum, either, so you have either. um. Twilight Princess and Wind Waker compared yeah, to yeah, uh, because let's say an X Game Coliseum Ford. compared to Stadium, <laughs> like bro. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like it's not even so close. Horrible. I one of my first videos on my YouTube channel was me playing Stadium, and I just complained the whole time. <laughs> I think I remember that. I was video. like, I was like, this game looks really good, but man, it's so horrifically unfun. It's just. You rent out the Pokemon and fight their rented team. I'm just like, and I, I've never been a big uh, stadium fan. I didn't. I even liked the, it as a kid, but the old even, ones. Even when like the uh, um, the I hate how bad the movesets are in the Pokemon selection it's is. So bad, you, especially in like the uh, Switch releases. Like you have no way to to fix that. Just like, yeah. well, you're stuck like, with these. Didn't your Steelix unironically have like tackle? It had rock when throw. Were, it was something like insane. I remember. It had rock throw, rock throw, iron tail. I think it was like Rock Throw, yeah. Iron Tail, Dig, and some other move. Like maybe Rain Dance. Like un yeah. unironically Rain Dance. <laughs> yeah, it's like some insane move set. Mm -hmm. Mike said, I'll play Black and White 2 when you play, not stream Honey Pop. Okay, dude. <laughs> Is that all it takes? Is that all it to takes to play Black and White 2? I like the bro, Deoxys theme, uh, true. I, I was going to say, bro, you can share your screen we could crank that game out in like two hours two hours man we don't even need that much time well if you wanted to do all the if you want to do the post game too <laughs> do i want to do the post game because i think this game's like the post game's like two things because like it's I, two I more it's the post game's legit like 15 minutes i have played it yeah. because like my roommates and i when my freshman year of college played Ethan, it. you're good then because you played it you already played it. Then. Yeah, so then Mike has to play Black and Well, I haven't played it since yeah. I was like 18, which is nine years ago. But you ago. played it. I did play it. But you played it. Yeah. I like Giratina's theme for Legends Arceus. I have not listened to it, my, uh, unfortunately. I'm still upset the Sword of Justice didn't get a Gala remix. That would have been dope if they did. So true. Giratina's theme is amazing. I'm going to go beat myself up for forgetting about it. <laughs> you have to listen to Decisive Battle Cynthia from Masters EX and end Decisive Battle theme too. All right, cool. I'll check them out. Super Hot is a short but very fun game. Yeah, I've seen a lot of good things about Super Hot. Joe's missing out in those Mario games, especially most of the 3D ones. True. Let's get this man to play Galaxy. Besides I'm really not. A, also I'm good. really, 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 really not in the platformers though. I know you're not, and that makes me sad. But I get my it. favorite, my favorite platformer is Kirby Squeak Squad. Yes. Yes. Wait, yes. I, That's know, like the only one I've played. You know what? You played like those Mario games and that. You know what? You're valid. Like, where do you even go? Where do you you're even valid. go from Squeak Squad, man? I love all the power ups. You can mix them, and you it's like an Forgotten actual Land, right? interesting implementation of the the bottom screen for the DS. True. You, know? you played Forgotten Land, though, right? On Switch. Like Ten minutes of it. Oh, <laughs> please play that uh, game. Well, because uh, something like. I've tried to sit down and play it two or three times, but then just I ended up playing another game. Mm-hmm. You know, just, I have it. I should play it. Uh, you should. It's so good. I heard it's pretty good. It's it's literally my favorite Kirby game. Really? It's my favorite Kirby game in the franchise. Decisive Battle Steve is also good. Or Decisive Battle End Theme. All right. Good to know. I'll check out the Master's EX themes. Master's EX music is phenomenal. All right. Speaking of pain, also Dorothy's correct. Dang, y'all are gassing up Master's EX, apparently. 
Mario Kart Wii is great too. Double Dash was very unique though. I think okay, I'll I'll, give, I'll say that. I think of the I two, like I probably Dash prefer. More. Ooh, see, I was gonna disagree. I, I was gonna say I like Mario Kart Wii more, but I'm biased because I have a modded Wii, so I can do like the CTGP and everything with like all the custom mm -hmm. courses and stuff. And like with that, like oh my god, man, there's so much content. There's so many cool courses that make it in. Oh, Smash Melee, that's a good shout. I think Melee's yeah. night and day over Brawl. It's not oh, even 100%. close. Yeah. I like Mario Kart Wii. I think of the two, I prefer Mario Kart Wii. I, f I played Joe's Brawl. True. I played Brawl within the last year, and it, it felt so bad. Mm -hmm. It felt... so. Where I've, I've also played Melee somewhat recently, and it did feel a lot better. It feels so much better, dude. Like, I did the exact same thing. Like, I played Brawl, and then I was like, huh, I really don't like this. And you know what I did immediately after? I played, I played Project M. <laughs> I think it's because I just was going through some of my old games and just making sure they worked and just loading them up. And it's like, oh, I'll play like a round or two of Brawl. Mm -hmm. but no, it was, that was not a good idea. Yep, literally exactly what I did. I was like, oh, because I we had a house event um, for my school, which is basically like our like um, event slash carnival days for students, but like on a smaller yeah, scale. Yeah. So like mm -hmm. this one was a small scale one. It was just like it was the video game day. This is how the game club got formed. And some of the students were like, hey, will you play uh, Smash Brothers Brawl with us? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I was playing, and I was like, this feels awful compared to, like, Ultimate and Melee. Like, it's just awful. I hated it. <laughs> Mario Power Tennis is a great game. True, I did love that on the on the GameCube. It's so good. Sweep Swap was yeah. a hard game. Like, it goes hard or it was difficult. <laughs> So are we agreeing then the, the GameCube Top 5 might actually be better than the Wii Top 5? I think the only things that it would have, the Wii would have, would be Galaxy, Galaxy. and... Uh, Fire Emblem 9 and 10, it's, it. a really, it's pretty tough. I personally like 9 a little bit more, because I think the writing is a bit better. Uh-huh. And 10 is just kind of like 9 enhanced. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, I don't know, they're both really good. I'd argue it's like dead even. I, I like 9 a little bit more. GameCube also has um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door versus Paper Mario Super Paper Mario on Wii. Mm, but 10 has a better skill system. Mm. That's tough. I'm I gotta play both of those. I gotta play both of those. They're so good. They're so good. Brawl is mid until Subspace Emissary. Subspace Emissary is fire. I'll say that. Like I don't. I know. Mm. I just clowning on Brawl. Subspace is great. No, I, I will. I'd agree. It's definitely the best. Like single player experience in one of those games for sure oh yeah without a doubt it blows like world of light out of the water <laughs> it has like actual cutscenes yeah. <laughs> which is cool brawl is only fun when you use meta knight i mean true like just play the broken character that's like a lot of fighting games though like oh you want to have fun play the broken character <laughs> you'll have fun now yeah brawl meta knight was broken compared to later games brawl meta knight was so broken they banned him i'm pretty sure Yep. Like, players had to agree, like, hey, we're both gonna go Meta Knight if people wanted to use them. <laughs> like, I wasn't in the competitive scene much during those days, so I don't know how, how that ended up working out. Bring back Subspace? I wish. I'm working on speaking tomorrow, so I'm just gonna die. I think that's a good shout. Good to take a break here and there. It's really difficult. The ghost ability was interesting. True. I love Squeak Squad. It was so, I just love Kirby in general. Squeak Squad was great. It's like the only one I've. No, I played. Uh, I played like All Stars. That was okay. All Stars. For Dia, uh, DS. Isn't that what it's called? I don't even know. I don't know that one. It was all right. Kirby All Stars. I'm sure you're right. It probably does exist. No. Uh, I, don't I think remember. it was like the. I think it was the last one on the DS. It was like one of the last games for the DS. I want to say came out mm -hmm. like pretty late i think probably did yeah wasn't there like um oh no i'm thinking what was the wii game that like released like f like as like the wii <laughs> was already out or something oh i know what you're talking about i know what you're talking about. it was like some sega game or something oh what was that called because i wanted to play it because it looked interesting and apparently it's mid as hell wasn't it like wonderful 101 or is that different mm -hmm. No, Wonderful 101 was on the Wii U, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't even, dude, I didn't have, I did, I skipped the Wii U, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, yeah, same, dude. I played it on, like, who had, was it Connor or Isaiah that had Connor it? Connor had it. Yeah, I played on Connor Connor's it, Wii U, yeah. that's it. I, um, 
I gave him like 30 bucks to buy Fire Emblem 7, 8, and 11 on the eShop <laughs> so e -shop. I could play them. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to buy a Wii U. Yes, let's go. <laughs> I mean, that's a good way to do it. If you don't want to spend the $300 on the garbage console that had no support. It's crazy that the Wii just actually printed money. It did, man. And then the Wii U just was a DS. exists. Oh, the DS is great. It's like it, it, 3DS too. Though is really good, actually. I think they have. I think they, they like DS, 3DS just have such good, such good libraries. Games. Oh yeah, especially with so the many shop. really good RPGs. Yep, one thousand percent. Excluding po like not even including Pokemon, not even including like a lot of the big flagship titles. Mm hmm. I agree. You got all sorts of. You got Pokemon on there. You got Fire Emblem on there. Like three bunch of different Fire Emblems. You got um. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been playing uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4 for the 3DS. Yeah, you told really me. Like you told it. me. It's good. I like it. I think I might like it more than 5 so far. Yeah, I, I, I could see it. I could see I it. Like four, I like 4's aesthetic and music a lot more. 4's like four's 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 got a really cool vibe. Just like. I don't know. The vibes are immaculate, actually. 4 has very good vibes. I feel very. I feel like absurdly immersed. I play it. Yee. I'm sad that Karadon so nice didn't too. make a return as a Pokeball from Brawl. With, same with Jirachi and Ho-Oh. Jirachi was a Pokeball in Brawl? I don't remember that. Piplup was a Pokeball. Pokeball was a Brawl. Pokemon in Brawl too. That I remember because it would like carry you off the side. It, like it's like what o Oshawa does now, right? And Torchic. Torchic, I don't remember either. Is Torchic a Torchic? I remember. Yep. I don't remember that. I had fond memories of playing Yoshi Story on my Wii. I had fond memories of playing on my N64. I'm old, man. I'm an old man. I think I think I played uh, I played Yoshi's Island on the DS. Yeah. <laughs> I love Yoshi's Island. Getting a DS for my birthday. I already have a 3DS already, too. Hey, solid. Why are you getting a DS if you already have a 3DS, though? No, nah, no, nah, the DS is lit. Get a DS. I mean, like, you're not wrong, but, like, why get a DS if you already have a 3DS? Because, like, you can do everything on a 3DS so you can do it. Well, actually, you can't play GBA games, I guess. Nah, you gotta, you gotta get a DSi to play, like, the three DSi games that exist. <laughs> I have, I have my DSi. I, I thought, I was gonna get one, and then I was like, why would I get this when, like, it, it I thought has, it was like, gonna be the, games. I thought it was gonna be the cool, I thought it was gonna be the cool new thing. I'm like, they, I'm like, don't make more than these three games, right? And... 12 year old me was so wrong they never did <laughs> they never did <laughs> yeah that was a feels bad the wii wasn't bad in my opinion it had great games it had great games it just didn't have any extra support like it had really good games that like hyrule warriors was really good um yeah i will say though the i can't think of anything the problem else. I the problem i, I remember when the, anything else when the wii came out though i remember my problem being like you had to get the new like the newest nintendo game that came out you know what i mean mm -hmm. like your galaxy or your skyward sword yeah. But then it felt like you're kind of waiting for three months. There really wasn't a lot, like, from the other developers. And then the I mean? Wii U was that, but cranked up even further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was just kind of like, oh, cool, I'm going to get, like, Skyward Sword. What else is coming out? And it's like... Nothing. Oh, all those, like, Imagine Party games <laughs> that were made for, like, $10. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Just... Or, oh, a port of this DS game that was really jank, but it, they bought the rights to, to do it on the Wii for, like, a couple hundred bucks, I swear, you know? <laughs> To try to turn accurate. a cynical profit, yeah. It's pretty accurate, sadly. Yeah, where GameCube, I felt like even a lot of the not so great games were just at least funny. Like, there's the Catwoman game, there's like the Shrek game, yeah. Mm -hmm. At least they were like really funny bad games, and they're more few and far between, from at least from what I remember. And even a lot of the crappy games, like I remember the crappy, really bad Yu-Gi-Oh game. I like loved. They put like a hundred hours into it. Was it Duels of the Roses or was that like PS2? No, Duels of the Roses was PS2. This was uh, uh okay. I it was False Bound Kingdom. I have it. I have. The yes, box. I do know that one. I didn't. I didn't play that one, but I do know it. I think I saw a speedrun of it. I didn't mind it. It's not a good game, but it's entertaining. I love the 3D models of all the iconic monsters too. Dude, I remember playing Duels of the Roses. I don't mean to like derail this, but like I, I no, was, fine. I had no idea what I was doing. I did not understand yeah. it at all. Uh, I unfortunately my buddy had a PS2 and he let me play it and I'm just like this game sucks it's But I'm gonna sit down and play so it. And he's like, oh, okay, then you want to play it. And I'm like, no, of course I do It's you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I bought it. I was like, oh Yu-Gi-Oh game I want to I want to duel like that 
and then I just like never. Yeah. Ever In my opinion, Yu-Gi-Oh! Did, the Yu-Gi-Oh! games didn't hit their stride till the PSP and the DS era, when like you could actually play the card game. Mm-hmm. It was just kind of more or less like a card sim. Yeah. With like a story around it. Yep. I thought that was just the best way to do it. Because I remember as a small child being so mad, I'm like, why isn't this? Why can't I just play actual Yu-Gi-Oh? Why is this like? An RTS game. Yep. Why is this one? You know, like it's so dumb. a crummy board game. Like it just pissed me off. I remember. Like, oh, night and then, then DS era was really like end of GBA. You start a DS PSP. It was like, mm-hmm. wait, I can actually play the card game now. Let's go. I remember when um, I think I told you this story. I think I told it on stream too. When 3DS was out, like Shady Penguin gave away like a uh, a redeem code for the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel game on 3DS. Zexel, yeah, World Duel Carnival. Yeah, I never played it. It was fun. I heard it's really. It was Whatever. fine. It was fine. I was just like, oh, yes, finally, I can play actual Yu-Gi-Oh! and everything. And then I <laughs> forgot, like, what the issue... There's no multiplayer. It's just single player. Like, yeah, you that's can, crazy. <laughs> you cannot you cannot play cards over over the internet on a, on a 3DS system. Dude, it was so fun to just go bring your DS and just after school, you're all waiting for the bus and we would duel on the bus or do whatever. Hell like, yeah, the, dude. We would do that with a... Um, local multiplayer? Yeah. Uh, we I, would would gig, do, um... I would giga, I would giga stomp everyone just because people would, <laughs> like I would I had like an actual real competitive deck at the time and I, you could put in the punch in the codes and like redeem the cards and I just would destroy everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny because I actually was one of the only people at that time that still played the physical card game and kept mm-hmm. up with it. We would do uh, we didn't do Yu Gi Oh. Ours was well we did play Yu Gi Oh like on the bus like but we did physical yeah. like actual with the cards and everything. Yeah. But the one we did uh, DS was like everybody would bring their DS and we had one kid on the bus, only one kid, who had Mario Kart DS. And, yeah, and you could all like link up. Eight eight people could download, play, yeah. and play all together doing like balloon battle and race. We did that too. Yeah. It was yeah, so sick, that. man. It was I the had that best. For... Yeah, we did... there's a couple other games you could do that with. I think. I think you could do it with Mario Party too. Mario Party DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. I'm pretty sure. Play Soul Silver because the eShop shut down the 3DS. Wouldn't it be easier just to get like a physical copy of Soul Silver? It's like 200 bucks. Oh, on second thought, you make a good point. <laughs> Would love an update so Pokedex gross. 3D Pro complete with the Pokedex voice and quiz functions. That'd be sick. I'd be so all for that. Especially now that we have over a thousand. What were you gonna say? I said it's so gross that it's that expensive. It's so ridiculous, man. I should have gone back in time and told like twelve year old me buy a hundred copies of a yep. game stuff. Exactly, man. I yep. completely agree. I completely agree. I would have I would have bought the entire stock. I've been like, trust me, mom and dad, these are gonna be worth money in the future. Yeah, like debatably, this is as good as Pokemon mm-hmm. gets. If this you told been- if you if you told if you told me like this is as good as Pokemon gets, I think my younger self would actually cry. Yeah, I think younger me would probably be pretty upset, I'm not gonna lie. I think younger me would probably be very sad. And then Black 2, White 2 come out, and he'd be like, you're right. And then he played again <laughs> five years later and be like, nah, that, no, game's that, game's pretty, that game was pretty good. That game was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, we really have a 3D Pro for Switch? Same. That'd be dope. Have to go. Dude, Bye. Just... Good night. Hey, thank you, Mew. Have a good night to you as well. Appreciate you stopping by. I need more, I need more games on my Nintendo Switch download eShop equivalent, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why do we have FE7 but not FE8? Please, I beg. Which one's which one's FE8? I, that's seven's the one with Lynn. Yes, that Eight's I the know. one with the the twins. The twins. Okay. Erica and Ephraim has yes. like the mini route splits. Yes. I do know that. Peak FE. Bite me. I even, um, I didn't even. Oh no, it is because it's on the uh, it's on the GBA. Uh, FE7 on the GBA, right? The, yeah, six. The one with Roy yes. is also on GBA, but it was uh, Japanese exclude. We never got it. Oh. But they're both on the on the uh, GBA Virtual Console thingy, right? No, just seven is. Just seven is. Seven. Just seven. Not six. Not eight. Just just seven. I don't know why I thought six was too. It's because seven's the most popular. Well, well, cause not. I wish six. I wish six was. It's yes. A, okay, just checking. <laughs> well, it's the first. It's the first one that came out in America too. Oh, okay. That that'll do so, it. It's a lot of people's just favorite because nostalgia bias or whatever but in my opinion it's like i think literally the best comparison you could make and i might be insane for making this and no one will agree with me but i agree with it so it's fine i think a really good example is fe7 is kind of like fire red Uh uh-huh where it's like it's good it's competently made but it is kind of simple there's not a lot of variety with like the pokemon Mm -hmm. where fe8 is like 
emerald. It's like cranked up to a lot. Got a lot more. It's got like more features. Uh, it's got like the branch promotions. You have like a a world map that you can traverse, and there's like a bunch of optional battles. Mm -hmm. So it's just like I think it's just a better, more complete, more unique experience for the time too. I can see that. But I'm not not taking anything from seven. I think seven is also really good. Seven, I, it's not my personal top five, but it's definitely like upper tier if you take all like 16 or whatever of the game it's definitely like a top eight one top seven so know, it's in the upper echelon yeah, yeah no definitely it's definitely not mid it's definitely not bad still it's really good it's like thumbs up you know it's not two thumbs up but it's like a thumb and a half up <laughs> a thumb and a half me, up you know yeah <laughs> that's how i describe it yeah and if someone says their favorite i'd be like i get it like it's, it's definitely one of the better ones mm-hmm it's like it's like Just high like up echoes. on someone's list enough. Uh, uh no. <laughs> I did that I did that just to body. Yeah. It's the Echoes is the best look, it's the best presentation, I think. Echoes is gorgeous. It just the maps are the worst maps ever. I, I might need to go back and replay it because like I I, I think maybe I'm looking through rose colored glasses at the like, moment. They really are. Why but I think I will say, I think it's one of those things where I bet if you went back and replayed it, you'd be like, oh, it's not so bad. But if you play a lot of Fire Emblem, mm -hmm. you'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I think it's one of those ones. The more of the other games you play, the more you start to kind of see the flaws. Mm -hmm. But if you only played like four or five Fire Emblem games, like especially you, like no offense, all the ones you've played, not the best maps. You know what <laughs> I mean? Three houses yeah. don't really love the maps. Awakening don't really love the maps. Birthright you played, right? No. So, okay, well, some of the worst maps ever. You know, like, <laughs> I own Birthright, haven't played it. It's fun. I own I think one it's of fun. them. It's, Birthright's fun, it's just the maps stink. Which, and hard which, mode is so easy. Which one is like, the I one think, that's I like, think you, um, un you unironically might have to play it on Lunatic. Oh, shoot. Like, even you. Like, it is oh, shoot. It's not hard. It is, like, not that hard. What is the, um, the one... Because there's Birthright, Conquest, and what's the third one? Revelation. Revelation. I think I have Revelation. That is... Isn't that the worst one? Uh, people go back and forth on this. It's like a meme in the community that Revelations is the worst one. Mm -hmm. um, I think... I don't know. I think Birthright's last few maps are so bad it's comparable to Revelations, but the rest of Revelations is probably worse the problem with revelations is every map has like a stupid gimmick mm -hmm. it's like oh there are these rooms and all the doors on the left do this and the ones on the right do this or oh this map like you have to it's like the whole map is covered in snow and you have to attack the snow banks and sometimes there's enemies and mm -hmm. sometimes there's items and sometimes it's just like every map is a stupid gimmick like they literally put yeah that doesn't sound fun no thought at all into it yeah but birthright the last couple maps are just Infinite reinforcement. That yes. sounds awful. Nonsense too. I think Conquest is the best of the three. It's the most complete. I'll have to check which like, one I have because I know I have one of them. I have I have Awakening. I have Echoes, and I have one of the um, Conquest could have unironically been the best Fire Emblem game of all time if the story wasn't the biggest piece of crap ever. <laughs> <laughs> the story is so bad. Is I it really that bad? It, but... Yeah, the story is awful. Ouch. It is like almost as bad as Engage's story. Dang. It's a bottom three story for sure. Dang, son. It stinks. And Fire Emblem is not known for having the best writing, I will say. No, I will say that's one of the things I didn't really like about um, um, Three Houses. I didn't like a lot of the writing. That's one of the better written games, too. That is? I yes. don't know. If, yep. I, maybe this is why I like Echoes. Probably I feel like, like Echoes has good writing. Echoes is up there in writing. I think the whole there might be wild. Like the so whole Celica like stuff at the end isn't great. I don't remember. But... I don't remember what happens. I'm gonna be honest. I'd say Echoes is probably one of the better written ones for sure. Yeah, I've beaten that game once, so like I don't remember what happened yeah. at the end. I just remember that all men Celica get together. Yep, it's more or less what happens. Uh... I still remember high school days. Sometimes we'd have a free period. And I'd take out my 3ds. My friends would ask, "Well, how are you playing Smash?" Oh, true. Yeah, it's probably. <laughs> is it is it like pretty accessible for the most part? But we would do that, but like with um with Pokemon, like if we had free period, we would just like play like yeah. Pokemon X and Y. Oh, I, yeah, I played time. so much X and Y in high school. <laughs> Same, dude. Like we had like 
like first pe I don't my senior year I had four classes because I, I was on a reduced schedule and um, only needed to take four to have credits and everything and like yeah. two of those classes were throwaways so like my first period class was digital media production and like all we would do is like the announcements and then work on premiere and photoshop certifications that was it yeah, i'd let i would legit go to gamestop like two and a half times during the school week to buy a new game to play in class <laughs> it was really bad <laughs> see i wouldn't do that we would just like do like link battles or like um just like run through the game together or like i remember i remember when um the what's the stupid kingdom hearts game that's on the 3ds um I uh, could not tell you. I know. I, I What is it? I keep wanting to say Birth by Sleep. That's the one on PS. Isn't it like 300 something and a half days? No, that's DS. There's one that's 3DS. What is it called? I can literally picture <laughs> it in my mind. I played it. I played it like three times. What is it called? Dream Drop Distance. Jesus Christ, I was going to kill me. Um, I remember we would, I would play that sometimes and like... I played it on like the hardest difficulty. It was a pain in the butt because like you don't get the mm -hmm. any good like healing stuff until like after like a certain point. I remember this one boss just kicking my butt over and over again. I was like, man, if I just had the healing spell, I feel like I'd be able to beat this guy. And then finally, I beat him. And then my reward was the healing spell. I was like, oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me right now. This <laughs> game is trolling me. Did you ever play uh, Spectropes on the DS? No, you you gassed it up though. It's I, so, I remember dude, it's so good. I, you need to play it. I remember when uh, this was like also when I was it's in lockdown, good. they revealed Sephiroth for Smash, and you were like, Oh, I wish they added Rowan and Gina from <laughs> Spectrobes. And I was like, oh, What the heck is that? And you were like, You need to play it. Oh Dude, my god. I have the biggest crush on Gina. Just mod your 3DS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like, that's what, how I do it. Just mod your 3DS at that point, like, and get Soul Silver on there. They were surprised when I first got the... Smash Hole by being blind. They should see me now. Hey, that's what I like to hear. Sorry, go ahead, Joe. I'm saying I soy pogged when in the second game it just cut to like you can play as her for like mm -hmm. the one part. I was like, oh my goodness. Mm hmm. I believe it. That game, they're, so, they're actually really fun. Was she like it's a, a antagonist that... or something before? No, she's like your. Like a helper? She's like a navigator. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Because gotcha. you're like some space warrior dude, and then she's just kind of like the navigator pilot chick. Mm hmm. That just kind of. You talk to her and she's like, if you don't know what to do, it's like, hey, you can go here. Or, oh, we have this mission. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, she's so beautiful and so <laughs> nice to me. <laughs> well, I can't will real women be like this. <laughs> exactly. I was just playing. I used oh, to get swept by Aaron. Yeah. He sighted in one eye and smashed ult, but now I can sweep him as best. Hey, yes. Well done. Kai, I sent you the game I was talking about in just case you did. Yeah, I saw it. What's your favorite Mario boss theme? Uh, Probably the... Uh, the Cat Bowser fight, um, if this counts as a boss fight, the Honey Loon Ridge, I think is what it's called from Odyssey, where you're, like, capturing Bowser and escaping, and then just, like, the, the boss fight, uh, the final Bowser theme in, um, in Galaxy, probably. Mario Odyssey Bowser theme version 1 in the Cloud Kingdom. Version 1 is very good. Fury Bowser Phase 3. Yes, that's what I like to hear. It's so good. It's so good. I don't even know. Can't even contribute. So you said you've played New Super Mario's in, on the DS and then New Super Mario Bros. on the 3DS, correct? Yeah, 3D World or whatever it's called. On the 3DS? I don't know, man. I played one on the DS, one on the 3DS. The one on the then, 3DS is uh, probably pretty Odyssey, And then Odyssey I played like 75% of. Okay. Did you beat Odyssey? I played... No. I got up to... <clears throat> I, I the last thing I did was I beat that like scary looking dragon that looks like it has you no place right at the being end. in the game. You were right yeah. at the end. And then I just <laughs> dropped it to play. I, I think I dropped it to play BSP. Oh my god. <laughs> I just what never a fall from grace. Yeah. I never beat it. I have it somewhere. Probably should just beat it. Say I did. That I think you should play. Like at least just finish it. It's so I didn't good. even I, I, I thought it was just okay though. I told Mike it's not in my top five Switch games. I don't know if it's in my top five Switch games. Well, it might be. I don't know. But I think then it's again, in, I think it's then again, number one. Then, <laughs> okay. and it's not mine. <laughs> Xenoblade one, two, and not three are either. on that. Uh, I have Breath of the Wild. I know for sure. I'd really have to sit down and think about it. Breath of the Wild is probably my number one. 
It's probably it might be my one. number. Probably mine too. I don't know if I like Breath of the Wild more or Tears more. I go back and forth so much. Yeah. I think Breath of the Wild's narrative is way more interesting. Where Tears is just like, hey, we're we're back doing the same yeah. stuff. It's just I know, the, of the, the story Ganon, component. Yeah. It's definitely less compelling. It's very Ocarina. It's very Ocarina of Time. Mm-hmm. Like like straight up just Ocarina of Time. Yeah. You have your sages. Another, another game I have not finished. You never finished Ocarina of Time? No. Don't get me wrong, I think it's pretty overrated, I... but it's still really good. Going halfway through. What part did you finished... get to? Um The Water Temple, maybe? Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna cut you some <laughs> slack because I can completely understand dropping the game at that part. <laughs> no, the the problem is I like I was enjoying myself and I had enough fun with it. It's just something else will come out mm -hmm. that I care about more. Or, like it's, yeah. it might not even be a better game. Like BDSP is definitely not a better game. But it's from a franchise. Than Mario Odyssey. But I, yeah, but I'm way more invested in Pokemon. Exactly. I completely get that. And I, and I didn't know. I didn't know BDSP was gonna be complete garbage. No. Which is like, oh, a Gen 4 remake. Like, I wasn't in love with how it looked. But I'm like, oh, Pokemon will be fun enough. Let yeah, me try this out. Exactly. And this was Doo -doo such a slog. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I get you. Um, what else happened? There's a lot. Of, what what else has Joe not finished? Xenoblade 2. Sorry. Uh, I died of cringe. Uh, I died of cringe. I'm sorry. But 3 is so I good. Was, I was dying of cringe. I need to know. How far did you get? I need to know. What do you remember? I, I remember nothing. I cannot tell you. Do you I remember? Legit don't remember. A I just remember that everyone's voice just was so weird. Did not fit. Very New Zealandy. Well, I thought the dragon did. The dragon's voice did not fit at all. The dragon's voice? What? What dragon? dragon? I play a different Xenoblade. What dragon? Oh no 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 no, there... no 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 no! You're talking about Gramps. Yeah. Zerda. Yeah. Oh, dude. I don't know, man. Okay. I just remember, I just remember being, I was low key kind of bored out of my mind, and then there were a bunch of cutscenes that just were really cringe, waifu nonsense. I'm like, yeah. I can determine. I just got done. I'm like, yeah, I just got done playing Fire Emblem. I already it's up to my eyeballs and waifu nonsense. I can so determine I how far you got to the Blade Two based on one question: okay. Did the dragon die? Yeah. Okay. You at least beat chapter one. Let's go. Round of applause. Round yep. of applause. He beat chapter one, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. And then he like reincarnates like as the like small guy. Yeah. I want to say four hours, maybe. I got. So you were probably on chapter two. Yeah. Which is like the Gormot chapter. Uh, I probably put about four or five hours into it. That's all I know. Did you meet Tora, like the little Napon pervert kid? Yeah, I. I think that might have been where I stopped playing. Yeah, you know, that's <laughs> valid. That's valid. <laughs> yeah, you know, Tora, Tora's just kind of I figured, you know what? Let's let's play Xenoblade with Kai at some point. Oh my, like, please. How I'm going to play Effie. How I'm going to play Effie with you. It's like, you can play Xenoblade with me. I would love that so much. Like, actually so much. I would love to play Xenoblade with you. Or just watch you play Xenoblade and just yeah. cringe at everything you're doing. Because that's literally what's going to happen when I play Fire Emblem in front of you. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna be like, why did you equip this specific blade to Rex? What are you doing? This blade doesn't even have a topple art. What? And you'll be like, I don't know, giant great axe like, go burr. <laughs> be like, be like, great axe ice blade go burr. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally the actually no shield hammer is the worst blade class. Um I didn't be Monster Hunter World. That's I never one played that... it. Monster Hunter is giga overrated. I'm so sorry. I I know everyone really likes Monster Hunter. I 1,000% agree. It's like fine. Agree. 1, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's if, if you don't have your friends, though, it's it's kind of a bum single player experience, in my opinion. Whatever the one was on the 3DS, my one of my best friends oh, got it for stunk. my birthday. Three? It was so bad. I, I He got yeah. it for my birthday. He was like, yeah, we're all going to play it together. And I was like, okay, yeah, no, happened, no, we never played it together. And I only did the single player. And I was like, this game sucks. It's my, so boring. My, my brothers and I, we all got it to play together. And after like, you know, a day of playing it, my one brother's like, this stinks! Yes. And he stopped playing with us. And then 
my other brother's like, yeah, he's right. <laughs> and then I'm like, no, it has to be good. Everyone loves Everybody it. Everybody loves it. And then I'm just, though. and I just kept going. I'm like, I play another like day, and I'm like, again, I can't. I can't do it. I I, I oh, played I for like eight it. hours, and I was like, I'm done. This is all my hour. lurkers. All my lurkers left after I made those monster hunter comments. <laughs> That's so over. True. No, it's I mean, I so agree. over. I agree though. Galaxy Final Bowser theme is so good. Absolutely, it's fire. Reminds me of the size of N theme, actually. Of Ooh, okay, now I'm even more excited to see it. Best Mario level theme? I mean, like, Wooded Kingdom is up there. Metro Kingdom is up there, just from Odyssey. Uh, 3D Land, what's, I, I really, it's pretty, um, pretty basic, but the uh, Super Bell Plains, or whatever it's called. Um, what's the one... In oh, I can't remember what world it's in. Ah, shoot. The the Bowser like car bosses are pretty good. I really like the Piranha Plant Symphony from Wonder. There's so many good ones. Imagine a Pokemon game to the scale of Tears of the Kingdom with all nine regions. They would never do that. They hate us. They would yeah. never do that. Loki. I wish Aaron. I wish because that'd be so sick. But they would never do it. Uh, Loki. I actually don't know if I'd want that. I would, depending on how they executed it. I just, I don't know. Um, I kind of, it's like how I view Fire Emblem. I kind of usually just want a wholly unique experience, but mm -hmm. they incorporate a gameplay that I'm familiar with, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd rather just Gen 10 be super polished, have a lot of really nice designs. Oh, yeah, nice I agree. Music. Yeah. Like, I'd rather just have it be its own unique feeling region. If those are the options, anything. I'm 1000% on board with you. 1000 percent i'll take a good gen 10 over like a massive region of all nine regions any day like 100 yeah, percent. like instead of like a game freak made pokey mmo because you know yeah. they just would cut every corner too and it could never be good <laughs> yeah exactly that's what i'm saying it might be fun to play just because it's got be a cool concept yeah but like when fans of the games can make a better pokemon game than game freak itself yeah. the future does not look good between poke mmo yeah. radical red like, I think Emerald Rogue is phenomenal. Emerald Rogue, exactly. Like, as much as I clown on Radical Red, it is unironically up there as, like, one of the best Pokemon games ever made. As much as I clown on that game, because it's stupid difficult, it's it's incredible what they've done. Like, Pokemon all the way up through the end of Gen 9, that, like, every single Pokemon is in the game. A great, like, more difficult battles, built-in elements to make the game more challenging, but also more accessible... It's just so convenient. Like you can, it's the most customizable Pokemon game, which is mm -hmm. so sick. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. The boss fights are stupid and broken and annoying, but like if you're not doing a Nuzlocke, it's like, okay, well I can beat it by using this. But during Nuzlocke, it's hell. But like otherwise, it's so good. I'd love to go back to Radical Red and just play it, I think. Mm-hmm. Ow, just- We kind of already have. <laughs> yeah. I basically. I argue you made it to the late four. Like you're, you're probably okay. I mean, technically, I did beat the champion. It's just the nuzlocke was over. <laughs> yeah. I got to, I think Bruno. I lost it. Was that the Bruno or Agatha? I lost at. I can't remember which one. It was one of the two. I think it might have been Bruno. That sounds right in my brain. Did you ever pick it up, Red Oak or Red or no? Never. No. Nah. <laughs> I know Mike started it, but I don't think he finished it yet. Or probably even came close to finishing it. I have too many, like, actual other games I need to play. Yeah. I My game's that. list is never-ending. Like, I still need to be Persona 3 and Baldur's Gate 3. Dude, same. Like, I know, spoilers, <laughs> we were playing it together for a little bit, but, like... That's <laughs> fun, yeah. See, I would do that again. Like, I would love to do that. Yeah. I was having so much fun with that series, it's not even funny. It's I just was... a fun game. It is. It's so good. I know game of the year awards like like who cares what does it even mean Baldur's like it Gate definitely deserved, deserved it 1000 yeah, yeah, yeah. like don't get me wrong dude i love tears of the kingdom i will like simp for the zelda franchise until the cows come home baldur's gate 3 yeah. deserved that game of the year award i think they're both like phenomenal i think oh, either yeah. or easy both easy like 10 out i would 10. not i would not have been upset if either of them got no it. absolutely not i would never have been upset if either one but if it. like i don't even know if i'm on the council yeah. though i'm voting baldur's gate 3 what was a big game that came out that people liked? 2023. Um, God of War. 
Was that even then, like, that, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just, you know, sometimes it's like just not warranted at all. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you have, like, games that do deserve it, like Xenoblade 3, not even. Like, it got nominated for Game of the Year, which is already huge, but the fact that it did not win Best Soundtrack is just like. The Game Awards are a bunch of bull crap. Yeah. Like, that I remember I. Soundtrack is so good. I remember I tweeted the, the one time. It was like when Fire Emblem Three Houses won a bunch of awards. Yeah, I remember. And I'm like, and I'm like, dang! Imagine if the panel played an actual <laughs> good Fire Emblem game. Damn. Like, I, these guys I still like Three Houses. 2005, you know. I genuinely don't. I think it, the music. It gets, is it, it, so gets good. it gets worse every time I play it. Granted, I will say I have not played it in a while. I I liked it when it came out. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Oh, I loved it when it came out. And then. You know, six plus playthroughs later, I'm just like, if I never played this game again, I I wouldn't care. See, I think that yeah, did I... help, because like I only played it three times, and not even fully three. Yeah. Like I I, did... I played it. Uh... Go ahead. I'm I, gonna say. I was gonna. I did a Black Eagles hard route, hard mode route. I did mm -hmm. a Golden Deer hard route, hard mode route, and then what's the? Is it maddening? Is the highest difficulty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I started a Blue Lions maddening. And I never finished it. I actually think I I have eight playthroughs because I did Jesus. all four routes. I did all four on hard, and then I did all four on maddening. Damn, son. No wonder. Like, if I played a game eight yeah. times and, like, back to back to back to back to back to back to back, like, yeah, I'm going to be like, I'm done. I could never play this game and be happy. <laughs> like, I, I could never play this game ever again. I'd be a, no, a I mean, to be, person. No, but that's the thing, to be fair, though. Like, there's games where I have played that much that, Granted, they're not as much of a chore to play, yeah. you could argue. But like, I could, I could play Emerald start to finish again, like no problem. Oh yeah, I could yeah, play yeah. FDA start to finish again, no problem. I don't know, just three houses. There's so much fluff mm -hmm. in it. It's the, not mandatory, quote unquote, but like it's the monastery optimal. segments and stuff, like yeah. to like get your units raised up. Yeah. When not meanwhile, mandatory, just, but it, it's optimal. Meanwhile, so just raise violence and. High uh, difficulty. Just, probably should do it just raise by left and guard you'll be fine <laughs> on anything bless them yeah but the, you know, say, but the problem is <laughs> what six out of my eight runs i didn't have Adelgard. guard true <laughs> she the goat for a reason she is the best of the three lords yes performance she is wise. and don't you forget I it. Deny it i think i can't deny it as much as i simper i i unironically think claude's the best best character of the three and then claude like of the three, I don't know. Like character wise, they all have pretty glaring character flaws. Oh, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, but that, that, they're like supposed to. Like it, it, it that they were intended that way. So I think like they executed it well. Personally, is it true? Per and Pauline have the same voice actress. I don't know. I'd believe it. I could kind of hear it a little bit. Who's your favorite Zelda champion? I think I would say Urbosa. Urbosa is probably mine as well. I think. Um. I like Mifa just because the story I stuff. I knew you were gonna say Mifa. I knew it. I thought the stuff with Link was cute. I knew you were gonna say Mifa. Urbosa's probably second. Yeah, I love dude. Urbosa's so freaking damp, dude. She's so sick. I do really like um. Oh, what's the the new? She's not. What's the what's the sage? The the, the Gerudo sage in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh. Right? About. She's so sick. I, yeah, I love yeah. her. She's cool. She's probably my favorite from. She is my favorite from Tears. Actually, no, I like I like Sidon. Sidon is a close second. It is very close. Like I love I Sidon. Like Sidon I, it, it, depending on the day, I might say Sidon, but like I think right now I'm thinking the the Rudo girl. But Sidon is his just his ability so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. Did you uh? You didn't beat tears, right? Like, um, I, I have done everything except the final dungeon. Okay, you're way farther than me. I'm like halfway through. I've done two of the champions. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I've got all the sages done. I've got all of the dragons tears done. Actually, no, I haven't done the underground yet. I haven't done a whole lot with the underground. I've only done like the first part of it. I think yeah, I'm like a third I, of the way through it. I haven't done a lot of the underground either. I, I'm like barely a third of the way through the underground, I think. Yeah. 
Fifi, can you like not bump my microphone, please? Because that's how it gets unplugged, and then I get mad at you, and then you get mad at me, and you smack me. You literally just are almost unplugged it, you stupid cat, man. I will say I hope the next Zelda game is a fair bit different than Tears. I think it know? needs to be. Like we we've, yeah. we've got Breath of the Wild. Let's switch it up a little. Yeah, I kind of wish they had already switched it up with Tears, maybe. But Tears is still good. Oh, Tears is phenomenal. Yo, so what's I up, Bernardo? Welcome complain. to the stream. How you doing? I feed on radiation. Good luck with that, fam. When you doing that dub thingy for Honkai Star Rail? It's not Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> the audition. Yes. The audition has already happened. Uh, you should. Uh, it's in. You should stream it. You should stream it on your channel just to get an in. Be like, oh, I'm Honkai a fan Star of the Rail? game. Look. <laughs> yeah, you pulled up. The, the auditions already happened. It's in the uh, the uh, other people's court now. Then I tried it. I told you right. I tried to play that game and I got bored out of my mind. You did. You did tell me that. Yeah. I think during another one of these streams, actually, you mentioned it. Yeah. But gotcha no. games are hell on earth, though, too. Yo. I will say. Yep, yep, yep. As much as I love Xenoblade 2, there's basically a built-in gotcha game. Yeah. No, it is not Honkai Star Rail. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm it's sorry Genshin Impact. I would, I, I, <laughs> dude, morals out the window. I would, I would, I would shill for uh, Genshin Impact straight up. I don't care. If they paid me, I'd be I, like, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> I, w I don't think I could. Uh, I do it. I don't care. I don't I'm think easily, I could. I'm easily corruptible with when it comes to vo voice acting. Nah, I'm just. <laughs> I don't think I, I probably, I mean, I'd probably do it. I, if they came to me and they were like, hey, we're going to pay you $1,000 to voice our next year, I'd be like, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say no. A thousand dollars. A thousand bucks? I'm not going to say no to that. Probably more than that, though. Probably like for game. a, like, yeah. multi-million dollar game. Yeah. Hope they'd at least tack a zero on there for you. Yeah. I mean, dude, 10K? Bro, where do I sign? I don't care what game it is. <laughs> I don't give a damn. 10K? Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh no! I'll be the next. I'll voice. What if your What if your your first voice acting gig was they finally implement voice acting in the Gen 10 Pokemon and everyone just rags on you? I don't. 10K baby. <laughs> that would be. I, I mean, be something. If, if it was Pokemon, like I would assume they'd probably pay more than 10K. You know, highest grossing media franchise of all time, and that. But still. Then again. Well, considering they made Scarlet and Violet for again. probably 10K, I doubt it. Yeah, I was about to say that again. <laughs> No, it is not a Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> but the uh, the additions already happened. I already sent it in. Um, Maybe if you say it enough times, it'll make it come true. We'll see. Manifest it. We'll see. I did send it in though. Uh, it's in balls in their court. I don't know when I'm gonna hear back. So if I hear anything, y'all y'all know about it. Whether it's a yes or a no, I'll let you know. But I still can't say what it is. Please stream it. It's very good. Love gambling. <laughs> true. True. Gotcha games are brutal. Should, they are. We should make a video about it. About um, like, Genshin Impact. Yeah, why not? Do it, man. It'll be completely fun and not piss anyone off. Do surely. it, man. Why not? What do you got to lose? That's a good point. Why not? Why not? How many uh, encounters would you say you've done so far? Uh, I'm at eleven sixty-four. Oh man. So fifty-three. What, how many do you think you're at? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I just could in, not tell you. Genshin is in drama right now? Why is Genshin in drama? I need to try writing a Zelda Pokemon crossover. Oh, that'd be adorable. I'd be in, I'd be into that. That sounds fun. Not Genshin, Honkai Star Rail, a character that is a gambler is coming soon. Oh. So they're like putting Gambit in Honkai Star Rail. I see. I think that's Please don't. <laughs> don't don't make a video on Genshin Impact. I assume I I, I, I I won't. I will. Why yeah, not? I'll 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 be in your video about Genshin Impact. How's that sound? Hey, you can be the one uh, spending money to unlock the new characters. For I can, me to play I can with. be the one playing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just watch. <laughs> you just provide I did, commentary. I did. Pl I played it for like uh, an hour because my one friend's like, dude, it's so good, and I played uh -huh. it. And I'm like. This is not good. It is not. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure I would like it because it's an open world RPG. And like, you know me, I love open world RPGs. But 
even then, like, get I, I even I think I have my limits, you know? Yeah. I mean, literally, I, I've seen Hawkeye. I don't know. My problem with, uh, I lost my fervor. If, if they couldn't get me to like the Fire Emblem gotcha game, they're, you know, never going to get me to like one. I thought you liked Heroes. Did you not? No, I hated Heroes. Aww. I just only played it because it was Fire, Fire Emblem. Emblem related. Valid. I played it for like a solid uh, six months, I think. I, I liked it. I, thought I, played it for like a, I played it for a year. I'm like, I can just play real Fire Emblem now. What? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was fine. I didn't love it, but I thought it was all right. I'm just not really a, a mobile game person, I, I've come to realize. So, don't worry, Mr. Matthew. We're definitely working on a a favorite Fire Emblem characters video. Ooh, wait. Top 10, I'm going to do a parody of the top 10 hottest Sonic characters. Oh my top god, 10 yeah, I know that video. Fire Emblem babes. Yeah. yeah. Lucina's not on the list, Kai. I'm did, sorry. Wait, wait, didn't you do that video before? I did, but I'm going to actually, like, put more than 10 minutes of effort Yeah, I was going to say, I remember that video. You were, like, and the number one hottest character in Fire... Hottest girl in Fire Emblem, and you said Libra. I remember that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, good, that's good funny. Bit. It was a good bit, yeah. It was funny. Libra is voiced by a chick, so... Is he actually? Yeah. Yeah. I love Libra. Libra's actually great. a good unit. Yeah, I actually use them. Actually a good unit. I use them in my... my uh, Promoted healer. You use axes. Yup. Libra's, Libra's a... Man. Is it War Cleric? Is that what it's called? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I use monks. Libra. I think, I think it's... I think the dudes are called War Monks. The chicks are called War Clerics. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But, yeah. More or less. I'm pretty sure... I, I don't even know why. I think that I just randomly put them together. Donald. Donald, uh, Donald's, Donald's epic. I want to use him on. I didn't use Donald. I tried. I tried to use him in Lunatic. How'd that go for you? It's it's like it's like impossible. Because <laughs> <laughs> everything you're like, okay, he deals three damage to them, and he takes thirty eight. He, <laughs> he takes like thirty eight because he gets Jesus. double. He takes like you know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get him off the ground. Because he he has really good growth, doesn't he? Yeah, everything's like 90, 100 plus. Yeah. If you're guaranteed to get us that. Yeah, I I did not. Nah, Lunatic's just the Lunatic's just the it's the Frederick show for the first like couple chapters, and then yep. it becomes the, the Robin Crom show. Sounds about right. And then every other character you use is just for like a specific pair up that you need to get. Like it's like oh, if you need a speed pair up, you do Long Ku or one of those True. knights. I'm pretty sure. If you need sure. like a bulky pair up, you can take like Callum or Vake. I I dude I I, I that's what I hate I about Awakening so too. Just fast. the highest difficulties. Really? Yeah, I thought he was. I thought he was bad, so I, I just stopped Vake's, using him. Makes a makes a really good defensive pair up, but I I didn't even use him. Yeah, I I get that. He's like he's an okay defensive pair up in my opinion. I think I used. I think I just was like, all right, here, take Kellum. Here you go. Donald Best Girl, so true. Donald Best Girl, true. It's real and true. Uh, what characters did you use? I was gonna say. Do you play on hard or normal? I think I played on. I, I definitely didn't play on normal. Remember, no, I, it was definitely hard. Um, yeah. I used Prom, Lucina, Robin, obviously. Um, I think I used Frederick for a while and then benched him and then brought him back. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I had Lissa as my healer. Yeah. Um, I didn't use Maribel, I didn't use Rickon. Um... Yeah. I usually just give their tomes to Robin. Yeah, I think, that's, what, I think that's exactly what I did. Um, yeah. I think I used Muriel, because I was like, oh, buff magic for Robin, hooray, and then I just up like, marrying them. Um, yeah. I used some of the children, I used Morgan, because she's broken. Yeah, Morgan's cracked. Morgan and Lucina are insane. What's... is it Cynthia? Is that Sumia's daughter's name? Yeah. I used her. She's pretty good. I mean, if you can just pass down Gale Force and they have it right away. That's what I did, OP. baby. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think Tharja, there might Libra. be... I think there is a way to give every kid Gale Force, I want to say. I believe it. I'm sure there is. I think I... Yeah, there's... Oh. I think I did Tharja Libra. I think I did... I think I used Gaius, Sully. Um... That's a funny little comment. I agree. What's the the Manikeet's name? Nawi. I used her and Gregor. Gregor saw it. I liked Gregor. No, I just, I just like either. Gregor. He was funny. I was like, I like the way this guy speaks. You talk to Gregor. 
<laughs> Apparently, Gregor had king. no per Gregor had no personality in the Japanese version. He's just like a normal dude, and so they just gave him an accent and like made him a completely different character. Gregor is dub. my king. I love him. Yeah. I should have started He's my bad unit. Toward, like age thirteen. I used to get stressed over not wanting, over not getting the characters I wanted, but now I have a huge collection. Hey, that's well makes it all worth it. What are you gonna say, Joe? Don't worry about it. Okay. Well then. <laughs> yeah. Who did I say? Did you marry Lucina? I assume. No, I married. I think like I think I just married Robin and Muriel because I put them together once and they got like level B support <laughs> already, and I was like, all right, might as well. Uh, give Morgan magic pl magic plus five or something. I was like, might as well. That's funny. Might as well. So I did. I don't know. There's not like really an absurd waifu that stands out in that game, you know? Yeah. Not like not like Conquest and Birthright and Revelations. <laughs> they don't have a queen like Felicia. Okay, dude. <laughs> that, Felicia's. Uh, I love her so much. You're just a stain. That's oh the dang. maid. That's the maid, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna play her voice lines for you after stream. They're so god, they're it's great. So cringe. They're amazing. I like Charlotte a lot too. She's just. The, she's a. She's a female axe fighter. Oh, okay, I'd probably like her then. Just she sounds like a vamp. Uh, no, she's kind of annoying. Aww. Her whole gimmick is. Her whole gimmick is. I'm weak. Oh no. Like. Oh never mind. I hate her. Like a really. She's actually really good, scary. She's like a... Her whole character is that she's a gold digger. Oh, <laughs> alright, that seems kind of fun. She, like, Cause manipulates like, men. Because, like, I don't like Olivia because she's, she's just, fine. like, the... Um, like, she's a good unit because she's a dancer. But, I like, like Olivia just because she's so broken. She's but so I, her, I don't like her personality. I like her as a unit yeah. because, like, dancers are broken. But her personality is yeah. like, oh my god, I don't care. Check Discord. I will check Discord. I recommend Honkai Star because I love space and it's turn-based. Turn-based RPGs gets me booming. The animation's really good. I like turn-based RPGs too. I just don't know. I'm I might check it out eventually, but we'll see. Yo, what's Dang, up, Brandon? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? What were you gonna say? I'll have to check that. I'll have to check that game out, sir. I just responded to one of my comments. What game? I don't know. <laughs> okay. But anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. You know, You're I saying. just realized that Petra is literally Artemis. I mean, like she's like a huntress, right? I like Petra. Petra was cool. I really like Petra. She was one of my favorites in the Black Eagles route. I usually make her a Peg Knight. I think I made Flying her... OP. I think I made her... I th I th it was either a Pegasus Knight or a... Um... What's one of the... Like, s like, what's after Thief? Like, Mercenary and stuff. Assassin? I think I made her an Assassin or a Pegasus Knight. It was one of the two. I can't remember. Oh well. Oh well. John should be the nominee. Who is John? <laughs> Does you mean? Do you mean Joe? Um. <laughs> so oh, like, and then I like, like Rinka too. Rinka? Fates. Oh, I, I, like uh, I said, I don't know Fates. She's the chick with the six pack. All right, I probably like her then. She just as mean you. That's her whole character. Never mind. I wouldn't like her. <laughs> I would hate her. She, I love her. She's she's such a bad unit. But I love her. I love her because she's so bad. She's probably like a mid. She's mid. Like she's pretty mid. I don't know. Felicia's the real queen, though. OP unit. Just with you from the start of the game. They just made her so annoying, and I love it. It's ten out of ten. Best girl in all the Fire Emblem, maybe. Nah, that's not true. Damn, son. Pretty high up there. <laughs> Where's the shiny Pokemon man? Where is it? I don't know if I'm gonna hunt. Uh, I can hear you. Okay, I think I'm good. I knocked my mic over, so I was muted okay. for a second. Sorry. Do yeah, look up uh, look up Rinka, Matt. She's cool. I'm gonna look her up while you're doing this too. Do you prefer I really Lisa like her or Elise? Really I, like I haven't played the game that Elise is in, um, so I'm just gonna assume Lissa. <laughs> I haven't played. I like a, the I like a, I like Elise slightly more just because she's a better unit in her respective game. Oh yeah, I don't think I would like her. She's uh she's Lissa on a horse. 
So Maribel. Okay. Yeah, she's. <laughs> it's like if you got. It's like if you got Maribel like one of the first chapters of the early game instead of Lissa. Yeah. And just having that having the extra movement is really nice, and she's a royal, which is also nice. She can also reclass her in a wyvern, and then you can make her a malignite. Broken. She, you can actually use her in combat. Yeah. I would say Elise. I like Lissa's personality a bit more, just because she's less annoying. She's still kind of annoying, but less annoying. I like Lissa. I think she's fine. And I think I think Lissa's underrated. I think. I think she's good. I think any early game utility unit is pretty solid. They'll oh, just yeah. always get levels and be competent once Definitely. you promote them. I remember Rinka. It's a shame that game is Gar from Fates. <laughs> yeah, um, I think the gameplay is pretty okay in Fates. Like, I don't know. It feels good. It looks nice. The maps are not my favorite. Conquest yeah, is solid maps, right but here. the one with Rink but the one that Rink is in Birthright. Bottom five FE game in terms of maps. The maps are Garbo. Damn, son. Yeah, they stink. So I will not fight. I will not fight you on that. Love the fact that Lissa is voiced by Pauline. Is she actually? I didn't know that. Yeah, Joe, I've got dementia. You're good, fam. Azura, <laughs> Rioma, Xander are top three Fates characters for me. Azura specifically because she's voiced by a friend of mine. Okay, well, that's valid then. Like, if it's voiced by a friend of yours, like, I get that. I need I mean, to play broken it. units. Yeah, I need. I still need I don't to know play that. Saying that, uh, that, I don't game. know if they're like my favorite because for me, I like good units, but I don't know if I like broken units. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're all kind of broken. Did you like Lysithia? No. Oh, I like Lysithia. <laughs> I'm more of a Linhart guy. Linhart was cool. I liked Linhart. I, I didn't like him at first, and then, like, I used him more, and I was like, wait, this character's kind of dope. <laughs> this character's kind of a goat. He's pretty good. Yeah, I he's remember. great. I will say, Three yeah, Houses, despite me, despite me playing it a million times on the highest difficulty, it's one of the hardest games, at least I think, to rate the characters, because there's just so much you can do with them. Mm -hmm. I think I'd probably or go... Like, I think it, I there's probably, like, two kinds of Fireman players. The Fireman player who ranks characters based on how good they are as a unit, and the Fire Emblem player who base, rates characters based on their personality. And, like, not saying one's better than yeah. the other. I'm just saying, like, I feel like those are the <laughs> two conflicting mentalities when it comes to Fire Emblem characters. No, definitely. Like, oh, man, this character's such a good unit, but wow, I can't stand them. Or, like, the opposite's also true. Yeah. So, I don't know, it's kind of tough to, like, fully give, like, a, uh, like a completely unbiased rating of Fire Emblem characters. Yeah, no, for me, you... You have to be a good unit and be somewhat tolerable personality-wise. <laughs> oh yeah. Like I, I, if they have like a good personality, I'm already gonna like them. But like if they're just like a god tier unit, I'm like, all right, well you're like my new favorite character. Congratulations, you are now my new favorite. Cause like Edelgard, I love her because like she's broken and like she has a cool like story of her like ascension to being the empress and everything. But like. Yeah, she, so cool. Well, I was going to say, she's kind of ruthless, man. Like, she's kind of messed up. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I love her. And like I said, I will simp. But, like, I can acknowledge, like, she does some pretty screwed up stuff. Yeah. Like, the whole, like, is it her C support where she talks about, like, like how she killed, like, her siblings or something? You think I'm listening to an Aeolguard support? Oh, like, buddy, what? come on. What? It's the one where... It's the one where, like, um, she's, like, screaming at night or something, and you find her, like, in the hallway. Or you're, like, you're, like walking by your door, and you hear her. Yeah, it's, like, I'm pretty sure it's one where she literally talks about, like, how she wasn't going to be the one in line to receive the throne, so she killed all of her siblings or something. Or at least, like, that's the sub... I don't think that she outright says, like, yeah, I murdered my siblings. I think it's, like, the subtext behind it. I don't know. But I remember reading you. that, and I was like, Jesus Christ, that is ruthless. Anyway, I'm still getting married. Yeah, Matt, <laughs> no, Matt, you make a good point. Corn is like one of the worst written boards for sure. Just very wet blanket is a good way to put it. And I like that the game like goes out of its way to be like, oh, you're so cool and awesome and great, and everyone loves you. <laughs> Gross. Yo, Murph, That's like every, mod every modern FE game, though. So. Yeah, literally by left. Yeah, literally, I mean, literally in the newest one, Engage, you are, like, you are a god. You are literally a god. Like, demigod, whatever. And everyone just loves you. 
even <laughs> people of like enemy religions and factions are just like wow he's so great and interesting <laughs> i'm like ah oh, i don't like this nope Linhart is actually pretty cool as a character. Oh, yeah, I agree. Linhart's great. On the surface, he's yeah. just a napper, but look deeper. He's actually pretty smart and excellent conversationist. Yeah, Linhart's cool. Matt, look up, uh, look up Edelgard time skip design. She's like a badass armor knight chick. Oh, my God, Definitely dude. Oh, my God, dude. Bruh. If, if there's an Edelgard figurine out there of that, I need it, bro. I need that in my life. Hey, Viridian, welcome back. This music is actually so good. It is very good. The lake theme goes hard. It does. Hunting theme SSR took three hours for an outbreak and never got it. Oof. Rough. Couldn't you just, like, hunt under the crystal pool, though? Because isn't that the only thing that spawns underneath the crystal pool? Uh, like, am I wrong about that? I don't know. What were they trying to hunt? Feebas. In... Scarlet and Violet. I, yeah, I wouldn't know. Oh. I would not know. Because I know this game, it's like the random tiles or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have to find the random tiles. It's fine. Hmm. It's a 50-50. Bro, shiny Milotic in a shiny only playthrough. How cool would that be? That'd be pretty fire. That's a That'd be fire. That, that's a great shiny. shiny. The Absolutely. The gold and the blue. Yes, yeah. sir. That thing's insane. It's such a good Pokemon, too. It's so... Dude, like, I, there's a that'd reason why I That'd be great to break out. It. Oh, that'd be great to break out my own Flame Warp Marvel scale Milotic against Cynthia's. You're like, you thought you were clever, huh? <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do better. Exactly, exactly. You need some chips for increasing outbreak chains that can help. Yeah, true. Murph is the uh, Murph is the person to go to. Not gonna lie, Kaiga, you should do reactions. Like, what kind of reactions? Did you hear those music renditions from some streams ago? I listened to some of them, not all of them. I just have been pretty busy because we've got testing at school this week, like state testing. So I've been pretty swarmed with uh, with getting that set up. So it's been a fun week. Actually, two weeks. This is week two of it. I know way too much about that game. True. I remember you you reacted to like the Nintendo Direct. I did. I did do kinda, that. That kind of counts. That kind of counts. Yeah, I did. I did do that. I had fun doing that, too, because Endless Ocean got revealed, and I was excited. <laughs> I think you were the only person on planet Earth excited. I Actually, that's not true. Connor, Connor and I and you are, like, the only people that know what that was. And that's why we're friends, because we get it. It was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. Endless Ocean's great. My little brother said he's going to pick it up. Too, Hell yeah. Because he, him and I would play the the Wii one a lot okay, back yeah. in the day. Is that the second we'd always one? Pass off the, we'd always pass off the controller because we get scared. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? I'm excited, dude. It definitely seems like this one's going to be very low-key, so it'll just be like a good chill, a good way to chill and vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unironically, unironically, like, the scariest game I ever played, though. It's like a 10-year-old kid just staring out into the dark abyss, and then you see something swimming at you. It's terrifying, dude. Like we grew up next thunk, to the open thunk water. Who'd have thunk a game about? Who'd have thunk a game about fish? Be so scary. Like we grew <laughs> up, dude. Even now, like we grew up next to open water. Like Joe and I are both from Florida. For those who don't know, and like even now, like when I'm just like in the ocean, I'm just like, man, there could be like a shark like 30 feet underneath me, and I'd have no idea right now. Isn't that cool? That's something. Is it a boom or is it a doom? It's kind of doomed right now in terms of the shiny hunting, but we're very under odds, so. And we're having a good in time. About, like, we're vibing. In about a billion hours. If we if we get it, like... I'm trying to do the math in my head. If we get it in, like, the next 100 hours, <laughs> it's probably a boom. It's probably a great success. True. Question here. Do you think canonically sings the Edge of Dawn? What's the Edge of Dawn, Joe? The... Is that the... Theme, it's the theme from Three Houses. Like, Which... the... So like reach for my hand. Oh, uh, probably so. I think it's. I think. I think that's it. Probably Sothis, right? I thought it was Rhea. I don't know. One or the other. The only song I can remember from the top of my head in that game is, for one, Fodlin wins because it goes. So plot twist. Hard. It was. Plot twist. It was Petra. Plot, oh, plot twist. It was Leone. <laughs> Nobody's favorite character. <laughs> All she wanted to do was bang my dad. Yeah. Which, I mean, I kind of respect it, but... <laughs> Still. Yeah, I would say my guess would probably be so this, or Joe said Ray. I could see Ray as well. Please, Murph is the person to go for. Murph's got you. 
Reactions like Honkai Star Rail trailers, character trailers. It's so fun. I'm pretty sure. Oh, true. You could, you could, you could, you could probably get a lot of. You, you, I mean, to be fair, you could probably farm a lot of views that way. I yeah. get recommended all the time. I get recommended all the time. It's like non League of Legends player watches all the League of Legends cinematics, and it's just some random guy gets like you know 50k views because all the League people just are like, oh, I hope he likes my main or thinks they look cool <laughs> in the trailer. You could do that, low key. I mean, some views. I guess, but I don't know if I'd want to do that for stuff that I don't really like care about or stuff I'm not interested in. I mean, I guess it's like being exposed to like yeah. a new. game. You could find whatever. enough. I'm saying like you could find enough stuff. Yeah, I, I guess so. Master ZX ah. music reactions, please. Maybe. And the character costumes are so cool. I've seen a lot of the character costumes. Those are pretty cool. When you go to the spot, they spawn the crystal pool for a few bats. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I knew that. And then you can use a level two encounter power center for the type, which also helps. And that's the best you can do. You're good, Mike. I mean, if anything, chat's funny. I just have to mute my mic for a couple minutes. <laughs> I mean, that's the way to do it. It's just kind yeah. of the way to do it. Leone over Leone's better than Fram. Joe, thoughts? Like personality-wise, or I don't know. It just says Leone is better than Fram. Mm, definitely more tolerable personality. Um, you know why it's so hard? Because three houses, it's like, you just make everyone a flyer. Yeah, flyers are broken in that game. I think Fram's underrated, but... Like, which one would I rather hang out with? Probably Leone. Like, they both be annoying, but Fram is actually insufferable as a character. Mm -hmm. Thinking, like, every support I can think of with her, except for the Kagetsu one, it's about the main character. Just like, isn't the main character so great? You're just like, oh my goodness. Is Fram Engage or is Fram Face? I engage. Okay. I'll probably see She'll be seeing her game. shortly. She'll be seeing her shortly. Oh boy. You're mewing right now? I should start mewing. Work on the jawline. <laughs> get the jawline going. So get the ice pick. Them. The uh, ice pick jawline, yeah, definitely. Sorry, your wrist is still killing you, Marv. That's frustrating. I was hoping it would be better by now. Or at least, like, a little bit better. Fire Emblem Warriors is way too hard. I'm stuck in Chapter 12. I've never played Fire Emblem. Actually, Fire no, Emblem I, Warriors blows. I it's did so play, bad. like, the first chapter. Like, 20 minutes of it. I don't know if it's it was a demo insane. or something. But I remember just being like, it's fine. Like, one, of the, one of the videos I'm working on is just me complaining about Fire Emblem Warriors. <laughs> one and two. <laughs> Like why fine. would you why would you why would you make the strategy game? That's what I was like, just about to say. Out, why would your why would your spinoff be like, mm, yes, a hack and slash? Mm, yes. I thought it was fine, but I had the exact same thought when I played I... The, like the first bit of it. I was like, why make this into why make this franchise into a, a Warriors game? Like Zelda, mm. I kind of I can see it more. Yeah. But yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Fire Emblem just doesn't make sense. It's it's like known for its like one on one combat. I need to make a video on uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions 2. I was going to initially make a video called All the Effie Spinoffs Are Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tokyo is just mid, isn't it? Is it just like I... aggressively mid? I don't even remember. It's been a while. Oh. It's been a while. Cause it, cause I was like, in a while. We'll see. Because I was like, oh, I love Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem. Surely this will be the greatest game ever. No. <laughs> no. Uh, you would have thought. Dude, I just wanted a... something, man. I don't know. I just wanted something. Two great franchises coming together to create something that's honestly just okay. If even. Yeah. Yeah. I already skipped ahead two years. Are you skipping ahead every time? You can just reset it another way, like the outbreaks and stuff. Kai, what's Joe's channel? Uh, it's ShirtYT. It's also linked in the description. You do not want to come in here, though. Chat is a <laughs> nightmare. No one come in here. Having so many it's not very. With YouTube. Uh, Why are you having issues with YouTube? What's not very on? friendly. A friend of mine suggested a Minecraft Warriors game. Um. Where you play as? Oh, say I just picture I, I picture that. I picture one of the characters being like the Enderman, and you just lift up blocks. I don't know. That's what I thought of. I just want I just want Kai to play Minecraft. I know he'd despise it. I think no, it'd be so funny. I don't think I would despise I so it. Funny. I just think I wouldn't like it. Like, I was watching um, this YouTuber super play it um, the other night, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I get, I can see why people like this, but me, I was like... I think it's fun, fun, but... I think it's fun for the first bit, and yeah. then it, it kind of falls off a cliff. 
it's fun like seeing the world and like exploring i guess yeah and, like from there it's like all right i i've done everything i want to do now i just build stuff yeah what's up bernardo thanks for popping in you a real one getting the outbreak feels like the actual shiny hunt just do a water sandwich in there i think that's probably gonna be your easiest way it just might take some time Delete all 900 plus people I subscribe to. It's all let me click on my channel. Oh. Delete all my playlists. That is weird. That's very weird. We, we need a uh, you, Mike, and myself playing Minecraft. Oh man, Jesus, it's gonna that would bang. That would get a million views. Actually, Haven't, have you you and Mike have both played before, right? Like, yeah, so you like, barely played though, right? Minecraft. Have you barely played, or have you played a lot? Of I Minecraft? have like I have like years of my life in the game. Oh, I played okay. a lot. Never mind. I but. played it a lot because it was like it was like one of the only games I could play on my MacBook in high school. <laughs> <laughs> so I just if I didn't have my 3DS, I'd be like, oh, I guess we're Minecrafting. Mm -hmm. But it, I would say like I haven't played it a lot in the last few years, so I would say it's more like it'd be kind of funny because we have you who's just never done it, and then you have Not me once. who's like mid level in terms of knowledge base, and you have Mike that knows every little thing who plays it modded and like religiously knows every little thing about it. So I think that could be, like, interesting. We should do, like, a... Mike's more, Mike doesn't really like the survival -y stuff, though. He's more like... I'd say I'm more like a survival kind of player, and he's uh -huh. more definitely in the creative mode. Like, he rebuilt, like, the Krusty Krab in Minecraft, I remember, and oh, like, cool. the Titanic and all this other stuff. I was going to say we should do something funny with, like, um, I, I have all, like... Uh, we should all try and accomplish the same goal, but I have, like, all, <laughs> like, endgame tools or something. And then, like, you guys, like, I have, like, diamond everything. Like, you <laughs> have, like, iron and Mike has, like, a stick or something. I think that'd be funny. I think Wait. the funniest thing would just be you experiencing the game. Like, us just there. Be like, no, yes, no, <laughs> yes. No. It gets boring mining and stuff. I believe it. I think it's one of those games you definitely need to play with other people. Yeah. I, I don't think I'd want to play it by myself. Minecraft sure. with Minecraft with fun people like like Matt and Mike and whoever would be like a ten out of ten experience. But by yourself, it's aggressively okay. Yeah, like I like I said, I, I don't think I'd want to play it by myself. I, you gotta I be in the mood. You gotta be in the mood for it. Exactly. You, know? you gotta be in the mood for for I building. Really weird, Murph. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Like, I just I don't think I could do it if I, if I. You know, Bernardo. Just for you, I will I will make a video playing Honkai Star Rail. Don't <laughs> worry. I was gonna do it anyway, and I was gonna title it Honky Plays Honkai. And oh I think my that's God. such a good title. Shouldn't go to waste. Trying to evolve Basculin, I feel like I will play it. How do you evolve Basculin? I actually don't know. It's a free game too. I told you that story, right? How when I had you, the YouTube channel back in the day, I would recommend like, oh, what should I play next? And some guy recommended a game and it was like 60 bucks. And I just deleted his comment and pretend he never commented. <laughs> yeah, you did tell me that, yeah. I don't know why it's just so funny. I could have just like ignored it or yeah, I know. lied to him. I don't know why I just deleted it. Oh, I don't want to think God, about it. So good. I know. Yeah, I'll play Honkai, whatever, sure. When I get it's my shiny free. and you're in Star and Violet, can you help me out? Can we evolve it? Uh yeah, I should be able to. That'd be fine. This is actually so dumb, like I can't do anything, I can't find anyone else who had this problem. That is really weird. I know like a couple of weeks ago I couldn't like access um. I, I could not at edit my stream for some reason. Like, it wouldn't let me edit my stream software, which was really I weird. I couldn't edit mine either. Yeah. It's so strange. So, I think oh YouTube's just been glitching lately. I'm a survival guy, but I dabble in both. All right. All right. All right. I can't. I can't. I can't play Gen creative Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah. Creative Minecraft is so boring. It's just, you just have infinite blocks and you just build something. I can't do it. I need there to be, like, an actual objective. You know, I have to play like survival. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I could. I don't even think I could do that. I don't think I could. At yeah. All. <laughs> we could like divvy up some lands here. We all do. That would be pretty fun. I think. Like Kai with Kai with diamond everything. Never playing the game before. Or one. Wait, what? I mean, to be fair, the diamond is definitely the, better. The than diamonds. Fortnite. Okay. To be fair, the diamond stuff really just lets you do stuff more efficiently. Like, the tools just have more durability and they mine stuff faster. You know, it's not even, like, that much of an advantage, I would argue. Okay. It's definitely an advantage, but... But not a huge one? Eh. My yeah, it's just Minecraft like, you can mine a bit better more. than Fortnite. Interesting. Um, I think Minecraft definitely one of the more fun sandboxy games out there that exists. Fortnite... Is that a shiny Star League? Doesn't, no, it's not. 
Fortnite doesn't feel bad to play, like as someone who's been playing it a lot more recently, just because I have friends that have been playing it. Yeah. It's not a bad shooter. I respect how much content they put into it, there is but so it's much not content. like if someone's like, it's the best video game ever made, I'd be like, no, you're a little delusional and here's no, why. Absolutely not. It is definitely it's, it's an fine. one of the I most ambitious games fine. ever made. Yeah, I think it's just a it's a fine game. Yeah. It's like it's like Power World and people are like, This is the game of the year, and I'm like, it's no. fine, but let's let's not uh let's not get ahead no, of ourselves here. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Has it take two hundred and forty nine recoil damage without fainting? Interesting. I guess Bernardo's hyped for your Honkai Star Rail video because he just put I'm so hyped in my chat with like fifteen exclamation points and a bunch of emotions. Yeah. You know what? I'll I have a video that's almost done. But I could probably do it. It'll be like the video after next one. I could start it. I can't guarantee if it'll be good or whatnot, but we'll just I'll just try it out. I'll play it for like an hour or two and just make fun of it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> or not make fun of it if it's actually fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an unsub me from everyone. Like, this is so annoying. I can't do anything. I'm actually so mad. I just want to watch YouTube. Did you try logging out and logging back in? Like... I I don't know what's happening, Chief. That's that's really weird, though. Minecraft, I would try to learn how to use a command block and commands. I don't know what any of that is, but sick. This is the worst. Like I can't do anything. I don't know. Did you try and try and like reset your device or like reset your account? Like maybe that might do it. It's worth a shot, I suppose. Like what do you got to lose? What do you got? What do you got to lose? Nothing. Nothing. You get nothing. Good day, sir. It's happening on all my other accounts, too. I think YouTube's just being stupid. I genuinely think YouTube's just being stupid lately. Because, like, first there was the whole thing, like, I couldn't edit my stream. And then, like, I've seen other mm -hmm. people had the exact same issue. And now it's something like this. Like, I think YouTube's just being stupid glitchy lately. And I have no idea why. It's so weird. Could you hop on like a different account then? Like maybe that might be the trick. Like, don't you, do you have more than one YouTube account? It's happen no, it's happening on all your other accounts too. How is it only happening to kind of accounts? I'm assuming it's not happening to any of yours. I mean, I don't know. I haven't. Let me check my sub boxes again. All my yeah, I don't. I don't know then. I I have no clue. Let me check my sub boxes. No, it's doing it to me too. My sub boxes are empty. Yep. It's it's a YouTube issue. It's doing the exact same thing to me. Yep. So it's not just a you thing. It's just a it's just a YouTube sucks thing. Mm. It won't let me sub. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's just it's a YouTube thing. YouTube's just being stupid right now, guys. That's all it is. Well, that's reassuring. I don't know. I mean, I guess misery loves company. I suppose. Well, I mean, it'd be. I think it'd be like so much more messed up. If well, it was yeah. Only a you problem. Yeah, I'd yeah. Be yeah. Like, freaking out i'm like what exactly <laughs> my youtube like, is glitching as well it's same here yeah I don't, I don't know what it's gotta be a youtube thing then guys like youtube just be glitchy nowadays i suppose oh what were you gonna i was gonna ask what were you gonna do for the 400 subs when you get there i don't know we haven't even done anything oh. for three yet yeah oh i just um i refreshed my 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 page on my phone like i closed out of my stream and went back in and it says uh, fill your subscription feed. Subscribe to channels that you love. Never miss what's new. And I'm like, bro, I'm up to like 100 channels. What? Yeah, same, <laughs> dude. Yeah, so I just got it now. I just refreshed my page. It's a bit weird. I, it's probably just like they're doing some sort of update or something and they screwed up. Yeah. Can, you su can they mess up and give me like a million subs? <laughs> same. I'll ask first. How do you so accidentally do this? I don't know. This actually unsubscribes me from all 900 plus people I was sub to. Like, if I lose all those, I'll be pissed. I doubt it because, like, I looked at my I, I looked at my sub count and my sub count didn't change. Like, if it unsubscribed yeah. you from my channel, then, like, I would have less subscribers. It's probably just a visibility. It's probably issue. just a visibility issue, exactly. If I had to guess. If I ask for this, I forget best fully evolved starter. Um, Swampert, mm -hmm. Swampert, Decidui. When you mean best, like your favorite, or like actually the best? If it's actually the In best, battle. like competitively, what? it's Greninja or Blaziken. 
or maybe or Meowth Incineroar and Rock. Or Incineroar for doubles, true. But my favorites would be Swampert, um, uh, Swampert, Samurott, and Decidueye would be my favorites. Um, I'd say Blaziken for me. That's fair. Blaziken's fair. I love Chicken. I really like Primarina a lot too. Yeah, that was one of. And that. I do like. I do like all the. I said it before too. I like all the. The new Hisui and yeah. Devos for the starters. They're all pretty cool too. Yeah, if I could change mine, I would instead of saying regular Samurai, I would say Hisui and Samurai to be exact. Yeah, Water Dark's really cool. So good. Such a good typing. Yeah. Blaziken best. I, he is. Primarina was the one I was expecting you to say. I thought for sure that would be your answer. Yeah, I. Primarina is really good to use. Primarina is so funny because it was a Pokemon I had no intention of liking or using. And then after the playthrough, I'm like. Oh, it's so thing. good. It's so good. Yep. It's a cute design too. I really wish yeah, they altered the. I really, I really wish they altered the gender ratios for it though. Yeah, but then they have to do it for other starters, and they weren't gonna do that. Yeah, I, I get the whole point because yeah. it goes back in the day. It's like, oh, it's like you make it. It's more unique because it's harder to breed and share them or whatever. Exactly. But no, I would say Blaziken's my favorite like offensive oriented one because it's like a fast physical attacker mm -hmm. though it's special attacks also pretty good so it's it kind of like a fast mixed attacker i yeah. would say and then my favorite like defensive one i guess is primarina i can get behind that that's fair a little slower absurd bulk true kind of a special nuke and then samrot's a good like jack of all trades it kind of does everything true so it's probably my favorite the hisuian samrot out of all the hisuian stars oh, it was yeah. the it's my favorite one i i picked to start my journey it's the one i would have picked if i played it <laughs> yeah, well, because everyone I everyone I know too picked. Um, I want to say like it was three, three Typhlosion. Uh, I was about to say it's probably three, uh, three Decidueye, and there's only one other person in my immediate in-person friend group that picked Samurai. I was it's like, well, oh, because Sui and Samurai I think is easily the best one of the three. Like it looks the best, oh, it's the best in battle. Yeah, Matt, you spit, and all the Gen three starters are really good. It's definitely the Bro, best trio. Easily, we were talking about that before. I'd say that's my favorite trio, and then my second favorite trio is the His the Hisuian starters. Gen three is my favorite trio. It, as then, much as I think Trico dragged it down a little bit, Blaziken and Swampert are just goaded. Yeah. And Mudkip's my favorite. I think Sceptile's a, Sceptile's a, a good design. I think it just it just really would have benefited from a secondary type, but then the Make whole discussion is dry, what yeah. what type do you give it? Make but it grass. I can dry, bro, but in OG Gen three, do you know how gross that would be? I know, I know. That would be so disgusting. They couldn't. I'm trying to think. What is an actual type you give it that isn't dragon? Hmm. Normal ground. I I don't think uh, I don't think either of those work. That's the thing. I don't think either of them do. I think the only one that does work is dragon. Was there over 500 people I regularly watch and four of my brother watches? Jeez. A For grass, 400, a grass normal starter sounds pretty cool. No, we are not doing that. Did you say a grass normal star sounds pretty cool? You can, I don't know. It sounds interesting. Yeah, see, yeah. right? Like, we only have one. Or no, we have a couple. Because there's the deerling line and the smaller yeah. one. It's crazy that your goal was 300 four months ago and you're almost at 400. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I might need to change the goal after this to 500 <laughs> for the year. I'm going to departure. The boys on the graveyard are calling me. I'm dead. All right, have a good one, Bernardo. The growth has been crazy. Yeah, yeah man, it's crazy. Matt says the Gen 3 starter trio is just so much better than every other gen. It's not close. I kind of agree. Gen 3 starter actually. trio is best trio. Because I feel like every other one has one that drags it down a fair yeah. bit. And I know you said Trico drags down a little <laughs> bit. Epic. Even if you even if you make that case, it really only is a little. And my only drag against tre the Trico line <laughs> Quaxley. is just I, I like kind of wish it had a cool secondary type like the other two. Like Water Ground yeah. sick and Firefighting. Initially... When it was the first ever firefighting was really sick. It was. And then they gave it to so many other lines. And by so yeah. many, I mean two, but that was too, too many. Gen 4, I think they're all okay, but none of them, like, really stand out. Oh, in my I, lo I love my Pippi boy. But I think Empoleon's, like, fine. I Empoleon think Torterra is fine. Is fine. I think Infernape is fine. Like, they're all good. I think the bases are all really good, but I think the evolutions are kind of meh. Yeah. Uh, Gen 2... Not in love with for alligator. It's like a cool design. It should have been water. It's my dark. least favorite. It's my least. Yeah, favorite I even like. Me. I like Megan. I like Megan more too. Same. It's just I. Just it gets I too much hate. <laughs> too much hate. It's not bad. It's not. It's not that bad. Yeah, it gets you... a lot of the pretty good utility moves early. Mm -hmm. Oh it's yeah. Like, I think it's, it gets screens right. Too, it does. Which is also pretty good. It does. Yeah, I remember being. It's pretty solid. 
Though I will good. say, when I play Gen 2, my, my real starter is usually Espeon. <laughs> True. But ironically, it's so good. True. Or Umbra, like any one of the, like, usually it's the Eevee that you get. Mm -hmm. If you mean favorite, then yeah, I would say probably either Hisuian Samurai, Decidueye, or Swampert. I like Blaziken. I can agree, Blaziken's dope. Gotta yeah. say for me, Samurai, Blaziken, Decidueye, good choices. Yeah, those are all, those are all really good. Empoleon's cool too. Empoleon's cool. I, I Empoleon's don't cool. I they could have done a little more. I don't know. I feel like he could have been a little cooler. It's a great type though. He's solid to use too. I will say he gets like every HM, which is also kind of cool. Not like every one, but more or less. I feel like mm -hmm. it's like all of them, what except for Fly Defog, maybe. I want to say he gets a lot. So? Let's see, I'm pretty sure Cut. Pretty sure Rock Smash. Pretty sure Strength. Definitely Surf. Definitely Waterfall. What's I don't crazy think flying is I maybe think it, defog. I think but... it does get defog in like new games. I don't think it got it in Gen really? 4 though. So I'm pretty sure I've used defog and Polygon as like my hazard set, my hazard clear. So I think it gets rocks and defog. Oh, you, oh Matt, you meant Gen 3 is just better than every other Gen. Oh. Um, I would agree. I think Emerald is the best Pokemon game, like design wise and the quality of the Pokemon and the new types and just aesthetically. But I think it's not. It's not a one horse race. I no. still think Black 2, White 2 is quite good. Yeah. I actually like Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I think Platinum's pretty solid. Yep. I think Fire Red's pretty solid. Yep. Emerald is. It probably just. I, I don't know. I just. I'm also Omega Bias too, because it is like the first one I ever played. This is the way but I But I will admit, it. there's a lot of there's a lot of not so great yeah. Pokemon also. But I feel like like Volbeat and Illumise say, why do they exist? Why do they exist? Why do they exist? <laughs> you know, like. Um, I don't what know. was I going to say? Shoot. Um, my thing with, with Emerald specifically is this. Is it my favorite Pokemon game? No. Is it the most accessible Pokemon game? And is it the one that I can continuously go back to and the one I think is probably one of the best ones? Without a doubt. I yeah. think Emerald is one of the most accessible Pokemon games, if not the most. Didn't sell that way, though. <laughs> nope. I'm telling the you that the third version is usually... Got recommended to so many more people. Probably. I think my Prina yeah. Swam Smith. Still happy with that nickname. <laughs> I don't get it, but cool. Gotta go. No worries, Verdi, and have a good night. Grass Decidueye, Water Samurai, Fire Blaziken. I can agree with all those. Those are very solid. For 400 shinies, get it. four level 100 Magikarp that are shiny. No. For me, it is like my spirit star. I'd love to sing with her. True, that is right up your alley. What do they say for starters? I didn't hear. I took my... Uh, Grass Decidueye, Fire Blaziken, Water Samurai. Yeah, that's... That's a that's stack damn, lineup that's, right there. That's damn near perfect. Yeah, there yep, you go. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. 400 subs get um, 4 shiny level 100 magic card. No, thank you. I checked the YouTube subreddit and people are mad. For me, I guess fire, water, grass... For me, water's free marina. Uh, fire's blaziken. And grass... Might be... It might be septile, actually. He is kind of cool. Really? This, I know, I know, you like the Sidui, like the Sidui and I can you. have beef. I know, you gotta, you gotta but like, dude, they had the two, they had two chance. Right Kai, 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 wait a minute, Kai. They had two chances to make it grass blind. Sidui is right there. They no. had two chances. I really, I do like him a lot. It's, it's not Venusaur. It's not Meganium. What was the second chance? It's not Torterra. The Hisuian. Oh right, 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 right. I knew they weren't doing it that time. I was I'm like, there's say... no way. <laughs> I'm gonna say Sceptile. Mega Sceptile is pretty fun to use. Wild! That play. is pretty crazy. He's a cool. It's a cool design. It's a big lizard. Yeah, it's fine. I think Sceptile's probably in my bottom half of grass starters, honestly. Yeah, Mono Grass doesn't do many favors. He no. really. He's not. I don't know. I was picking my starter in BDSP, oh, okay. and my Turtwig was glitched because it was a teal color, so I reset to get a normal one. Nice, man. There you go. There you go. That's the way to do it. Gen 3 is best Is the shiny even teal? I thought it was like a darker green. It's like a tealy greenish, like a minty. Is it? Uh. Gen 3 is best overall, Squirtle is best first, Monferno is best middle, and Blastoise is best last. Uh, I don't agree with any of that. I don't agree with any of that. <laughs> the last half. Well, for the Actually, individual no, I, I agree Pokemon. with Gen 3 best overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First I, half was good, and then we got to listen to the Pokemon, and I'm like, well... I, I know Blastoise is your favorite Pokemon and everything, but like, I do not agree with that statement. What's <laughs> your... Sorry. So what's your what's your favorite base? My favorite base? Starter, then. Yeah, like, what's your favorite? Oh, man, like, dude. Because they said Squirtle. For me, it's... I think Torchic. Torchic is adorable. Sprigatito, so Oshawott cute. are my children. I'm um, obsessed with 
chickens too. It's I love Rowlet. Yeah, I because you, used, you had chickens good, growing yeah. up, didn't you? Didn't you have chickens growing up? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm so bro, I had chickens, and then Emerald came out, and I'm like, you can get a chicken Pokemon. <laughs> I was like, I need this, and I'm like, it's Hell so yeah. cute. Tabuskin definitely not best mid though. No, 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 no. Um, best mid's for Nato. I say what's so. I think I would best say mid. best. I think I would say best base is probably. I think I mean, I'd say Torch. I think I'd, I'd go. Him in. I think I'd go Mudkip. Keeping the Gen Three. Uh, Mudkip's good. Yeah, it's cute. Uh, mid for me. I have to think about mid. Mid, I would immediate first one that comes to mind is Florigato. Uh, it is a good design. Don't even think of the Gen. The Gen Eight ones all suck. Um, yeah, I agree. The Gen Seven ones. Dartrix oh, is, is it Dar not I, bad. Is, is mine is mine actually Dartrix? Dartrix isn't bad. I think it's good. I do like. I, I like his little bow tie, and he's like a little butler. He's like all prim and proper. Yeah, he's cool. I, do, I actually do kind of like Dartrix. Brian, no. Torcat's pretty good. Torcat's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Better than Cineroar. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, Gen um, six. Brakeson's no. pretty good. Brakeson's okay. Uh, Frogadier. I don't mind right. Frogadier either. Wait, Joe, can I convince you on cooldown real quick? <laughs> Never. No. I'll not hear you out. No, I don't blame you. Gen 5, uh, Duat's okay. The other one's not so much. Gen 4, yeah. all of them suck. Yeah. Um, Gen 3s aren't bad. Grovile, Grovile's pretty good. Combustion's kind of not. Combustion's not great. Yeah. Uh, Marsh Tom's okay. I think of the three, I'd honestly think Grovile's winning. Yeah. Gen 2, Kulava's solid. Bayleaf's not bad. Bayleaf's also solid. And then Gen 1, I think, all, was goofy. I think all the Gen <laughs> 1 ones are bad. Yeah. I think I'm gonna I, lock in. I say go ahead. I was gonna say unironically, I think it's Flora God or Dar Dartrix. I'm locking in Dartrix. I unironically think it is. I like birds. Maybe like Gregson. And... He has so much personality too from the little the feeding him the beans. I remember. Yeah. The second in the round. That was mm -hmm. kind of funny. He's so good. The mids are weird too, just because I get why they don't put a lot of effort into designing them. Yeah. Because they just you don't they're not around. At all. Because you know they I mean? literally take a base and an end one. They're like, all right, how do we get from A to B? Yeah. We Or how do we get from A to C? We got to use um, A and C to get to B. And final, probably Blaziken for me. Final's probably Swampert, honestly. Or or Samurott Hisui. Yeah. Maybe Meowth Skirata, depending on how I'm feeling. But it's probably Swampert. Yeah. I love Swampert so much. I want to take a shower, but my shower know. music playlist got deleted. Yes, I use YouTube music, but I literally mm. only listen to music in the shower, so it's nice to stay on the platform. All right, I get that. Swam Smith, you know Sam Smith, the famous singer, so like Swam Smith. I forgot Sam Smith existed, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going <laughs> to lie, I forgot the Sam Smith, the singer, existed. This I figure that's what's known. Fun. Tough. Whoever that was, I got the reference, don't worry. That was Murph. I got it. Meganium, Emborn, and Teleon are the best of each type, buddy. We need to have a discussion if that's actually what you think. Yeah, that's... He put a winky face work. after, so I'm pretty sure he's memeing, but... Yeah. If that's actually what you think, we gotta have a talk. Like, I'll defend Meganium, but it's definitely not the best. What well, could be your favorite? But I no, think if... They said I, best, I think not if... favorite. No, oh, well... Best means a lot of things, to be fair. Yeah, I guess. And we were and we were just kind of talking about our favorites. True. So I assumed it was kind of the same. True, 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 true. Yeah, I, I, think I, I think I'd still go Swampert, though. Swampert just is just my goat. Mm -hmm. That's my That's goat. Right. My goat. I get it. And then I, I do really like um, Greninja. Um, I do really yeah. like Decidueye. I think it's either Swampert or Decidueye. I think it's what it comes down to. Yeah. Well, it's funny, too, because... Historically, in terms of Pokemon, I like. I'm not really super into a lot of fighting types or fire types, but I do like. No, me either. I completely agree. <laughs> I don't think there's a single fire or fighting type in my top ten. I think it's a lot of water types and a lot yeah. of. Uh... Actually, no, I lied. My favorite Pokemon of all time is Arcanine, so there is one <laughs> fire type in my in my top ten. Yeah, I have a lot of I have a lot of water, a lot of flying, and a lot of bug. I've noticed. I think I've got a lot of water and a lot and fairy. of um, a lot of ghost. I don't have that many ghosts. Ah, uh, mimic you, man. I have a few. It's my king. I have a lot of the. I got my I got my gals Frostlass and Miss Magius. Miss Magius and Frostlass are both dope. Very very good mods. Yeah, they're. I love their designs. Just 
This may just S tier, dude. It's a it's so witch good. ghost. Two Halloween spooky things. It's so good. Coming together. I love it. I love this page. Should have been Ghost Fairy. That would have been 1, so lit. One thousand percent should have been Ghost Fairy. That would have been so sweet. Imagine if you find this shiny and catchable bird. I somehow forgot its name. Star. Yeah. Uh, people have done that, and like it's apparently very disheartening. <laughs> so I'm hoping it doesn't happen to us. I was traded a diglet named Arceus. It wasn't even shown. Reminds me of when I got a meowth named Mew. I I think I said yeah. this before on stream, but like I did that. Like I when I was doing my X and Y Wonderlock. I got to Santa Loon Forest, and I caught, I think my first encounter was a Caterpie, and I named it Mega Mewtwo in all caps. And I was like, here you go, send in Mega Mewtwo. And I bet you the person who got it was so mad. <laughs> to be fair, I would really like a shiny Starly immediately after I get some Pokeballs. I mean, yeah, once I have Pokeballs, that would be I'm chilling. Nice. I would love that. I don't, I'm trying to think if there's, because what I might do too is... Because the double grass is definitely, definitely the an play. option. But I think beyond that, I should look at routes with not only just good Pokemon for majority of the encounters, but I should also look at routes that fill those gaps. Because I feel mm -hmm. like from the forest, you're probably gonna get a bug or a normal type. Yep. Like if you get really you know, lucky, maybe you get a ghost, a wormhole, or whatever. Yeah. So from there, it's more like, all right, what's a route with like X, Y, Z good Pokemon? Yep. You know. Exactly. I'm thinking the like one of the tunnel cavey things might not be so bad if you can pick from like especially for me if I don't have a water type like Zubat, Geodude, mm -hmm. uh Psyduck. True. True, That'd true, be true. Good. The oh, um bad. Yeah, I feel like some of the caves in general will be like pretty good. Like since there's like some caves yeah. where only one thing spawns. Or maybe not, because I have to do I, I was thinking of doing like Iron Island. Cause uh, and you can get Steelix. The, True. I don't know. I gotta plan it out. It's Are we resetting game. for the the fossil? Tomorrow? If we want, we'll see. The fossils aren't even that good, though. I know. I, I know. It's just a. It's just an extra mod. Cool. We could also hunt in the yeah, Grand like Underground. That. that might be make our lives a little bit easier. Yeah. Sam Smith is a great I, the, singer. I think I know like one song. And I thought it was. Are the was shinies? Fun. You can't see them. Can you see them in the overworld? Yes, I, I no? believe you can. Oh, that makes it so much easier then, yeah. I believe so. I could be wrong about that. I, think, I believe so. I think play is it's definitely Eternal Forest. What I'm going to live there forever with my waifu Cheryl. <laughs> and then from there, might be a Grand Underground stop for just the rest of the game <laughs> until Iron <laughs> Island, maybe. Right. Um, I might chain fish the Feebas sounds pretty tantalizing once you know the tiles mm -hmm. the problem with that though is because wait are you guaranteed it's feebas from your the tile or is it like a 75 percent or 50 i think it's 50 so you might not even know because you could skip the tile so you probably won't want to fish it every tile at least three times four times three times probably yeah well, that might be a problem i don't know to be yeah. fair though to be fair though magikarp would also be a great addition True. to the squad Either way, you're kind of hitting on one of those normals yeah. or those. Waters. I really like both those. Yeah, they're both sick. Definitely. Violetic would bang so much more though, just because it's way more unique. It's so good too. It, it does not die. Does not die. Yeah. Real best slash faves are Decidueye, Skeletor, and Swamper. I respect it. I have a ton of water. Blastoise, Kyogre, Go Goat, the one outlier, Slowking, and Squirtle. That is a uh, purely water and a goat. People give their Pokemon weird names. I trade one of Dorothy's many sisters for a level 12 primate named Presbo. Okay. Presbo, the primate, is so good. <laughs> Matt, how'd you, get again? To, hey. how'd you get access to Mike's team like that, man? But... What's the best Pokemon game made by the Pokemon company? Probably Emerald or Black and White 2. Yeah, I'd accept those. Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. Maybe Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, number three. Uso. I mean, if, you're like a, if you're like a big old school retro game kind of guy i could accept like a gold silver yeah i could i could as well if you're into like old stuff oh uh oh we might have a problem Murr said you can't see the shinies in the underground yeah i didn't think you could i don't know why i thought you could well you that's a bit of a rip in, in the chat take them like 10 minutes to put them in pokemon legends arceus is so good but i hate the Skatchel system what's a Skatchel system um, what is 
you can like is that like where you pick the crud up in the overworld i have no idea i don't even remember it's been like a year imagine the starters only nuzlocke i feel like that wouldn't be difficult honestly or maybe i remember the well you're kind of doing that now <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it's not nuzlocke you stole it you stole mike's team i appreciate it stole mike's team what he listed uh like a bunch of Pokemon. It's like, you know, oh, Gardevoir, Lopunny, you know? And I said, dang, that's Mike's team right there. And he's like, had to take Mike's team from him. <laughs> like, of course, I respect it. I respect it. Yeah. But like, I only played Pokemon Let's Go, Sword and Violet. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> you Arceus gotta play is, the old ones. Arceus is fun. My biggest problem with it was it looks like doesn't garbage. run so great. Yeah. And then my yep. other problem with it, too, was um, I didn't really like the the new battle style like the um strong, strong style, style, style. Agile style or whatever yeah i whatever it was called man i never even played it but even then i was like this some doesn't NPC look fun had, some npc had a pokemon attack like four times in a row that's so stupid I'm like what it's kind of cool but also stupid no it's stupid it's just actually stupid guys best pokemon game best one for real is pokemon quest and just no just <laughs> no just no that game sucks it is so Pokemon bad. Pokemon Quest was so good. They that, uh, they got rid of Pixelmon for that game. Yeah. Like, it's absolutely crazy. not. I was going to make... When are we playing Helldivers? Dude, I don't know. Send me a... Send me a date and time, man. I'll try to make it. You should it. stream that. No, I, I, I would blow at it. I'm stinky at uh, FPS games. Oh. Matt would just... I'm praying for Matt to just carry me so I can get some better <laughs> gear. I mean... How uh, many hours do you have in it, bro? I was going to say, at least, like, what, 50? I see you playing it a lot. I I've been playing a lot of Lethal Company in my free time. I, my brother. I really want to play Lethal Company. Fun. I've heard it's really fun. I, I can't spell it, but it's when you lose items when you die. Oh, like how in, like, Mystery Dungeon yeah, and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Oh. But I feel like Quest I only... was amazing. I still play it to this day. <laughs> A-A-M-W with Let's Go. Does it actually... Does Quest actually no. get support I, still? Uh, probably. There's no way to be. Probably to like some degree. I refuse yeah. to believe. I refuse to believe. It doesn't that. deserve it because it's a garbage game. It's hey, it's so better than bad. Cafe Mix. I'll defend. I'll defend it. I can't even say to that I or not. I haven't like played Cafe. Minutes. I played Quest for twenty minutes and I got so bored. That was awful. No, the the real best Pokemon game is on your phone is uh the Magikarp Jump where you train the Magikarp. I remember that. I remember when that came out. I never played it though. My brother, my brother was like the best at it. He had like cracked magikarp with max stats i swear i so wish magikarp i would have played it because it seemed like people were into it so i never it played was it funny. i had a hack copy there of pokemon moon and i lost hours. before finding out what was on the cartridge and in the pc box now all i have is the box oh no you have you have 80 times the hours than i do on hell divers oh my god yeah he's got like 160 i've, I've got like two and a half <laughs> I played it once. I played it once Sheesh. with uh, played it once with Dawson, and he carried me pretty hard. Who's Dawson? A friend. Oh, okay. You said the <laughs> name, so I was like, "Do I know this person?" Yeah, I was telling him because he would know. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking to me, Mobby. It's all right. Imagine shiny oh, hunting in Pokemon them. Quest. I'm pretty sure you can. Like, I'm pretty yeah, sure there, there are shinies. shinies right? Yeah, I'm I pretty so. sure. I think there's shinies in that magic work game too. <laughs> I think I mentioned this with someone named their Arceus Tatiana. You did mention that. Why do you all not fending? Why do you all hate so many new Pokemon true. games? They might look terrible or run poorly, but damn, they're fun. That's what I care about most in the game. The older ones are more fun. Loki. The older ones are more fun, and like I, I don't know, like let me, like okay, like I, this is a very okay boomer statement, but like yeah. back in my day, they were just more fun, like. I don't know, like not it, even like well, not even like back in the day. I feel like even if you want a relatively recent example from the last however many years, I think Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon were great. They're fun. super polished. Yeah, way more. Had fun a lot than of really Jedi unique Jedi. features. Yeah, way it's more not fun. that they're bad. They're not. I'm, we're not saying they're bad. For they're lifeless. Games. It's just compared to compared to what the standard used to be. It feels yeah. like they really kind of haven't progressed. Like compare, you know, a Pokemon game from like I don't even know. Like compare any old one let's say to like scarlet and violet it runs worse for the time you know yep. like whatever you want to go back and compare like an old zelda game from however many years ago to like tears of the kingdom they progressed so far in the right mm -hmm. direction 
Except maybe with the storytelling, but I'm willing to forgive them because the gameplay is insane. They spent like a million years in that physics engine, apparently. Yeah. And it's super rewarding and fun, and I'm glad they did. Same. Like, that's the thing with it. It just feels like, to a certain degree, they are take they're taking steps back. Like, they might be, pro they're, they're progressing one thing, like, two steps forward, and then they're taking everything else three steps back. Like, it's just, like, yeah. it doesn't, it, they just, like, even something as, as late as Alola. Like, Alola feels so vibrant, colorful, and full of life, and, like, the region is, feels so real, and, like, all the characters are super well written, which, like, even then, like, some of the characters in Scarlet Violet are pretty well written and everything still. But they also have, like, a good region with, like, better overall mechanics surrounding it. Like, it, mm -hmm. like... Alola is like the if I as much as I love black and white, as much as I love Hoenn. Zemu's blow though. I Zemu's will interject. Zemu's blow. Yes, I, <laughs> they are the blow. second. They are the second worst gimmick behind only Dynamax. But at I'd the same, argue they're worse. <laughs> I don't think they are personally. Well, but, just because them like you know getting hit out of like getting hit out of nowhere with like a random two hundred power fire move or something like on the water type. But it was just, just like a one to... one thing. So that's why it didn't bother me as much. I don't know. It bothered me just because it was just so out of pocket out of nowhere it was really hard to play around where i felt like in the dynamax gigantamax era you could kind of infer like with megas you can kind of infer what was their all-in uh -huh. pokemon they kind of quote unquote built the team around mm -hmm. so i feel like you could kind of play around it a bit more at least no i can I agree felt. with that I, I just i just didn't mind them as much because like there was just like a one i don't know for me for time. me the z crystals feel more like bad rng we're just like oh you're gonna get screwed over just because this guy has the z crystal too bad yeah. yeah, but at the same time, I also didn't feel like Z crystals were as like because it was just like a one time. So it was just like, oh, it's done. Whereas like Dynamax, yeah. I have like three turns I have to deal with this, and if I they get one extra thing, up, I lose. I don't like, know. I just I've never I've never screamed more at my 3ds <laughs> than when I would do online like Wi-Fi battle nonsense for Gen 7 competitive. That was just because they just would randomly pull a move out of nowhere and KO one of my Pokemon. I expect it would live another turn, and yep. it just wouldn't. That was me with Gen 8, because I'm like, oh, that's, well... That's the only interjection, I will say. The Moxie Gyarados has a plus one speed f boost from Max Airstream. I lose now. Cool. Pokemon games have regressed, if anything. I agree. I they, agree. they definitely have regressed. I, I don't I, know if it's I even, even just... like Scarlet and Violet. Like, I like them. I don't like it. I had fun I when I played it. I'll admit it. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I Second playthrough, it's kind of painful. Oh, yeah. Like, playing through it again is asinine. Once, once the new... The newness, I'll call it, you know, kind of yeah. leaves. You're just kind of like, dang, this is just kind of a buggy mess, and it doesn't feel great, and why does it not look good? And I don't know. You start asking a bunch of questions. Playing through it, I will say, is ass nine. Like, I even, like, during my solo run with Forget Teacher right now, I'm just like, oh, my God, I actually found this fun the first time going around. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. It's just it's just not, like, they, they've gone, they've taken so many steps back. Like, with yeah. other things, like, they're they're making, like, phenomenal music. Like, yes, I agree with you, Murph. Some of the characters in Scarlet and Violet are super well-written. But at the same time, like, on a more consistent basis, like, Paldea as a region feels so lifeless. Like, there yeah. is just nothing happening. There's a crater. It's a giant circle. There's a crater in the middle of it. There's nothing. There's, like, here's the ice area. Here's rocky area. Like, there's nothing that really defines, like the biomes or like anything anything that makes thematically sense from like a um, like a biological or like a geographical standpoint whereas like alola like yeah all these different locations make sense gen 5 gen 6 all these different locations for the most part make sense um and i think that's what i feel like is really missing is like there has not been a good region i would argue since alola and maybe no, history, if you want to if you want to count history his way they kind of cheated though, because it's like you can just jump to the different areas. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I don't know. And my thing with the and my thing with the writing too is like I'll concede that if you want to say the Gen Nine story is better than X Y Z recent stories, mm. but we're talking about we're talking about writing in a Pokemon game. Like I Pokemon's not known. Pokemon's not known for like its grand narratives throughout its games. It's not like Dragon Quest or. Final Fantasy, where like the story is just as big of a component as the gameplay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like, you could argue. Even then, like, I would also argue that like a lot of the like, yes, so the the story in Scarlet and Violet is really good. But I would say that like the, I, I think there are games that have better stories still. Like, I think Gen Five is a better story than than Scarlet and Violet. 
I think that Gen 6 has elements of its story that are better than Scarlet and Violet, although they did a lot of showing instead of telling. Or they did a, telling, a lot of telling instead of showing, excuse me. Um, so that's why I'm really looking forward to Legend ZA. Yeah. But, like, and even even then, I feel like Gen 7. Like, Gen 7 had, like, a really good story in parts because of, yeah. like, the whole Aether family dynamic. With, like, I think what doesn't help with Gen 9... I, th I feel like what doesn't help with Gen 9 either from the storytelling perspective is that it's all just kind of shoved at the end. Like, what they have yeah. is good, but it's the last 5% of the mainline game, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's, like, the story really... Right. Kind of goes into effect. This Phoebus outbreak won't spawn. I'm sorry, Brandon. I understand what you're saying, but I still find them fun. Also, Scarlet and Violet's better written characters in the Usama except Kahui. Kahui's great, but, like... Mm hmm I still think that even then, like I, I'm, I'll, 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 I've said it before. I'll say it again. I don't really like Penny. Like I think she's fine. Nimona and Arvin yeah. are cool. Like I love Arvin. He's best boy. But outside of them, Team Star low, Team Star low key didn't need to exist. They just wanted to feel like there was an evil team. Yeah. Quote unquote. Outside of them, like I can't name a single well written character in this game. Where as in like Gen Seven, Kukui. Uh, dude, Hopping the Steely Star Girl. Dude, she's, she's awful. So old, dude. She's so annoying. <laughs> I hate her. Uh, dude, the chick that quizzes you that I can't remember her name. Okay, well, get she gets a pass because she's hot as hell. <laughs> but I still, remember her name. Rika's her name. Rika, okay. Um, she gets a pass because she's hot. But anyway, um, yeah, like, I even then, like, I feel like the Gen 7 characters are better written than I didn't the like Gen the, 8 Gen 9. I didn't, to be fair, I didn't play the DLC, but I watched people play it. Like, I sat down and you know, watch the whole two two hours for I each could, part. I just, couldn't the, stand that stuff Karen. was just like it was like whatever. I couldn't stand. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was interesting. Kieran went like all edgy on you. That was funny, but wasn't like super compelling or anything. No, yeah. I could not stand him. I did not think any of the characters in the DLC were good, and I, I guess yeah. it's like they didn't have time to flush them out because it's a DLC story, yeah, so it's like yeah. two hours long, whatever. But still, like. I, I just I can't like I, they they just aren't they're just lifeless husks that occasionally show a semblance of personality that's it I get that I yeah. just don't find them fun that's why I care about everything but that's the thing and like and Joe brought up a, Joe brought up a great point earlier about how he went back and play, he had fun playing Scarlet and Violet he did I did I did I really did and then he went back and played Scarlet and Violet and said this is awful and that's what I think sets a lot of the older games apart from Scarlet and Violet or something like a Sword and Shield like. I could go back to and play Gen 5, right? Like, I could open up my 3DS, I could open up an emulator, whichever, and play black and white right now, and I would have so much fun. I could open up Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Heart Gold, So Silver. I could open those up right now, and I would have so much, I would have fun. Like, I would genuinely have fun. I could open up Scarlet and Violet and start a brand new playthrough, and I would be bored out of my mind. Well, I Same think the rebuttal too, because my one friend, he he's really in a lot of the the newer games, I would say. Mm -hmm. And my rebuttal always is his name like, right oh, with well. Bank. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> someone else you don't know. But his oh, okay. rebut but my rebuttal is always because like, oh, you're just saying that because you live through it, play the older ones, movement. And I'm like, well, that's partially true. I feel like yeah, I if you sat that. down and you were as objective as humanly possible, because I I want to get more into reviews and boys been more into writing and stuff. And yeah. The one thing I think you really have to take into account is like just trying to be as objective as humanly possible. You kind of there's always going to be some semblance of bias and you want to convey that and you kind of want to have your own unique opinion. Mm -hmm. But I think if you sat down and you compared, you know, any two of the Pokemon games, you'd look at the music, the performance, like how relevant the game still is, you know, like yeah, general consensus. If you take every factor into account, I still think Scarlet and Violet falls short compared to the average Pokemon game, and that's Completely why agree. we would at least say it's a lot lower on our list. Completely agree. Could it move up at some point? Yeah. It's likely. I don't think it would age super well. I don't. Personally. But I will say, I think it's kind of more disappointing than anything, because it's not like we wanted this game to be bad. We no. Want, we'd love if the games were good. I would rather the problem be proven I just, wrong. The problem, I just have, the problem I just have is, why does it run so bad? <laughs> like, you know, it's insane. Yeah. I can't tell you how many problems I've had. It was like the first Pokemon game I genuinely lost progress in. Yep. For no reason at all. Just because, oh, no, the game just didn't feel like working. 
Why is so the insane. first game on the Switch, the first Pokemon game on the Switch, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, the best looking and best running game on the Switch? It makes no sense. Yeah. It None. shouldn't be, because if you look at None. their track record with other things, like Diamond and Pearl didn't run super great. Awful. By the end of the Ran DS era, horribly. Black 2, White 2, that thing gorgeous. runs like a dream. Literally gorgeous. 3DS 2, X and Y, kind of jank, I think, control-wise. You yep. get to Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, runs like a dream, gorgeous. great, perfect. Switch, completely inverted, which is so bizarre. Makes no <laughs> sense. So bizarre. Like, I will clown on, y'all know, I, I am, will clown on Let's Go until I am blue in the face. But yeah, I can easily say it is the best looking game on the Switch, Pokemon game, I should say, and it is yeah. the best running Pokemon game on the Switch. Honestly, best I would play. say I had more fun with Let's Go in parts than I did with Scarlet and Violet and Sword and Shield. No, I I had no fun with Let's Go, I will be <laughs> honest. I had legitimately no fun with Let's Go. I would take Scarlet and Violet over it gameplay wise oh, no, in a heartbeat. I, I still would, but I there were there were definitely like some points where I was like, I'm having more fun playing this than I think I did Scarlet I was, and Violet. I just was like, this is just a dumb, soulless baby game. What do they do to my boy Fire Red? It's still my least favorite of the Pokemon games on the Switch, except maybe BDSP. I go back and forth. But like there were points where I was like, alright, this is neat. Yeah. The gameplay is like non-existent and let's go let's just flick your wrist at the screen the pikachu and eevee like the dressing them up and stuff that i thought was cute outside of that, that i was I like uh, it's just it's just can't tell i hated it i'm like this is just a dumb gimmick it's just here to appease the player i mean <laughs> it is but I, I will say i was appeased i got to dress up ryan reynolds and i was happy it just it just pissed me off more <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be honest it's not the only it thing i care about direct missile is my favorite game because all aspects are good but how much fun i had is still what matters above all else i get that but like Mm -hmm. Even then, like, again, like, when when I go back to something, like, the the big mark for me, for for if a game, for how good a game is, is replayability. Because, like, if you can play a game once... It's very telling. It's very telling. Exactly. If you can play a game once and be like, wow, I've done everything, there is nothing I could ever do that would change this experience, that's great that you got that experience out of it, but I would argue that a lot of the games that provide you with that chances for extra experiences are the ones I'm going to go back to more often than the ones that don't. Because new yeah. content, new things you've never seen before. And you can, mm. I could still go into Black and White 2 right now and find things and do things I have never seen or done before, ever. Like, ever. Like, yeah. PokéStar even, Studios. But, but even if, but I would argue, too, if, if you, and even if you didn't do that, because I'm going to say, like, I would never want to do PokéStar Studios it's ever not that in bad. my life. The game is just still objectively so fun and polished and good. It's like, oh, I want to go through and experience it again. Yeah, exactly. Because it just it's compelling. Again, that goes back to my other point. Like I could go back to to Black and White Two, to Emerald, to Fire Red, to Leaf Green, and I would have so much fun. I cannot say yeah. the same thing with Scarlet and Violet. I had fun starting my Sprigatito run because I was like, I get to pick my kitty cat again. Outside of yeah. that, I it is a slog. It is oh, a did slog I tell you? Through. I was going to say, when I restarted Violet, I wish I recorded. I was so mad. The opening cutscene where you walk with the starters, mm -hmm. um, Coco just, like, glitched through the fence <laughs> and just was not moving. I just, oh, like, kind of I wish you were fence. recording that. I'm so mad. I'd never seen that before. That's so crazy. It's so funny. I'm like, we're off to a very funny start, I'll say. Pokemon's gonna end up like PVZ. What's PVZ? A money cash grab with bad stuff and grindy stuff? I don't think Plans that's for the... zombies. I don't think but it'll ever the, get the that first... bad. No, real talk though, the first Plants vs. Zombies bangs. I've never and played it. Everyone after that. Like the mainline games, I guess, are soulless cash grabs. I heard the first Garden Warfare was pretty fun though, but I'm not an FPS guy, so. I've never played it. I never played it. Plants vs. Zombies is fun, the first one. Okay. It's a funny, interesting little strategy game you can get for like five bucks on Steam. The only cool thing about the Scarlet and Violet rivals are their themes. Uh, no, I, I like Arvin. I liked Arvin. He was good. Um, I think they're whatever. They're I don't fine. Know, I don't. The mode is alright. I think, like I said, Penny's I think, just meh. I think Pokemon because it's a creature collector. You know, it's focused so much on the creatures. For me, it's like. That should be the core element. It's like the gameplay. It's like, is the battle system fun and fast and efficient? How's right. the sprite work? Like, for me, the story is one of the last things I take into account. Yep. And if it's a good story, it definitely adds to it. But if it's a bad story, exactly. Like, like a bad Pokemon story, because the mainline Pokemon game what takes like fifteen hours, twenty hours to finish. Probably. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to live with the story for that long. Whereas, like, 
if I'm playing a Dragon Quest game and the story's not good, I'm like, I got another 100 hours of this. I'm just done. It's way more point. of a problem. Like, exactly. I would dock that game way more for having a bad story than, exactly. say, a Pokemon game. Because I think while all those factors are important and enhance the general gaming experience, certain factors matter more in certain games. You know yep. what I mean? It's like me with Fire Emblem. It's like, I will admit Echoes is beautiful, but the gameplay is so bad and it wouldn't matter to me if it was like more of a casual fun made for a younger audience like pokemon but it is it should be i my argument is a strategy game first and foremost and the strategy elements are severely lacking compared to previous entries mm -hmm. that's why i don't like it as much that's fair like i, I i'll still defend echoes and everything but like i can see those criticisms mm -hmm. and maybe if, like I yeah, said, no. once i go back to it and play it again i'd be like all right i see what he's getting at but like yeah. yeah exactly like if you go back especially if you like joe mentioned like the story-based games like same with me like Outside of, like, maybe black and white, like, actually, let me rephrase this. So, a Pokemon game, like Joe was saying, I'm never going into a Pokemon game being like, I need to know the story. I My thing is, I want to collect my little creatures, I want to beat the Elite Four, I want to complete the Pokedex, and I want to get shiny hunting. Like, that's that's the way I play Pokemon. And maybe that's, like, different, everybody plays Pokemon differently, whatever. Um, that's one of the positives about it. Like, everybody can do something different in Pokemon. Like, there's not, like, a definitive way to play the game. Um, but me, I'm like, I just want to get through this. If it has a good story, great. But like, otherwise, like it doesn't really, it's not really something I'm, I'm there to experience. Like seeing it on the first time through is neat. But afterwards I'm like, eh, whatever. Like outside of like something like a gen five or a gen six where I'm like, oh yes, like this is actually a good story or, um, like I, I just, I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't really see the story in Scarlet and Violet as on par with other games personally. Yeah, and I'll admit, Emerald has, like, if you want to critique anything about it, probably the worst thing is the story. Yeah. It's not so and egregiously not bad. bad. It's not so egregiously bad compared to other Pokemon games, though. Right. Like, that's it. It's automatically the second best, you know, or whatever. I'm like, no, it's... Who cares? Yeah. Like... Favorite rival? It's not that many oh. notches down. Exactly. Favorite, favorite rival? rival. Um, I, I like uh, silver. I was gonna say silver. Silver Marnie bead. I like silver. I think he changes and grows the most. I like the little backstory stuff too. Yeah, I'd say silver bead. Silver bead would probably be my top two. I like that he's just actually a straight thug criminal who becomes an okay person. Mm-hmm. Cool, he like redeems himself. X and Y get get a lot of hate, but I don't hate him as much. Yeah, from me. Yeah, <laughs> from me. Mine was Let's Go. All right, now that's an oof. <laughs> I think X and Y are bum games, Loki. I I replayed They're so them aggressively recently. whatever. I don't even know, man. I replayed just... them recently doing a Nuzlocke on my own time, and I was like, oh, this is fine. I didn't love it, but it was fine. I play. I replayed them uh, like a month or two ago with my buddy. Mm-hmm. Because he's just like, it's so good. And I'm like, no, it's not. And we sat down and we played. He's like, well, we'll just play together. Blah, blah, blah. And then by the end, he's like, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would be my like, help. top four. I don't think it would be my top four or five. Didn't That's help my sure. ego there either. Yeah. True. Also, your points, I do agree. I just, I also love Let's Go. Ouch. Okay. All right. You lost me there. You you really lost me there. I'm not going to lie. Dude, Let's Go would unironically not be so bad Real if though. you could just disable the motion controls. Yeah. That just really tilted me the most. Switch Pokemon games are Because you do have to catch a lot of Pokemon. Uh, they yeah, are, kind of. They, they are, but like, I, and I know I was gassing up Gen 7, but Gen 7 was also like that. I think it's just a lot of like yeah. newer Pokemon games are very much that. Whereas, like, again, I'm going to use Gen 5 as the example. All right, here's your Pokemon. Here's your friends. Go. Yeah. Well, that's, the, that's like the one praise I'll give to... Well, actually, I like FE6 a lot more than other people. But that's the one thing I thought was so refreshing about FE6. Because they have the kind of thing where I don't like where you have to start on normal mode to unlock higher difficulties. And I was kind of, like, pissed, you know? Mm -hmm. But the minute you start FE6, it's just Royce has his little spiel and, like, Jake and some of the other characters... Not Jake and... Marcus and some of the other characters talk. And then you're just there on the map. There's no tutorials or nothing. I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, oh, I'm, just, I'm just here playing the game, like trial and error. Oh, mm -hmm. I love this. Oh, yeah, I love when I they it was do that. So nice. Yeah. I like just being thrown in and being like, okay, yeah. go. I love that. All right. I'm no, if I, made it, yes. if, I made it, if I made a game, I'm not telling you anything. Yeah. Player, like, you, know no, you know nothing. You're just going to go out and figure it out yourself, and hopefully you appreciate that. I would maybe say like some things like 
I don't know, but like I, I'd probably at least give the player like some direction. Like, hey, this is something that you can do. Just something to keep in mind. But I wouldn't I would be put like, like, this is how you attack. Good job. This is how you defend. Good job. This is how you use items. Like, that's just boring. Like, I, a, I after I see like this is how you defend, I'm already closing the game. I probably do like what. I don't know. My my whole thing would be like, oh, here's like this item that you can go into your bag, and it's like the hundred page rule book explaining every mechanic in the game. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever wanted to read it, like an adventure rules kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. If even that. Mm hmm. So that's the one thing I don't know. That's what I really loved about Elden Ring. Just you're just there. They just throw you in the game, mm -hmm. and they're like, I'm like, you're like, I'm like, what most, do I do? Most like um from soft games are like that. Yeah, I've only played that one, and it's great. It makes me want to play the old ones, but it sucks that they're all like sixty dollars and the DLC is like full price. Just like Dark Souls Three to play, like just to play, play, play Dark Souls Three and all the DLC is like hundred and twenty bucks. Just play Bloodborne. Like, trust. I heard it looks really good. Mike played Bloodborne for like twenty minutes and got mad. It was kind of funny. <laughs> that sounds about right. Bloodborne's the best Souls game I am Really? Yeah. I don't know. Elden, Elden Ring was so good. I haven't played Elden Ring yet, so that might change if I play Elden Ring. But everyone I says it is Bloodborne, Bloodborne, though. Everyone I've everyone I've talked to I, says it's Bloodborne. If you like Elden Ring, you'll like Bloodborne. I, I, mean, yeah, again, looks, I haven't played Elden Ring, but still. It looks pretty good. It's very good, dude. There's, like, no good way to play it, though, right? Like, do you you actually need a PS4 to play it. Am I crazy? Yeah, that's... I don't have a PS4 Damn. anymore. I, I sold it for, like, $5. I legit sold it for, like, $5. That's wild. Did you buy that's a no PS5 or anything? No. I have my Switch and my PC. That's like it. That's pretty much most of the games I care about. Same, dude. Right That's all there. I need. That's all I need. I only used it because Shiny Hunting it was so easy. Yeah, that's fair. PVZ became so bad after EA bought PopCap. Yeah. I don't know what PopCap is. All that's the, the company became... that makes Plants for Zombies. Oh, I don't know that. I've never played that. All the plants became bad quality, way too OP in a cash grab. So, pay to win gaming strikes again. I definitely get what you're saying. I like own Scarlet and Violet. Have 300 hours in Violet. Don't even have one badge in Scarlet. <laughs> Fair. I like Blue TBH. Like, oh, like the favorite rival. Okay, yeah, Blue's Blue's cool. Marty's theme is so good. Marty's theme is very good. It's one of my favorite uh, Sword and Shield themes. I, I go back and forth between that and Beats theme. Dorothy and I were messing around. And she spammed Marty at me like 40 times in a row. <laughs> what? Choose the best out of these random Fire Emblem characters. Soleil, Layla. Soleil. Soleil, Layla, Atlas, Ephraim. I think the only one of those I know is Atlas. Um, Ephraim, because he's the best unit. Atlas is the the one guy in Celica's room. Atlas is the Yoke. Right? I love I Atlas has one of my favorite designs. Just huge. He's just he's the, the big guy with the silver hair. He's the woodcutter. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I liked him. He I love his design. That's like the coolest design of that game. I, I guess I would go Atlas by default. <laughs> I'll go Ephraim. I love Let's Go. I play on Switch Lite, but whenever I go anywhere, I bring a Joy-Con so I can play it. I really enjoy it. Also, the most controls are fine after you get used to them. They're not, in my opinion. I don't know about fine. You, bet <laughs> you can definitely get used to them. So I don't think that makes them fine. I think they're yeah. pretty I think that's a good. Annoying. I think that's a good point to make. I... I, I accepted they were there at some point because you just kind of have to to get through the game. But yeah, I was like, this doesn't need to exist. You can just aim and point like with the joystick now and like press A. Yeah. Like with when you play, I'm like, why can't I play like I do on handheld where you just kind of aim? And, I would prefer you know, that. That's not great. That's not great either, to be fair. But I they could have done it. Yeah, yeah they could have done. The only one of those Fire characters I've heard of Dorothy. Well, I've heard of F a frame because of Joe, but. The only one I've that's from a game I played is um, Atlas, so I, I think it's Atlas by default. Honestly, the video I used for Shiny Feedback saying fast, easy, and me spending two days to do the first step—that's a feels bad moment. Uh, Dorothy agrees with you. She says a frame. He's a good unit I from love, a good game. I'll take it. I love when I see random French words. Soleil is French for sun because I forget that people don't know how to pronounce them. I don't. Yeah, I don't speak French. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I only I only knew how to pronounce that because I played that game a lot, and I have a friend IRL who that's also her name. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's a pretty name. Yeah, no, it's a. I tell her all the time. <laughs> that's a sweet name. Wait, I gotta send you. A, I gotta send you the screen cap. Hold on. I will say you sound kind of messed up on my end. I don't know if it's me though. Um. Hold on. 
I'm just gonna pause and hear Maybe my I'm stream and not yeah. gonna say screen cap then. Maybe I'm stream not gonna say screen cap then. I think I sound fine on my stream. Do I sound okay, chat? No, it's my end. It's probably one of my audio thingamabobbers. Let me try this. Yeah, Brandon said I sound okay. That's weird. I just got a message from Mike that I was gonna. I'll, I'll just tell you later. I got. <laughs> I was gonna screenshot and send it to you, but never mind. Are you talking? Uh, yeah, I'm talking. That's not good. I can't hear anything now. Uh oh. I honestly enjoy Let the motion me... control catching. I'm happy for you that you enjoy it. I thought it was pretty bad. Like that. that. Like it's like here's Pokemon Go, but on the Switch. Yes, I sound okay. Thank you, Brandon. I really hope you're not talking because I can't hear anything. No, I'm still talking. <laughs> I'm still talking. That's so weird. What is going on with your audio? Ain't no way my headset just. Did your headset die? It's not even gonna work anymore. That's crazy. Boy, that's just crazy. I will just end my stream, I guess. No, no. don't end the stream. Not the stream. Oh my god. Not the Hello. stream. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. I still can't hear you. You're green. Damn. Maybe there's no way it's a Discord problem, right? No, I don't. Unless maybe your headset did die. And like, um. You just gotta like switch your voice and video settings, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, bro is still green on Discord. I'm still green on Discord. You heard the man. At least I've, I know it's nothing on my end. I didn't get to use a motion capture because I played a Nintendo Lite and I didn't have the OLED. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've only ever... I've never... My girlfriend owns the Switch Lite, but I, I only ever got the handheld. Or the um, the full console. I was like, I want this or nothing. I didn't really want to just... like I, I, I see the appeal of the handheld only, but I still like playing games on a TV. As much as I love playing Switch in my bed, just like chilling at night, I still just really like playing games on the TV. It's just very convenient. Very, very convenient. Not sure what happened to Joe. He just kind of left Discord. Which probably isn't a good thing. I think we might have, I think we might have lost the Jertster. I can't believe we just called him the Jertster. I never called him that in my life. In French, when a word ends with E with that, E R E S E S T E I L E T. Or sometimes just E, they are, they are pronounced A, the same way you pronounce A or the start of Aiden. Interesting. French! Never would have known. I have the Switch and the Switch Lite, but I like Lite so much more. I just like playing games on my TV. Like, it's just. It depends on the game. Because if I was just gonna, like, grind, like, BP quest or something, I'd rather play handheld in my bed. But if I'm gonna like be playing like Xenoblade or playing or doing like shiny hunting or um, playing Smash, I'd rather do that um, on a TV because it's just like more um, more pronounced, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know. I can definitely see the appeal for Switch Lite, but I definitely am still like someone who prefers gaming on a TV for sure. I see the appeal, though. It's nice to just be able to just take it wherever you want. But then again, like, I would argue you can also do that with the regular Switch, so. Is the battery power or the battery life on the Switch Lite better than the regular Switch? Or nah? Because I would assume it would be, since it doesn't have, like, all, like, sorts of extra processing power it needs or something. At least that's what makes sense in my mind. I have a grip that make my Switch Lite that have the same ends as the Pro Controller so that it doesn't hurt my hands. I've seen those like on Amazon and stuff before. I've seen those on Amazon before. I thought about getting one, but I was like, I, I play handheld so infrequently. I'm like always usually playing on my computer or on like a TV screen. So. That's why I didn't even bother. Like it would be cool to get like one of those, um... One of those things, but I don't know. I don't know. I traded the Let's Go cartridge for Pokemon Violet. I mean, in my opinion, you upgraded. It might not be a big upgrade, but that's an upgrade. Like, it might not be a huge upgrade or anything, but at least it's something. 
It's actually worse? Why is it worse? That shouldn't be the case. That should not be the case. Oh, <laughs> I just got a message from some bot in Discord. It appears you've been by yourself in this call for more than three minutes. The bandwidth patrol has asked me to disconnect you to save bandwidth. That stuff doesn't grow on trees. Clever, Discord. Clever. Clever girl. That's surprising that the Switch Lite is actually worse than the regular Switch. Like, you think it'd be the exact opposite. Like, you think it says it's just handheld, the battery life should be better. I still had the light. That's fair. I only ever play on TV when I'm playing a game with friends and local co-op. Depends on the game. Because, like, yeah. Like, if I'm with people, of course I'm not playing on a TV. Like, of course. But, like, it depends on the game, too. Because, like, I... Something like a Mario game, like, I could... Like, I could realistically play, like, Mario 3D All-Stars in my bed. Like, I could... I could take the handheld and play that in bed. Without a doubt. I could play Sunshine, uh, 64, or Galaxy, or whatever. Same thing with something like a Kirby. Like, a Kirby in the Forgotten Land, I could play that in bed. But something like a, like a Xenoblade, like something like a Xenoblade, I want that on on the TV. Because I want it, I want the full experience. I want the full like surround sound, full experience and everything. Whereas like something that's like more I guess if it's more story based, I want on the TV. If it's more like and not saying that Xenoblade is not gameplay based, but it is a story based RPG. Um, if it's something more story based, I think I would like it to be played on the TV. But something that's more like just focusing on gameplay than something like that, I'd probably want to play like on the on the handheld. Plus, like even playing something like a Xenoblade 2 or a Xenoblade 3 in handheld, it it just doesn't it runs fine. Fine being a strong word. But like seeing it run on on like the handheld system and then seeing it run on the TV is night and day. Like there's parts of Xenoblade 3 that look honestly breathtaking. On switch on the TV especially with like a really solid TV whereas like if I'm playing it in the handle it's like oh there's this little pixelated bit oh oh do we got your YT back hey is he back yeah hey we're so back that's what we like to hear I, uh, my headset just decided to die for no reason oh no I went to plug it back in and it won't charge and I checked the cable because I have an older version of the headset and uh -huh. just know that it just broke and now it just, just doesn't want to work anymore. That's, That's fun. That's really annoying. Yeah, so I got... I gotta go buy another new one. Hooray! This is my old, crummy one. That's... And I'm just not gonna go live again, because I don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and call with you till the stream ends, and hopefully right. we don't get our shiny. Oh, are you still shiny hunting right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you get this oh. thing, you have to like upload like a like a crummy like from your phone video. Yeah, no, I, I will for sure. Don't yeah, worry about it. this is what I like to hear. Or, I mean, you could always just like capture it from like you could always just start recording. I'm uh, like, yeah, you I'm get it. Recording. Yeah, I'm screen recording with OBS right oh, okay, now, okay. just in case. But I think the crappy phone video might be funnier, so I it, might stop recording. It would be funnier. You aren't wrong. It would be funnier. Right, we officially hit 1,215 encounters. We're over the 1,200 range. <laughs> the screen looks so small when I look at it now. Like, that's how I feel about just my regular Switch. Like, I would just rather... Like I said, it depends on the game. I would rather play certain games in handheld and rather play certain games on the TV. Yeah. I'm still on the first step on getting feedback. How is this taking you so long to get a feedback? <laughs> like... Can't you just go there with a water sandwich and call it good? At this point, you might just want to breed one instead. <laughs> yeah, it would probably save you time. You probably could have like at least gotten through a good amount of eggs by now. No, because Barboach? Does Barboach spawn at the crystal pool? <laughs> no, Barboach. <laughs> Does Barboach actually spawn at the crystal pool? I truthfully don't know the answer. Do you know? It does? Oh, okay. Man, thwarted by a barboach. That's upsetting. The only way that could be worse is if you got thwarted by a love disc. 
That's the only way that could get any worse, truthfully. Doesn't love this have a good shiny though? Does it? Is it? What is? What color is it? I couldn't tell you. Uh, I will look that up right now. Okay. It was like 17 Barboach and one Feebas. Oof. As a bit of a Feebas bad there. man. The Feebas is there confirmed. So the Feebas can be there. You've got that. Oh, love this. Wait, love this shiny bangs. It's gold. It's gold. I was gonna say that oh, was like yellow sick. or something. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Kind of gold. It's got a nice little sheen to it. I would hunt that. Love okay. disc shiny. I don't know why I thought it was. I would. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this before. Low key, I'd hunt that. For the walls, I guess it actually looks good. Yeah, it's solid. Like I don't love it, but like it's good. I really like it actually. I think it's pretty good. I'm a fan. I liked it more than I thought I would for something like a love disc, such a garbage yeah. Pokemon. What does Barboach evolve into? Barboach evolves into Whiskash. 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 The wise uh, elder from the lake. True. In uh, Mystery Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon. Yes, sir. Red Rescue Team. Yep. I just took off my socks underneath my desk. There we go. Just gonna yeet those out of the way real quick. Dude, why does Red Rescue Team just mog on all the Switch Pokemon games? Why is it just such a better game? Uh, I want to disagree because it came out in like 2006, but I don't think I can disagree with you. <laughs> that game actually bangs. Everyone it's go so play good, it. man. It's or, one of the best spinoffs for sure. Or, I think Scores of Sky is a little better. That's what I was going to say. Or just play Scores of Sky, which is better. <laughs> like Red Rescue Red Team is kind of short, though. It is pretty kinda short. short. The thing I don't like about those games, though, is it's kind of just you and your partner Pokemon for like 80% of it. Yeah, you get like. You... I wish I wish we had the full four man squad. I get why you don't, because characters join you through yeah. the story bits. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, I wish. You're just gonna egg? I mean. At least in this game, you can get the egg power boost thing, so it's not as painful. I haven't shiny hunted that much uh, through hatching in Gen 9. Mm -hmm. but, and there's worse ways to go about it. I did, when I was doing the Sprigatito, it wasn't that bad. I think we got in like 400, 460, yeah. something like that, I want to say. Like 460, was, 470. Uh, I bred one or two things. It wasn't that bad. No, it's not that bad. Like, it's definitely not that bad. Yeah. Like, everybody who's like, eh, it's Masuda method hunting. It's not that bad. I promise. It's I will bad. say, though, I, I definitely like... Uh, I don't really like the new picnic system because it caps you out on the eggs. Yeah, that I don't like. That I'm not in love with. You kind of have to just sit there and wait. You lose a lot. You lose out in a lot of active time, quote unquote. You could use to start hatching the eggs by just having to exist in the picnic. Yep, exactly. Also, I double checked and it was 364 encounters. I got my Sprigatito in. That's kind of mental. Good for you. Did you have a um, boost? Did you have like a? Remasuding, should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a. I don't think I have a good foreign ditto, or even a foreign ditto. I traded for one through one of those like, um, like those Pokegenning bots. I just was like, I want a ditto. Uh, yeah, I should get one. <laughs> yeah, dude, it takes like two minutes, like straight up. Might as well. Yeah, I'll blame you for just using the eggs. It's just, it's just with something like that, it's just more convenient. I had for Shiny Terminator using eggs took me three days though. Three days isn't bad for an egg hunt. Like truthfully, it's not. Like yeah. it took me is like not... twenty streams. To get I want to ask too. Is there? I guess that there's not a way to like only get Feebas as your encounter with the sandwich. It probably might be easier to egg it. Like if you are always going to run into Barboach as well, and it seems like it, the think... base spawn rate it's probably a lot higher too than Feebas, so it's probably just worth to egg it. Mm -hmm. I think the only one... There definitely is someone out there smart enough to manip it, probably to only get Feebass or get mostly Feebass. That's the only thing I really want to look into, I like guess, the manipping. I've yeah. always wanted to do that. I think the only thing that would um, that would get you just the Feebass is if you had an Outbreak. Outside of that, like I, I don't think you'll yeah. be able to get it with, with Well, even then, Feebass. you know, too. Sometimes, sometimes if you have the Outbreaks, just there's other stuff there. Oh, the yeah, periphery. for sure also really annoying <laughs> yeah like dude i when i was hunting for my my sandshrew the video just went up yesterday i got a mud beret just like while i was looking for sandshrew 
Like just a random yeah. mudbray was just chilling. I was like, all right, well, I guess we have a mudbray now. <laughs> Never got. It. I'm gonna head out. All right, no worries. Have a good night. We're probably gonna wrap up in a bit here anyway. So true. It's getting a little bit light. Still got work in yeah. the morning. Yep. Do you work tomorrow? Yep. That I do. When you working from? Uh, I want to say like seven a.m. to whatever eight hours is. <laughs> That'd be three. Yeah. That's not bad. I agree. It's not that bad. I like that I get to work from my house tomorrow because when these days I'm remote. Oh. Uh, so convenient, see. dude. I don't have to go in. Yeah. I don't have to be at I don't have to be at the school. Like it's play your switch. I mean that's neither here nor there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nah, I'm just kidding. Check I your I outbreaks. Do, <laughs> I do check I will say I do check my outbreaks. I do check them. I don't play my switch, but I do check my outbreaks when I'm working yeah. remotely. I'll just be like, alright, let me just take a peek. Alright, cool. Now I know what to put on the thumbnail later. <laughs> like that's about it though. Like I've never like sat down and been like, alright, time to work, and then I pull out my Nintendo Switch. Because usually even on Wednesdays I'm pretty busy. Because I have students I... I meet with, all that stuff. May or may not have previous jobs have done that. <laughs> you what? I may or may not have previous jobs. I've just pulled up my Switch. <laughs> <laughs> that's neither here nor there though. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, you really are close to 400, 395. Yes sir, 5 there away. Go. There you go. Almost there. I will say, I heard, I heard too, once you get to 1,000, you just, they just Keep expose growing. you so much more. Yeah. Because Mike got from, I want to say once he hit one, he got to like one, two, and one, four pretty fast. Like yeah. one or two videos after, just hitting the milestone. Yeah, he got it like it, super quick after yeah, that. Just about grinding away. True, true, true. Early on. That's the plan, my man. Yeah, I gotta get on that too. You're getting there. You have a video coming out this week. Yeah. Which one? Allegedly. If you want to. Okay. Oh, allegedly. If you want to, go ahead and plug it. Plug it right now. No. Oh, okay. I just wanted to give you the time. Uh, we'll just, I'm just worried. I just gotta get it out first, man. I'm, I'm sure, sure you will. About it. Just like, keep at it. You said you're like 75% of the way done. Yeah, but now I gotta play Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'll be exhausted after that. I actually think it could be fun to do like what you were saying. Those like non league like Pokemon player relax to reacts yeah. to like leak character trailers or whatever. I don't know. They get so many views for no reason, just because all the. Like they'll just get like randomly plugged on Reddit. Some guy will be like, I can't believe he said this about this character. And then everyone just clicked <laughs> on it. It's definitely a good way to like make people mad or happy. Like I don't think there's a lot of retention in it. Like I don't uh -huh. think people would outright sub, but you get a lot of views. And then if you ever get monetized, it's just like get a little chunk of money like the minute you become monetized. It's pretty solid. That's what it seemed like anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty solid. It's not bad. Yeah. I have to do band tomorrow. Am I hoping my wrist isn't that bad? Make sure you keep icing it. Like, you probably should. Salt it, too. <laughs> hey. No, like, not like Epsom salt. Oh, yeah. Is that what you meant? Is that Low what key. you meant? Yeah, is that what you meant? Yeah, yeah. That's one of the two things I meant. <laughs> I don't the know first thing was the meme. Yeah, I, I had sure. a feeling. I mean, Epsom salt's first not a bad shout, but unless you have some, you're not going to be able to get Epsom salt at, like... 1 30 or what time is it by you like 1 a.m murph i'm probably get epsom salt at 1 in the morning probably but otherwise joe's right epsom salt's not a bad idea like taking an epsom salt bath when i um when i had a, a stress fracture and tendonitis in my uh my foot from soccer i had to take one of those like every day basically and i had to wear a boot and like um like, I had to get x-rayed every week. It, it was the worst. Have Epsom salts just upstairs, and I just don't really want to walk that far. But if it would help you... Like, yeah, I can understand not wanting to walk all the way upstairs. But, like, if it's going to help you, it's going to help you, you know? 
Know what I mean? You feel me? I think the actual best thing, though, is probably just solid sleep. <laughs> yeah. But Murph was even saying that, like, it started to hurt, like, after they woke up from sleeping. So, like, I don't know. It's a tough mm -hmm. one. I don't know. I feel like every time I do not feel good, I sleep. And then I feel just... I feel good. That usually does help me. Sleeping is OP. Yep. That and, like, dude, it's amazing, like, how much, like, sleeping and drinking water help me feel better. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm, like, a big proponent of hydration, so I try to stay hydrated at all times. But there's just random times where I'm, like, at work, and I'm like, man, I have such a headache right now. And I look at my water bottle, and I barely even made a dent. And then I, like, force myself to drink water, and, like, 20 minutes later, I'm like, wow, I feel better. <laughs> That's so weird. Eating food that isn't horrible for you, too. Yep, at, that like, will do it. Intervals also helps. Yep. Dude, I was so proud of myself. I chopped up some zucchini um, last weekend uh, with like some basil, some tarragon, a um, mm -hmm. little bit of parsley, some garlic, some onion, some salt and pepper. It came out so good. Like I, I like was zucchini. like, okay, we kind of cook it right now. I. Right. I really like uh, eggplant. Dude, same. I love eggplant. I honestly think eggplant's so good. I make like a, I'll make like a, it's almost like a cold kind of like dip. Like an eggplant dip? It's yeah, it's really good. What do you put in it? Um, I don't even know vegetables. Like, <laughs> it's like a vegetable dip. So is it like you like puree them or like? What yeah, you... yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that sounds, like pu that sounds fire. Yeah. That actually sounds so fire. We only have two extra band practice before the trip, so it should be fine. Okay, as long as you're sure. That actually sounds so good, dude. I would, I, I'd be down to try that. I'll pair it with, uh, I'll pair it in, like, uh, with tomatoes and basil and stuff too, and just kind of yeah. like, put, put on like a pasta. Oh yeah, man, so, that's the good stuff good. right there. Dude, I'm like, I, I like, I honestly think I like eggplant parmesan more than I do chicken parmesan. It's up there, definitely. I think it's definitely comparable. Oh yeah. It's so good. My sleeping hurts my wrist more since the breakup. I've been having really low quality sleep, so I move around so much that I'm pretty sure it's the way I hurt my wrist in the first place. Mm. Uh, I get. I will. Does make I will sense. say. Go ahead, Joe. I no say. I will say because as someone who I move around a lot when I sleep too, I felt like what really helped me a lot recently is just like it might be hard with the wrist, but physical activity, mm -hmm. just more physical activity. True. It's super helpful just because. You know, just walking around or doing whatever it doesn't have to be like super intensive, but mm -hmm. your body definitely feels it. Yep. Like it's you just kind of do it a bit gradually throughout the day more and more. I fall asleep so much faster now, and I definitely wake up in less awkward, precarious positions because I would move around a lot, just so much, and that definitely made me a bit sore throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Just wake up, hands under your pillow, or like you're sleeping on one side and like your legs asleep. I definitely struggle with it, especially like at night. One of the things I find is that I, I, especially if I don't like do a lot during the day, whether that be like getting up and moving or if I'm not working that day or if I'm working from home, like I, I have like, I'll just feel my legs feel so stiff. So like one thing I've started to do is like, um, wh whether I'm working from home or whether I'm working, um, like at the actual school, I think one thing I've started doing is like forcing myself on my lunch break to like go outside and walk around for at least 15 minutes like i have yeah. to because it just make if for one thing it feels better getting the vitamin d getting up and moving and stretching and everything but even then like it just it's just even being outside for that little bit of time getting some fresh air getting out of like a yeah. stuffy space just feels so good like it's the best yeah. yeah even on a super busy day i just try to like be out in the sun for 15 yep. 20 minutes and walk around for a good half hour yes sir Gotta get that good vitamin D. Yeah. Completely agree. It, I, I feel Definitely so helpful. much better when I do it. Yeah. Whenever I'm super anxious, I get really bad injuries in my sleep because I move so violently. Is there anything you could do to like help prevent that, though? I'm not sure if there is or not, but I was just curious. There's a Korean dish where you wrap noodles in seaweed. I think you'd like it. I probably would like that. I love nori. I would, I would just like... Have you ever have you ever seen those things at like the stores with that are just it's literally just packaged seaweed and they have them in like different flavors? 
Yeah, I've never tried them. I will admit. They had there's like a teriyaki one that is so <laughs> unbelievable. Like I thought I would hate it, and then I tried and I was like, wait, this is phenomenal. And now I I, I like anytime I see them, I'm like, yeah, I'll pick up a I'll pick up a little snack. Why not? Kimbab makes great use of veggies, fish cakes, and meat. I'm not sure what Kimbab is, but I feel like I've heard of that before. You might enjoy Korean style ramen too. We have more flavors than just plain like a egg like a meat flavor. I mean some like I feel like Japanese style ramen's pretty good about doing that too. Like not just being like, alright, here's my broth. Here's my salty broth. Yeah, there's they do. There's a really nice place by me. It's like a Japanese family runs it. Ooh. It's just, it's always so absurdly busy. Mm -hmm. Like, I've you wait at least like 20, 30 minutes to get in, but it's so good. And they, they have like three, four people just always in the back, like making the noodles and oh yes, even like stirring the broth in like that big pot. And it's just the food is phenomenal, mm -hmm. it's super good. And they have stuff like, I think they have like ten different broths and like four different kinds of noodles, and just you kind of build your own little bowl. It's, mm -hmm. it's amazing. I would eat there really every good. day if I could. Yeah, it's great. Literally, dude, there's a place not too far from me. Um, it's called Pacific Rim. It's a like a like an Asian grocery store and everything. And then inside, there's also like a mini like sit down restaurant that takes mm -hmm. up like maybe like a third of the a third of the business or whatever. And um, basically, like they they have like um, it's mainly pho, so like Vietnamese food and stuff. But they also have like some different types of ramen. Um, they have like different types of like um, I'm trying to think what else. Like mainly just like Japanese, Korean, or Vietnamese style noodles with soup. And I literally would eat there every day if I could. Like you were saying, what I would do is I would get that with like uh, like a boba. And they also have mochi donuts, dude. Have you ever had mochi donuts are so good. <laughs> They're yeah, so, I've had like, them before. They're really good. They're so they they pull apart so easily. They're ice, so they're nice and sweet, and they have like this little like crackly, crumbly. Sh oh my god! I would eat literally eat there every day. I'm right there with you, man. It's the yeah. best. I am kind of bummed though, because this other really good Asian place by me it was more like a American style Asian fusion mm -hmm. joint. They closed recently, and I'm so mad because they had the best. They they just had the best fried rice. Like it just was phenomenal, and none of the other places, like the ten other places I go to, just does not hit the same. So I need to, I need to just go and I've been trying to recreate it, like the dish at <laughs> my house, like for the last couple of weeks now. And I'm just so tough. Close and it, it tilts me to know because it was, it was like fried rice, yeah, and then it had like sweet and sour pork pieces, but then they also did like pineapple and shallots and like baby carrots. It was like this weird. That sounds so good. Hodgepodge. It was phenomenal. It's like the best, one of the best like Asian inspired dishes I've ever had. And I just, I'm trying to make it, but it's like legit, I swear a hundred different things. It's so annoying. I would mess up a bowl of that. Yeah, it was phenomenal. It's one of those dishes where, you know, you go to the place enough and you know, it's like amazing and you want to try and like one of the other dishes, but it's just always so good. Yeah. Like, and it's so unique. You're like, exactly. I can't not get this, you know, cause I'm like, oh, exactly. I really want to try this and it's not happy. You're like, oh, I need to get this. Yep. 1000%. Like, as much as I would love, like, trying, like, new different types of ramen, um, the, the place I was talking about, they have, like, a, um, it's like a, I think it's, like, pork adobo ramen. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I would order two, I would, I would order two bowls if I could. Like, it's that good. Yeah, I will say, uh, just being where I am, too, there's just a lot of really good south american places mm -hmm. like there's a really nice cuban restaurant like 10 minutes away i'm like i never had cuban food in my life i've ever. never had cuban food just but my my one friend he's cuban so he's like yo like let's go get some cuban food and i'm like okay and now i go there like every other week it's super good sounds really good man like i'd love to try cuban food fried plantains the yucca fries they have like a lemon pork dish there that sounds fire it's, it's very it's like sour, but it's also kind of sweet. I don't know. It's like it's almost like a a sour barbecue sauce, more or less. Ooh, wait, kind of... that sounds good. It's really, it's really, really good. That sounds hella good. Damn, I kind of, now I'm getting hungry. It's like eleven and thirty at night, man. I'm I getting know, hungry. I'm so hungry. This is so tough. Uh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I have like no food in my house either. I I have to do meal prepping tomorrow after work, so that'll be what I do before uh before I stream tomorrow. 
making some. I've just uh, been. I've just been eating whatever they don't throw out at my work. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> fair. That's one of the problems yeah. about working in a restaurant or a bakery. Yeah, I need to make more things. I usually just will make a lot of really nice food for myself on the weekends. Mm. I don't have to work. I usually just I like meal prepping when I'm here. Like I will say on Wednesdays because it's just easier. It is kind of hard though, just because like my job is making food. So yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm gonna make food all day, and then I'm gonna go home. And it's make so more tough, food. dude. When every time, <laughs> whenever I, 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 thankfully I didn't work in a restaurant past like age 18, so I wasn't really doing a lot of my own cooking usually. Like I would still like make my own food sometimes, and everything, but for the most part, like my parents did the cooking when I was growing up. But like, yeah. um, even like working in a restaurant, I don't, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it and come home and make food. I think I would, I would just look at it and be like. No, I'm just gonna make ramen. <laughs> I'm just gonna make microwave ramen. I'm yeah. good. I don't do much physical activity, but I've been trying to go for a walk 30 minutes every day since it's getting warmer out. That's a good shout. All my friends at lunch, I went for a walk for an hour. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea. Yeah. I went to Dorothy's house. I think house building, mom, building up to do cutlets. Pork yeah, cutlets sounds so good. Sorry, Joe, go ahead. Yeah. No, I was gonna say building up, just building up to doing more. Like really oh, helps yeah. too. Like, I, I feel like once I, because I went from just like you know not doing anything to walking to intermediate like fastish walking to now mm. i do like weight stuff and i feel like i the sleep quality has gone up so much yeah like don't start just out going like going ham like definitely eat yeah. yourself into it for sure but like even yeah just like even something small like that like going for a walk is like a perfect place to start yeah dang aaron i'm just i keep wanting to call you aaron dang aaron i i keep <laughs> <laughs> I, I i i want a pork cutlet bowl now not sure I haven't looked into it. Y'all are making me hungry at one in the morning and I can't go anywhere. I'm sorry. We're all we're all kind of stuck right there. See, I like Japanese yeah, one, but I feel like the mild ones need at least a little spice. Oh, yeah, I can agree with that. Like, I can definitely agree with that. Like, I yeah. anytime I get like ramen or like um like t anytime I get like ramen, Thai food, pho, anything, anything like that, I have to get medium spice. Otherwise, I know I'm not. I need I need the kick. I need the kick. Otherwise, I I won't do it. They, they doesn't I'm fine. As well. I'm fine with not as I'm fine with not as much spice because I think there's a whole. It's like a there's a tasteful amount of heat. Because mm -hmm. I feel like now, like especially an American kind of thing, it's like oh hot Cheetos and all this stuff. It's like I feel like people want to be in pain because it's cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm like I kind of just want to enjoy the food. Like a good amount of heat is fine. But yeah, I'm fine to go a bit under. Exactly. Like I I will never understand why people order ghost pepper wings. Like if I'm going to like a B Dubs, yeah. like I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be a big yeah. tough guy. We're the, the, the ghost pepper wings for the table like no yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna take my garlic parmesan my half garlic parmesan because i know they're gonna taste fire i'm gonna take my hot buffalo because i know it's gonna be good and have a good kick and i'm gonna be the happiest boy meanwhile buddy next to me is gonna be crying the entire time i've never eaten at uh buffalo wild wings you aren't missing much go to wing stop instead. Well, there's there's two by me and they just there's always a million people there go to wing stop uh, wings yeah i've gone to wing stop a bit do you like wing it's stop? fine it's fine. If I'm getting like a fast you know who, food wing, it's Wingstop. You know who unironically has the best wings? Are you gonna say Hooters? No, Red Robin. Re you know, actually, I don't. I don't hate that take. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I don't hate that take. Their barbecue wings, they're really good. And I asked the the waitress. I was like, because she's like, how are they? And I'm like, I'm gonna be honest. These are like the best barbecue wings I've ever had. And she's like, yeah, no. Well, they they glaze them and then they finish them in the oven for a bit and then they. They put then they reglaze them and I'm like they're yeah, they're so good. I think I've I had know, them before they're and I legit, was like, like the best thing surprised. I've ever had there. Yeah, they were insanely good. Like I always get the wings now whenever I go to the burger place and <laughs> everyone say, makes fun of me. Everyone makes say. fun of me, dude. They're so much better than the burgers. I was just actually. about to say stinks that the best thing in a burger place is the wings. <laughs> but like, it's true. not a bad burger, but I mean like the wings are actually so good. I usually they're get really like the chicken sandwiches. But I don't eat burgers usually, or if I do, I get like a veggie eat. burger. I'm a huge burger guy. I oh, I'll God. usually make I'll, I'll usually make them at home though on the grill. I if I'm gonna make a burger, I because I don't eat beef. I usually will make like turkey burgers or veggie burgers or whatever. But um, I'll usually I my I, I, if I do it, I usually do it at home. Like I, I prefer to make like my own burgers. Like I like turkey no, I burgers with like a little bit of with like some pickles, some cheese, some onion, maybe a little bit of mustard. That's like all I need. What's your uh, opinion on Jersey Mike's? Um, I like it. I low key, I say, I really like it. It's like my go-to place to get a sandwich. If I, I like get it, like a sandwich, I like yeah. it. I like it. I like it a bit more than Publix too. The pub sub. No, you lost me. You lost me there. 
I'm sorry. I, I do think so. Well, my I really I love like a good Italian sub, and I think it's a better Italian sub. Okay, if you're gonna get an Italian sub, I can see that. But if I if like if I'm just craving a sandwich, I'm going I'm mm -hmm. going to Publix. I'm getting a chicken tender sub, and I'm gonna be fit, fed for two straight meals. I'm gonna be I'm That's gonna be the fair. happiest boy. What if I I do like the popcorn chicken more than the chicken tenders? Their popcorn chicken Publix. is fire. Basically, just Publix That's my is the best. Thing. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Just getting the popcorn chicken, getting a little thing of the honey mustard. The honey mustard. Yes, sir. That's what I'm I like a big to hear. Fan. I'm a big fan. That's like the lazy man's lunch. Damn, right. And they got their little wings, too. Their hot and spicy wings. Oh, yeah. So yeah, good. Yeah, they're pretty good, too. Yeah. I don't know. The popcorn chicken just gets me. It is very good. It is funny Publix just to hits, it. man. Yeah, the popcorn chicken. Uh, did I tell you my sister lives in North Carolina now? No. So, I didn't know you had a sister, Loki. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I'm gonna be honest. No, I'm gonna be. Honest. I thought you just had a brother. No, I have a sister too. Um, I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay, well, this makes up for me not knowing your birthday I, then. <laughs> I won't ask if she's single. Uh, I mean, she I'm is kidding. anyway, I'm but kidding. still. Um, so <laughs> in in Michigan, there's no Publix, like right? It's a Southern thing and everything. The yeah. Amount of yeah. times I get pictures from my sister of like I'm going to Publix right now, and I just want to be like, I cannot stand you right now. Like, dude, when I was in Florida oh, over winter break, I, I made a point. Like, I'm going to Publix three times. I don't care. I'm getting the popcorn chicken. I'm getting the pub sub. I'm getting good the wings. I'm getting my like, bogos. Yeah. Exactly. I think it's a reasonably priced grocery place in this economy. Shopping is a pleasure there, my man. Yeah. Mochi donuts were a childhood, stack for, childhood snack for me. Can't believe Aaron's not trying. You got to Aaron. They are so good. I love mochi donuts. Yeah. Late night Korean barbecue. Dorothy, I wish I could get some late night Korean oh. barbecue. But the place that is near me stopped serving at uh, 930. 930 is their last seating that they take. Wait, no, you still not tried the fried chicken? I do need to try Korean fried chicken, too. I love Korean barbecue. I had the yeah, real kind. I, I want to. I, I, I've had, like, the quote-unquote real kind, but I want, like, the real, real kind. Yeah. I'm so bad with cooking food. Like, I'm crazy afraid of hot things and sharp things, so the kitchen isn't the best for me. My dad loves those dishes. Yes. Aaron, I can eat a ghost pepper chip just fine. Also, Aaron, ah, uh, your bulgogi is too spicy. I love it. I I cannot do ghost. I, like, the like the one chip challenge or whatever? No, thank you. Yeah. I, I will say if you actually want to get better at cooking as someone who actually does it for their job. True. Uh, this is a man to listen when to. I, when I started out, like, there's so many simple, easy, not hot, not sharp things you can do. Like, oh, yeah. Just start with, like, dips. Yep. Then you can work your way up to, like, pasta dishes and sandwiches. Like, there's definitely, like, a path forward. 1,000%. That's a perfect idea. Cause I just, I just took, I literally only got into cooking cause I took some home ec classes in high school cause I thought they'd be easy. And just, I just was going to bum and do nothing in those classes with some of my friends and we all ended up loving it. And I think mm -hmm. legit all like the four, like me and my three main friends who did, I think we're all in like food or food service now, which is so funny. Dude, I wish that my school would have offered that. I would have easily took it. What that was and it's such a great skill to have too. Yeah. Cause it's like. Fun. When you're growing up, like for the most part, like a lot of people don't usually cook their own food unless they physically have to. So like, yeah. it's definitely a good skill. Cause I didn't know how to cook when I was like 12, 13 years old. I had a like, I I learned because I worked in a restaurant. I learned because like I watched videos. I yeah. taught, I basically taught myself, and now I'm like I I would say I'm a I'm a decent cook. Like I can work my way around the kitchen decently well. I don't think I'd probably be at your level or anything, but like I I can at least like operate a kitchen like i'd be like okay cool yeah. i can i can make i can make this sure i'm kind of cracked loki <laughs> <laughs> well you're a freaking pastry chef i would hope so yeah well before that too it was well it was a long time ago but like Didn't you i want i debated i debated being like a cook cook then you used to work in like an actual restaurant or something yeah 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 thought so when i was in high, when I was in high school yeah i thought i remember you telling me that before i was kind of like salad boy though oh uh, okay yeah i was i was buster server i was i made uh i was i was buster and i went to server and they're like do you actually want to work in the kitchen i'm like yeah that's why i took this job <laughs> they're like all right you can make the make the bread and then i, I you worked up to be in then I worked up to being on the line and uh i did all the cold appetizers i couldn't even i couldn't even because it was italian beer. But because it was Italian, 
place. It was like oh, like antipasto. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was more. It was more. It was mostly like salads, bro. Like, so I, like I Caesar salads. I could mess up a bowl of Caesar salad or antipasto right yeah. now. So I uh, had like 16, 17. I was like salad boy, full time salad boy. That's sick. That's a perfect place to start. Yeah. Getting your foot in the door. Right. Everyone else was like 30. <laughs> it was really cool. That was an experience for sure. Definitely. I gave him the spicy Red Bull Gogi. Well, you gotta start him out with the strong stuff. Absolutely. So I see where my dad's over, we have taco nights with like 40 different hot sauce, and that's the only time I can try to see how much heat I can handle. That's fair. I, I like a little bit of spice to mine. I enjoy chicken products no matter what, no matter which fast food it is. I feel on them. Yes. I love burgers that you need to have like 30 things on it. Like I love trying new things, so burgers are great for that. Yeah. I hate chicken so much, it's just way too dry. It's not. It's not though. See, in Korean, we use a different batter for our chicken. So don't you also, isn't Korean fried chicken also double batter fried? Or am I, am I tripping? They're also healthy? Oh, then probably not. It's definitely not. a different. Then probably it's not. A, so it's definitely a different process. Yeah. The frying process, at least, I think. I'm pretty sure there's like a big difference. Like I've heard Korean fried chicken yeah. is just better than American fried chicken. Like just straight yeah, up I've better. Yeah, I've heard that too. I don't know, American fried chicken got a great. So that's definitely tantalizing, you know, that True. there's a notch above that. It is really good. Like I'm not like I'm I'm not a big like KFC or Popeyes guy, but like if somebody gave it to me, I'm not gonna be upset about I'm it. I'm I'm coming around. I'm say I I might be a KFC guy. Have lucky. you tried um? Have you tried raising the Kings? chicken sandwich meal is good. Have you tried raising Kings yet? There's not one by me. Damn. The KFC, no. The there's like that that chicken sandwich meal with the fries. The chicken like, sandwich the fries meal is are fire. Really good. The chicken sandwich is really good. The fries. Like yep. I'm like dang, this is a good meal for like nine ten, but whatever it was, nine ten bucks. Their their chicken sandwich is good. Like I, I honestly think it. Sandwich. I don't know if it's Popeyes level, but it's it's not bad. I like it more than Chick Fil A's. I would agree. I honestly think I would agree. I think uh, Chick Fil A's. I haven't had the Popeyes. There's not one by me either. I had it once, I think. I don't. So it was good, but every time I've had Popeyes in my life, it's made me sick. Like <laughs> I remember being like, "Oh, this is tasty," and then like an hour later, I'm like, "I want to die." Yeah. <laughs> so I've eaten at Popeyes twice, and I haven't eaten there in like eight years or something. I ate there a lot when I was working at that restaurant just because there was one close by and I would get like the shrimp tackle box, like get the shrimp yeah. and A little bit of biscuits. like the, the biscuit and the red beans and rice. Yeah, the front. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get a little shrimp meal. I don't trust, I, I know it's probably fine. I don't trust pet fast food shrimp. I don't know. If I'm going to get shrimp, I want it to be like good shrimp. So I don't, I don't trust like most of the stuff like fish but shrimp is like you can freeze it and exist for like shrimp is true pretty safe i would say it's definitely like the safest fish related thing a fast food place can have would i have like a fish taco there like a fast food place no but like i would have like a, fry, a fried piece of shrimp mm -hmm. oh, i love like fried shrimp like coconut shrimp and stuff man yeah yeah oh yeah Remember one fourth of July, my parents grilled Korean barbecue out in the air while the Amer while the neighbors had American barbecue. It was great. You all should have like been like, I'll trade you half a rack of ribs for some uh, some pork bulgogi. <laughs> totally started lighting I fireworks. Got really loud. Got really loud out there. Yeah, I'm not a big fire. I I mean I like I like fireworks shows. I don't like just random people setting off fireworks. I'm not a big I'm not a big on fireworks that way. I love fireworks shows. Like I I love like when like towns or festivals put on like a firework show but if like my neighbors are setting off fireworks i'm like i'd rather be anywhere else right now i just cannot deal with sharp and hot things i also don't have enough energy to sit down and do stuff for that long like i don't have the energy to put something in the oven for 20 minutes what uh, what it's it's not even it's just you just sit there and let it do its own thing you like if you were making a cake yeah. After you mix it, you just let it you let it sit there, and you just like, oh, 20 minutes, time to take it out the cake. Yeah, anything that requires constant attention, attention and watching, it's probably gonna be done in a few minutes anyway. Yeah, I'm fine with ovens, but stoves not really. Yeah, I I mean I don't I like I said I don't mind cooking on a stove, but like I definitely feel more comfortable using an oven. Just because, like, I will um, say, a lot of my cooking has been like baking experience, but like now I'm getting more into like yeah. the actual like cooking, cooking. Yeah, for me it's funny because like this job's more baking, but I started out with like cooking, cooking, mm -hmm. and I feel like baking is way easier. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's so much easier. Everybody's like baking is a science. If you screw up even one little thing, your entire shit's gonna come out ruined. 
I have never had that experience in my life. Yeah, just don't screw it just up. Just don't anymore. screw it up. Measure measure your ingredients. You get a kitchen yeah. scale. Forehead. Like it's not it's not hard. If you measure things correctly, you'll be okay. I promise. Yeah, no when I when I went in and they're like Yeah, just bake some stuff, like, you know, do whatever. I'm just like, okay. And I just I I'm like, alright, y'all just make these tarts. And they're just Ooh, they're like, wow, they so many came out great and then I made some uh, raspberry tarts. Oh yes, sir. That's the way to do it. But you know, I think, and I like baking. Cooking, I like because it's definitely a bit more creativity on the fly, nonsense type stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think there's two sides of the same coin. They're both good to have, and oh for sure. You, the more you get into one, the more you kind of also inherently learn about the other. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and honestly, like another good thing too is like just get like a simple cookbook. Like, if you're scared about, like, not knowing what to do or yeah. being nervous... Or like, not even that, just, like, you can go on, like... Google. Pinterest or Facebook or wherever. Google, yeah. yeah, just go crazy. Yep. Like... Most of my recipes that I use, hard. I've gotten off of Google. Just to, like... Yeah. Like, um, one of my favorite things I make are these, um... My, my girlfriend and I make these cookies. And they are... Like, um, they're like chocolate peppermint cookies. So it's like a chocolate peppermint cookie with like a little bit of chocolate icing on it. And then you crush up some candy canes and everything. Um, mm -hmm. and we like, we found a recipe. We kind of like took what was in the recipe and made it our own and stuff like that. And everybody who's ever tried them has been like, these are one of the best cookies I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. And like, so now it's become a tradition. Like the two, even if it's just her and I, we'll, we'll just make the cookies. Cause it's just like, this is like our thing that we do now. Because like, we took something that was like, because the two is being the recipe and we made our own. So that's, mm -hmm. that's what I like about cookies. I could be like, oh, but what if I tried it with a little bit of this and see how it turns out? Like, it's a lot of experimenting. Like, like the science nerd me loves that crap. Yeah, my favorite dessert to make too, kind of more for a sentimental reason, like you said, is uh, my mom has a like a cookie recipe mm -hmm. where it's um like a, it's kind of like a jelly roll, but in cookie form. Oh, that sounds good. And, but, it, but, we, but we'll make the jam from scratch too oh like, my god you're speaking my language it, they're so good i would mess they're up so that they're so life. annoying to roll and crimp <laughs> I, I i legit i legit ate i think like 36 in one sitting i believe it dude Christmas. i believe they're it. they're great they sound really good but it's just fun to do like you said just yeah I have like it's like an experience doing them with her that was like the first real experience i ever had in the kitchen mm -hmm. like even before i did all the other stuff it's nice definitely i need to try putting sweet garlic seasoning on a kfc chicken sometime it's probably be pretty dang good i wonder how it yeah, tastes like. i think it would be good and, yeah garlic on chicken it's it just it just not works. a bad idea yeah <laughs> it just works it's like pretty proven yeah, yeah. The garlic parmesan yeah Korean fried chicken is definitely better than American fried chicken, but I can still go for a KFC anytime. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I'm not a big fast food um, fried chicken guy, but, like, if it presented to me, I'm not going to not eat it. Can you believe Aaron doesn't like red bean? Oh, God, I love red bean flavored things. There was um, that same place I talked about earlier, Pacific Rim. Um, they have they, they make these steamed buns, and they make them fresh every morning. And they my two favorites that they had were the coffee bun which was like, it was literally just a bread with like espresso, like kind of like pork into the dough. And the other one I love was the red bean one. Oh my God, I could eat like three of those each. They were so good. Help them get used to it, please. I mean, taste is subjective. So like, if, <laughs> I, I don't know how much I can do for them, but still. There's an Indian place by me where they, they bake oh ground lamb into the buns mm -hmm. and they serve it with like a siki sauce. More or less. Yes. Yeah, yes. they're so they're so. Oh, they're great. I need to figure out how to make those. There's a uh, a place near me that does Indian food, and um, they make like everything like like full on like authentic Indian. Like they use like yeah. a full tandoori or whatever it's called and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I went there once on a whim because I was like I have not had Indian food since I moved to Michigan. I need to change that. Yeah. I, this place is here. I'm gonna go. I went and picked up myself some Indian food. I picked up some like some drinks and stuff. And I went and sat in a park and ate it. And I was like, oh, this should be enough to like feed me for like a couple of meals. It was so <laughs> it was the best non I've ever had in my entire life. It was I like oh. blinked and it was gone. I was like, where did my non go? Did I eat that whole thing already? I made like a sweet raisin nut non type bread the other day. It was really good. That sounds interesting. Huh. That's really good. It sounds like it'd be it's pretty like eating good. A it's like eating like a raisin bagel, kind of. Yeah, that's what like it sounds like. Thin, 
It was good. Sounds like a cinnamon raisin pancake almost. But yeah, like, yeah. More fluffy. No, I really like Indian food too. I never really had it, mm. like ever. And then one of my best friends, he he started working at the like this Indian restaurant in town, and he's like, oh, just, and we just went in to harass him the one night. And I was like, oh, but what do I get? And da, da, da. So then he recommended like the two or three things. And I'm like, this is just some of the best food I've had around, like in the area, not just like Indian food. Mm -hmm. I guess, you know what I mean? Not that yeah. I would know because I haven't really had it before. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like super into Indian food. Like I made butter chicken a couple weeks ago. Oh, like, dude, yes. It's it's up there for me. It's so good. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my go-tos. Like that Vietnamese yeah. food in Italian, I'm, I, I can mess it up, dude. Uh, Italian, I'm kind of sick of because just my parents are Italian. That's like what I've grown up with my whole life. Same. But I still, I like it still, but I don't know if I'd put it up there. I just love it because it, it, it it's, like it. it, going back to like memories and everything, like it's comfort. Mm -hmm. Like that is like my comfort food. Like growing up, that's what I we would have a lot. Like it was, my family's Italian. So yeah. like my, my dad's um, grandparents came here from Italy and everything. So like he grew up, like they handmade everything. Mm -hmm. Like they had like the full course, like. You start with your salads, and you have yeah. your pasta course, and you have your meatballs, and they bring out the coffee, then you have dessert, and it's just like, like, that is what they've kind of, like, my family's kind of instilled into me, so, like, it, that is just, like, comfort. Yeah. I would say exactly the same for me, except it was my great-grandparents. Mm-hmm. So I get that. Definitely. Fish is everywhere here, even at Fast Food, because we're on an island. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Putting something and having to wait for 20 minutes is too much for me. I just can't. I mean, 20 minutes <laughs> is not that long, though. Like, you could do a lot in 20. Go take a walk. Yeah. Put on a YouTube video. Put on a YouTube. Put on a Kai Guy video. Really, put on a Drew really, video. If you're, if you're just concerned about, like... Because I get that, too. Just, like, you're, you are you want to be somewhat in the area. Yeah. I mean, just... I would say put in a video. I don't know. I always do... If I, like, I'll prep. I'll do, like, the initial meal prep. And then yep. if I need to throw it in the oven, turn the stove on, I'll, like start doing some laundry or just like turn on a youtube video or something i'll turn i'll have like a youtube but I'm still, video it's like still something on, yeah. i can do in the well i'm still kind of in the kitchen area yeah exactly like i i'll usually like put on like a podcast and just be like perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. this will this is perfect like even while i'm cooking i'll just be like oh I'll, I'll turn on ologies i'll turn on um my brother my brother and me whatever i'm in the mood for but like that's enough to like distract me to where like the time just I'm like, oh cool, this chicken's all cut now. What happened? I don't remember doing that. Yeah. When I'm at programs, I often get the baking responsibility because I'm very gentle with food. I think I might have a magical touch with chocolate items. Hey. We own a specialty sweets cafe and the baking is so much harder there. I can imagine. I can imagine. I handle any baked yeah. chocolate product. People are pleased. Red bean bread is my childhood. Yes, red bean bread is so good. It's so good. I love how you guys have a conversation and we chat about it. Then, like five minutes after you've <laughs> moved on, you read a chat and it takes it in an infinite cycle. Yep, we're good at that. I can't eat lamb. The texture is not for me. I've had it once and it's it's like not for me. Like I definitely liked it, but I was like, mm, I, I just I rather really would like have it. other stuff. I really like it. I definitely get why people like it. Bad lamb though is horrible. I I, oh like god! It makes, I can not, it makes you not want to eat it. It's just absurdly rubbery. I can imagine. Like I say, only get it at like a super nice place, specialty place kind of thing. Yeah, like specifically like a. I'd be, like a I'd be even Greek afraid. Or something. You, yeah, you usually have it like one under. So like usually we'll have it rare mm -hmm. too. So like that kind of sketches me out. If like I were to cook, that's why I've never cooked it at home before. Yeah, I would hate to be in charge of that. Yeah. My family. And well, at least I if I get if I get sick, it's, it's my own fault. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like if I'm cooking something like that, I'd want to just do it for me. Like that way, like I'm yeah, not yeah. in charge of anybody else. Like lamb yeah. tastes fine, just can't handle but, the texture. I don't and know again, why. it's fair. But then again, I wouldn't probably make lamb for myself. I'd want to make something nice and expensive like that for exactly. a special occasion. But then it loops back to, well, I don't know if I trust exactly. myself. Exactly. So, like, I've never really cooked a lot of it. And you got a rare ideal mm -hmm. for most cuts of lamb. It just yeah. makes an, like like Murph just said, it makes an infinite cycle. Like I'm like, oh, I want to do this fancy thing, but I don't know if I trust myself. I'm just gonna make ramen. <laughs> yeah, no, whenever uh, a lot of Cambodian food. Oh, Cambodian food sounds good. Yeah, no, whenever I have people over, like want to do something nice, it's usually if they don't have a preference, it's usually like a really nice Italian thing. Like it's like a chicken parm or an eggplant parm and like a pasta dish, and then like a big bowl like of Caesar salad, and I'll 
make some bread too, like a mm -hmm. make an Italian loaf. Yeah. And then get a nice thing of cheese. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I looked up some pictures of Cambodian food just now, and it looks it looks really good. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even know. I was gonna say, I've never even like thought of having Cambodian food. You know what I mean? No, me me either. Like I, I'd be down. Have... I mean, I'd be down. It looks good. Why not? I um, what is it, what is it called? Oh my god. What's it primarily? Um, so the ones I'm looking at, it looks like um, uh, let me pull it back up. I just closed it. Um. So it looks like there's like, uh, there's like a coconut fish curry. There's like a noodle soup that looks similar to ramen. Okay. Namban mm -hmm. chok, like a looks like a like a drunken soup. Uh, okay. Samlar mashu sour soup. Oh, this looks fire! Camp pot pepper crab. That looks so good. There's a there's a beef salad, uh, beef ceviche, chicken curry, dude, I'll say it. hot pot. I'll say it. good. Good crab is better than good lobster. Oh, dude. Could not agree more. Could not agree more. I'm not a big lobster guy. Was this? I like lobster, shiny? but some yes. prime crab is definitely preferred. I would say. I agree. I went to a um. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I can't think of what the country's name is. Um, Ethiopian. <laughs> I went to an Ethiopian restaurant. Have you ever gone to one of those? Mm -hmm. So I had African food for the first time a couple weeks ago. So it's somewhat similar i would say at least i was told that i don't know so i'll say i'll let you go and then i'll f say what i had and so the, compare contrast i guess the restaurant we went to specifically at least it said ethiopian food um mm -hmm. basically they give you like bowls of stuff like big old bowls of stuff and then you give like um the, these huge pieces of like this like doughy bread and you eat it with your fingers. You, 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 like, use the bread to pick it up and eat yeah. it. Yeah, I have not done that. Oh, dude, it is so good. That sounds cool. It, it looks good. so yeah. good. Yeah, I had, um... It was, I want to say, like, an African fusion something. You know what I mean? It was African food. Mm -hmm. And it was really, really good. It was, like, I had a... So it was, like, one of those things where you... They had, like, a specialty. Like, you can order off the menu, or they had, like, a special, which is what drew me in. It was mm -hmm. like, oh, you know, you get choice of these two soups, choice of these two, like, two, three appetizers, and then a choice of your main yeah, course. Yeah. So I had a I had a peanut soup, which I never Ooh, had before. That sounds good. It was delightful. really good. Was it really warm good. or cold? Warm. Okay, so it was very that sounds sweet, really good. A little nutty, a little bit of salt. It was super yeah. good. Yeah. Like and then, the um, that. I had, um, like, a vegetable pot stickers. With like a yes. almost like a curry sauce, it was oh really my good. God, that sounds so good. And then my main course, I I had a lamb. They had a they prepped it like a special way with like a special kind of uh, rub. Mm -hmm. It almost kind of looked like they put pesto on it. Interesting. I don't know what I don't know what the rub was. It was really good. It was super good. Like I definitely would go back there again and get the same little three courses. But I'd probably want to try something else. But it was no it was super good. Like I never had African food. I'm like this kind of bangs. Like yeah, oh, that this sounds really good. good. I definitely want to make the peanut soup at least at some point too. Yeah, I might look up that recipe. Really, really that, good. That sounds really good. Yeah. It's weird. It's too much of a commitment for me. <laughs> like I'd rather go hungry <laughs> than have to go through waiting for the oven to heat, waiting for the things to cook. Like, I just get too anxious. But you're gonna have to cook someday. Like you're gonna, you're gonna. When you, you will. Older... Uh, you will fail too. Like it's fine. Oh the yeah. Failing. It's just more like take into account next time what you're gonna do my first time i made scrambled eggs i burned them yeah. and almost set my parents stove on fire <laughs> like, i never that's had not anything, even a joke i never even had anything really bad like that i just know the this one girl i was in home ec with she wanted to heat up like she brought in some craft mac and cheese like for lunch like one of the plastic bowls mm -hmm. she didn't put she forgot to put water in. oh she just my put god it in the microwave no and just it, like exploded <laughs> oh <laughs> the no. fire and it was like Bro, how are you in home ec? Like, you're halfway through the year. It's like, have you learned nothing? Yes, no, clearly not so reading the instructions. Everyone just clowned on her forever. I felt so bad for her. I mean, I probably would have done the clowning. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I did a little bit too, but I didn't do it every day. I would I still it, like, felt bad. Yeah. I did it for the first, like, week. Yeah. Mm. I did it for, like, the first week. I'll admit it. Clowned on her for, like, a week. I've been to Cambodia twice. There's Cambodia food everywhere. When you go to a hotel and they're serving burgers, like, it's probably for, like, the, the touristy people who are like, I That's so am funny. not comfortable trying yeah. new foods if i go to a country i'm trying the country food. i'm not gonna be like all right what, what's, let's go to mcdonald's guys i want lunch oh yeah i'm gonna be like all right let me get a tradition like if i'm gonna go to, to be like, fair Japan, though i would go to like i'd want to go to like the foreign mcdonald's at least once because i know yeah. like 
some of the other countries like the Philippines, they have like, you know, like this this different kind of chicken or like right. you can get mashed potatoes instead of fries. Like, right. little, like, you know, like I would be down to try it like once for a little breakfasty thing, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like I do it once, but I'm not going to be like, every, hold on, guys. After, exactly. Yeah, no, every other meal. Yeah, no, I get that. Absolutely not. When you've had good lobster that was fished seven hours ago, it was so much better than crab can ever be. I don't know. I've had some like, I, I've, I've only had lobster a couple of times. I've definitely had more crab than I've had lobster. But like I've had I, a lot more lobster, I, 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 I love like a good bit of crab. There was a place back in Florida that I used to go to that would, um, they would make an Alfredo pasta with like fresh crab, scallops, shrimp, chicken, mushrooms, olives. Oh my god, I could literally yeah. like. I could, I could bathe in it. It's that good. Yeah. I will say as someone too who's <clears throat> caught both and prepped both and had both. I don't know the crab. I just... Just to me, it's a bit sweeter. Uh-huh. The meat, I will find. I feel like it's but, more versatile I don't know. I really, too. I really like both. I do really like both a lot, but I would say crab, like prime crab, really edges it out for me. Maybe I just say. haven't had good lobster then. There's really good lobsters. I really like the more... I think it's like langostas or like this the like really small like african yes. lobsters yeah, 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 yeah. they're like super sweet nice and firm but not like and they're not like they're not gross or chewy like a bad you know mm -hmm. main lobster could be i would say because I, I think know. all i've had is like main lobsters mm -hmm. so maybe that might be why then maybe if i gave like other ones a try i might like it more i, I mean I, I don't hate it like it's fine like yeah. i like it. i don't want to i don't want to throw shade at mirth <laughs> but just because you know not liking chicken liking lobster more than crab uh, 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 kind of got kind of got more won't go any bit. farther won't go any farther sometimes no, but lobster i will i will say i do really like lobster yeah i definitely like both but i feel like i just prefer yeah. crab i've had a lot of i was gonna say i'm i'm like 39 years old i've had a lot of lobster i will say mm. and so, i live in florida too there's a florida. lot of florida a lot of opportunities to get some lobster I don't think I I really like did until in general, I guess. like I got older. Like actually no, I take the back. We had a family friend who like caught fresh lobster and we and prepared it for us once. And like I I was a kid so I barely remember it. I don't remember if I liked <laughs> yeah, it or yeah. not. Sometimes I go without any meals for a while because I can't deal with having to... Murph, that is not healthy. Please <laughs> don't do that. That is a horrible way to approach that situation. This is a Korean restaurant you mean that serves corn soup as an appetizer. It's tasty. I love corn soup. Corn soup is delicious. Lobster just so much better. Like we have crab and lobster a few times a year. Again, fishing island lobster just miles better. I, I, I just feel like crab is more versatile. Like I feel like I, I've had, like anytime I've had like a crab dish, it's like been better than the lobster dish I had. And well, then, which again, well, like it. could okay. be better, could be better, better prepared or whatever. But still. I want to say the cra crabs, you have the crab cake. Lobsters, there's no lobster cake. Oh, I love crab cakes, man. Another point for I, I could mess up some crab cakes. Without there's a doubt. A, there's a fish, like, boathouse-y place by me. They have, like, a crab cake sandwich. That sounds good. It's, it's like some homemade slaw. Like a little bit, I was about to say a little bit Ew. of slaw, yeah. Yeah, homemade slaw and, like, a nice potato bun. That sounds real good. good. I don't know how good. I'm going to sleep tonight, because I'm just going to be, like dreaming of snacks yeah i might i have i have like some bananas in my kitchen i think and some pretzel goldfish i'll just have to live with that dorothy, the pretzel goldfish we're gonna be my breakfast hey, <laughs> dorothy is that Maybe real not. a monkfish is a popular dish in korea i googled monkfish and they are terrifying they're like scary looking yeah no. yeah they're like fish they're like stingray they look like stingrays almost i think my dad my uncle Someone there's a giant one? one dude i would rather die like no thank you i'm good although i will say i'm seeing like people preparing it with like an herb like an herb butter there's this one that's like a um they have like a they almost looks like uh like nuggets almost like monkfish mm -hmm. nuggets it looks good but like i just knowing that that's what i'd be eating it, it scares me a little bit i'm not gonna lie it scares me do you have a go-to like fish you really like uh you say my favorite's probably a uh, bronzino i really like a nice thin white fish mm -hmm. it's like a just like a lemon garlic buttery thing i feel like the nice, basic simple, answer classic slight you know? i feel like the basic answer is mahi mahi truthfully i i'm i'm a mahi, sucker mahi is 
Mahi's such a mid fish. I, I think, think it's, it's not bad. I feel like it's but... a basic. I don't, I don't know if I've really had anything like that adventurous when it comes to fish. Like I've had grouper. Grouper's fine. Grouper's fine. Yeah, I like uh, I like Corvina. It's like a Spanish thin white. I haven't had it. Spanish fish. It's really good. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I, I really like mackerel. I had some mackerel in season. It's so weird. It tastes like a really nice chicken cutlet. Ooh. The way we prepped it. Like it was it was really just so bizarre. I was like I was like, why does this fish taste like chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had mackerel. Good. Mackerel's great. I would catch them all the time. Catch a lot of mackerel and a lot of red snapper. I also really like snapper. Red red snapper would probably be my answer. I th I think I would. That's snapper, but that's a great answer. You know? I, that's I, a way better answer than mahi. <laughs> that's a way better answer. Than I've mahi. only ever had it twice, but I I remember really liking it. My that's friend really and good. I um we we caught it ourselves, and he he like grew up on the water, so he like knew how to like gut it and descale it and prep it and everything. And his mom like cooked it up and like fried up some um red snapper fish tacos for us. Mm -hmm. Oh man, they were so good. Red snapper would probably. I'm so glad you said that because I completely forgot about that. That would probably it's be my. It's definitely answer. in like my top five for sure. Red snapper is really good. Crab cakes are great. A popular thing to put in kimbab and other wrap related dish, Korean dishes. Makes sense. Yeah, cr crab cakes are fire. They're so good. Yeah. I did once try a salmon from America, and that was the only fish I've ever had from there. It was so insurmountably bad compared to fish. Salmon is just like. Yeah. Kind I'm gonna say it's mad. salmon. Salmon is omega overrated. It's mad. I know, like Murph with Murph saying didn't really like chicken. Have a great chicken. I've never really had a salmon that's like knocked my socks off. I I, salmon's fine. Salmon's another one that's just fine to me. Yeah, salmon's in mahi tier for me. I might like mahi a little more. I like mahi more than salmon. Salmon. I don't know. There's some make some mahi tacos at least. You know. Mm -hmm. Here, I couldn't really see a salmon fish taco. No, God, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. That does not sound good. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I like white fish more. Just like a thin. Just like a nice little nice light. Nice and light. Nice and light, yeah. A little bit like of cod. Nice citrus, yeah. That's not bad, yeah. I definitely think, like, Bronzino's is a step up. I haven't had the like either. a Corvina. Yeah. It's great. It's a, it's a very Italian fish dish. Ah, is that the it's one? Like, where... It's like the Italian fish. Is that the one where it's like it's baked on top of like the the pasta? Or am I Probably. thinking of a different dish? It's like if you go to any pretty nice Italian place, like the fish dishes they'll have are usually, at least from like what I've seen, is it's a bronzino for like a white fish and then a salmon. Okay. Gotcha. It doesn't taste scary. Okay, I mean, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I, I'm sure it doesn't. But it doesn't taste scary. Usually prepared with some spice, like lots it. of our dishes. It's, I mean, if it's like a, a decently spicy fish dish, uh, I'll be honest with you, Kai's interested. The only fish I've ever really had is cotton salmon and shellfish because of the whole fishing island thing. True. Chicken clothes are nice. Those my family often buys tuna salmon sashimi. If I'm going to have sashimi, I'm going to go I'm gonna go tuna all day. I would rather have tuna sashimi than salmon sashimi. I really like eel. Eel is very good. I love unagi. I love yeah. unagi. I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried? I like eel. Have you tried clam? Clam, just clams in general, or like clam sushi. Like clam sushi. I've not tried clam sushi. No, I'd be like wow. afraid. <laughs> it, like, it is so mid. I would think. The, I would think the texture would be kind of wonky. It's, dude, it's so. It literally tastes like you're chewing on rubber, or it feels like you're chewing yeah. on a thing of rubber. That's what I would. That's what I would think. Because even cooked clams, sometimes it's like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I would just rather have my scallops. Like I'm gonna have a shellfish. I love scallop. Scallop. Yeah, dude. Oh man, I love scallops. I would just rather have a scallop any day. Screw oysters. Like screw clams. Mussels are good. I would. I would. I'm always taking a scallop though. All real. day. That's the All realest thing day. I've ever had. Dude, it's so fire. A good scallop can change your life. Yes, sir. Damn right. Thank you. Salmon's not bad. I can enjoy it with some. I mean, it's not bad, but like, yeah. I'm, it, it's, if if I'm presented with salmon, I'm not going to be upset. But it's definitely. I think not there's be better. Like, exactly. Fish. I will say, I think salmon's one of those fish like mahi that gets kind of ruined here in America, where just every place has it, and so just there's so many worse interpretations of it. Probably. Yep. I agree. So many places just have like a crappy, like every half decent place that wants to pretend they're a nice restaurant has just like a really not good salmon dish. You know, but just mm. kind of brings down salmon as a whole, at least for me. If I'm gonna have salmon, it's gotta ha it's gotta be like I like have to make it like if I want it. Yeah, honestly, 
Like, honestly, it has to just be, like, mine. butter, like, fully basted, like, some tarragon, some thyme, like, very buttery, herby salmon. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, like, my girlfriend has a recipe for, like, sweet and spicy salmon. I couldn't eat it. I was like, this is disgusting. I'm sorry. Like, I, like it, it's not good. I, I don't want sweet, sweet salmon. That was I like sweet. I'd, I'd be inclined to try that, actually. I, I can't do it, man. I could not do it. Salmon is really good unless you're not in a cold ocean fish islands, and from my experience, it was just bad. It's, like, I would just, there's other things I'd rather order. Cooked squid and octopus is nice, too. I do agree. I've had, um, calamari. I've had calamari, and I liked it. And then octopus, I had, like, this, um, I had a girlfriend in high school who her dad made these, like, octopus tentacles that were, like, very, like, spicy, like, fried octopus tentacles. They were very good. I did like them a lot. I actually took home the leftovers with me because I like them that much. Yeah, I like uh, all that too. Have you tried? Um, I agree. Have you tried like not? So the calamari, every calamari I've had is fried. Have you ever tried non-fried calamari before? I've had. Um, I want to say it's like I've had it like baked in like a, a pasta dish. Okay. It's like an Italian dish with like uh, like mussels and calamari. I've never had it. That's why no. I was curious. No, it's good. Okay. Because I, I liked like I liked fried calamari. I was like, dang, with like a little bit of lemon, that, that was fire. It's like, damn, this, yeah. this is good. It's good. It's just it's kind of like a nothing taste. Like it really is pretty dependent on the batter and the, the dish. Yeah. What's the dish if it's in? For the if you're gonna have it like non-fried in a pasta. Mm-hmm. I could definitely see that. It's there. It seems like it seems like tofu esque almost. Like it's gonna be like it like absorbs the flavors of the stuff around it, kind of thing. Yeah, like I'm like I'm having it in the pasta dish, and I'm like, oh, I'm tasting. Like I had it like in a pasta diaval, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm just tasting the sauce right now. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yep, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's just like gives it a little. It's like definitely a little bit of a different texture, but I'm like, uh, more or less, you're just kind of tasting the, yep. the tomatoes and that's, the sauce. That's <laughs> how I feel anytime I eat tofu. I'm like, oh well, the texture is sure is different, but all I taste is the sauce. That's great. Yeah. They serve them often at Korean All You Can Eat. Yeah, I believe it. It sounds like it uh, would be pretty popular. Have you tried fried shrimp before? Oh my god, yeah. I love yeah. some fried shrimp. In the South, it's kind of it's a big a thing. It's a big thing in the South, exactly. Yeah, where I'm from. Popcorn shrimp, I like good coconut fried shrimp. Sh yeah. yeah, I like it. I think my favorite, though, is just like a, like a scampi. Just like garlic butter. A little bit of garlic know. butter, yes, sir. Pasta, some rice, just risotto, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. Do you like shrimp cocktail? Yeah, I do. Really? I'm not a big cocktail sauce guy. I don't think it's that great. Um, I definitely think it's a bit like overrated. Yeah. For sure. But it's not bad. I'll get it if I'm if I'm going out with uh like I my old job, you know, you go out for like business dinners and meetings and stuff. If yeah, everyone's yeah, getting yeah. an appetizer and I had a salad for lunch or I'm not in love with the selection, I'm just like I would get it. That's fair. It's fine. I don't know, I'm just not, and then I and then I check the bill and I'm like, oh, it's like what I paid twenty dollars for like four shrimp <laughs> and True. like a whole big jug of the sauce that you can't really have with anything else. Nope. You, know? you have like you dip it and maybe use like a quarter of the sauce and it's just like, well, <laughs> I guess yeah. this is going to waste I, now. I like it. I grew up with it though. My mom would just buy like literally the fifty shrimp bundle at Costco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And just we'd all. Go crazy. <laughs> and the shrimp See, dinner. If ever we had shrimp growing up, it was always like fried shrimp. Like fried shrimp, coconut okay. shrimp, or it was See, in like pasta. For me, it was never. So growing up, it was never fried because it was just Costco. They just have the normal. The normal package. The, the jumbo cocktail package thing. Yeah. And that was like pretty much whenever I would have shrimp. Mm -hmm. See, it was the opposite. I would, I, would only, I would only get it fried if we... So, cause like when I was younger, I loved to, if I, like I did good at school, like I loved to go to Red Lobster. And then Ooh. if I went to Red Lobster, I would get like the fisherman's platter or whatever it was called, where yeah, you get yeah, like yeah. the shrimp scampi, the fried shrimp, and like a couple of the cocktail shrimp, I want to say. Mm -hmm. And like a couple of the coconut shrimp. And that's what I would get if I was a that good That does sound good. I'd get, my, I'd get my shrimp platter <laughs> at Red <laughs> Lobster. That was really the only time I had like my fried or breaded shrimp mm -hmm. that I could think of. It sounds pretty good. Yeah it, was, yeah, it was fine. Yeah, for like, you know, 15, 16, whatever it was. All yeah, that shrimp. Good amount, of, good amount of different, all that different shrimp. Yeah, it's good. Exactly. Get two sides, too. Oh, uh, dude, I could just fill up on those biscuits. Dang it. Oh, they're like the I best biscuits ever. I agree.
I like, people gas up Olive Garden breadsticks, and don't get me wrong, Olive Garden breadsticks are good. Red Lobster biscuits. This oh sounds really bad because as someone who bakes, like I can never get them to be as good as the restaurant. Nope. Tilts me so much. Completely. You think good. I know how? Like you think I know? <laughs> but it's just never, <laughs> never's the same, man. Nope. And I it think it's just because they use like heaps of butter and oil, but still. Oh yeah, they probably like. I've used. I swear, I've used like double the butter. It's not even close. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, and I'm thinking like you said in my head. Maybe I should how much stop. Butter are they using? Like, I know, how much right? butter are they using that? Like what? Jeez. For real. Have to wake up early tomorrow. It's 1:30 here, so I'm gonna lurk for a bit. No worries. It's a really good dish my family eats where we put spam and ramen soup and maybe teokboki and sticky rice too. It's been a very long time since I've had, so I can't quite remember. It sounds pretty good. I'm not a big spam guy, but that actually sounds pretty good, especially if you like. Actually, like you grill the I like spam. spam. I can yeah. see that being really good. I cook it on like a little hot plate thing. Yeah. And I'll usually have it with like rice. I haven't had it in a while. Like I remember it was. Yeah, not it's that been a while bad. too. But... They put kimchi. Ooh, I, I love like kimchi. kimchi. It's not really my style for some reason. Too strong. It is very strong. Like I remember the one time I had, it, I was like, "Whoa!" It's like a yeah, party. you need like yeah, a little bit goes a long way. I agree. Full show. All right, we're at 12.50. I think this is probably going to be a good stopping point since we're at a relatively even number. And I don't really want to go all the way up to 1,300 tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I found least... nothing on my end. Ah, all right. That's good. Let's see if we get this at 12.50. Why not? My house always smells like kimchi. I can I can believe it. I can believe it. I can't believe we haven't seen a single Starly yet either. All right, no 12.50. All right, I think I'll go ahead and wrap up the stream right here. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow night with something. I don't know what yet. Uh, we shall see. Um, and then uh, this weekend, I'm not going to be around. I'm going to a wedding, so I won't be available for stream. So tomorrow will actually be our last stream for the week. Still have some videos going up throughout the week, but tomorrow will be the only stream during the week. I might be back Sunday night. Um, so maybe we might have a stream Sunday evening, depending on what time I get back, but otherwise tomorrow will be the last stream during the week, uh, cause I got work, work, and then I'm going to be in Chicago for the last couple days of the week. So, uh, we'll see. Don't want to make any promises about Sunday, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to 400 subscribers is my current end of the year goal. I'd really appreciate if you could help me get there. Also leave a like on it. Click that thumbs up button, helps me a ton, helps new people see the stream who might be interested in coming and joining us and hanging out, and they get to have a good time too. Joe, anything to add Yo. before we wrap up? Not really. Alright, short, sweet, <laughs> to the point. I like it. Yeah. Alright, I think we'll yep, go ahead yep. and wrap up right here then. Thank you guys so much for checking out the stream. I will see y'all tomorrow night. Have yourselves a good one, and peace.